Oh, don't, don't I look I look crazy. Don't <laughs> you look fine. You see me look uh, my hair is like a hot mess today. <laughs> it has been a rough day. Like they came and got me for court transport at uh seven AM and then um they took me there and I had to wait till eleven thirty. And I, I haven't slept, I haven't ate, I haven't, I've been, like, all over the place, like, so I had to, like, contain my anxieties during the hearing, and I had to, uh, yeah, stay focused, because the, the voices in my head were, like, talking crazy talk, and, you know, <laughs> yeah, okay, and so then check this out, and then when I'm sitting there, I keep looking up at the screen, and, like, Justice is sitting on top of the screen, and I was, like, so I'm trying not to make, like, some, like, you know, like, reaction, because the like the judge is watching to make sure I'm like you know competent to like make these decisions and I'm like looking up at the screen I'm like <laughs> I'm like trying to control it and like so these people think I'm like loony, a lunatic or something but it happens when all this you know like from not sleeping not eating it starts yeah, yeah. so it's getting really bad you know and uh you know I go into my uh, vampire mode and I start thinking about crazy shit plus I was already like it was probably a bad date to have the hearing because I was already like on a dr like don't laugh at me. But I was on this mission for blood consumption for like two or three days. I even convinced one of the girls to do it. <laughs> I know it's crazy. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I so I I just I've been all over the place. And then when I went today on uh when I when I went on core transport and uh, I get the message because you know. Oh, hold on. Hit the wrong button. Hit my volume. Yeah. Up. Go ahead. <laughs> Anyway, so I got the message that, because, uh, you know, sometimes there's, how can I say it? There's people who uh, continue to, like, give me uh, inside messages, you know. Yeah. And so they know I don't have any access to any internet or, because, see, they have the tablets here, but, like, the other wards can use all the internet stuff, but because my ward can't. But they took all the newspapers and stuff away. What's the point of that? <laughs> yeah, so I was like, so when I, I read the lips and I was like, I, I saw the, say, looked at me and goes emma was arrested and i was like emma who the hell is emma because it didn't hit me you know at first i thought i don't know who that is and then i was sitting there like waiting and i was like oh and my eyes got big <laughs> and i was like oh my god like oh, it just man. freaked me out okay so if i piece this together correctly so emma is related to angel they're are they sisters uh <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't necessarily say that, but you got the related part right. Okay. All right. Well, this yeah. is making more sense now that I'm starting to like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, do you see why I'd be terrified? Yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I was trying to like think of like you know, because you told me like you know some stuff about him, and I'm like, all right. So, like, usually people that fit that criteria are like high profile people. So, like, who could it be? And then when you told me to look that up, I was like, oh. <laughs> Oh man! I think I think they call it. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Say Cinto Uno or something like that. Seven hundred one. That's his name on the streets. So we call him Seven Hundred One. Seven Hundred One. Because because I, I think he was. I think he was. Or are you by your? Are you on your phone or your computer? So I was trying to before it went through. I was trying to like answer on my laptop, but then I answered on my phone. So I have my computer. If you need me to look up something, oh, I look it up. I think he was like one time was like seven oh one on the Forbes list. Uh, how would I type that in on Google? What should I just just put in Cha El Chapo seven oh one Forbes? I think that's what it was. If I'm not mistaken, but mistaken. But so like she she hasn't been allowed to visit him or anything because uh, he's at ADX. Yeah, I see that. Mid yep. Air list. Oh my God. I told you. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey e. Edgar used to wear a hat that said 701 on it. And I would be like, what the hell is 701? Wow. <laughs> and like the whole point was because it'd be like, a, you know, like the Mexican with the big time name made 701. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I, I did not know that. That's crazy. <sighs> oh, oh, yeah. So does it say, it doesn't, so you, they got her for. You said what now? So, let me go back to my recent searches. Oh, what are you doing? Hold on. Let's see. All right, so it was the first one that popped up. Let's see. Arrested on drug trafficking charges. Um, There's something about methamphetamine. Let's see. It should probably fit and all. Let's see. Conspir cons conspiring to distribute cocaine, methamphetamine, heroin, and marijuana for importation to the U.S. Uh, That's a lot. <laughs> And it doesn't say where they caught her. 
No, let me go try to find another article because this one's not very like informative. Hold on. Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, it looks like Washington. Yeah, this I clicked on the second one. It looks like it happened in Washington. <gasps> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Hold on, let me get off of here. Stupid ads. Her mugshot doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Wait, pull it back a little bit. Like, pull it down a little bit. Because she's real pretty. Oh, oh, something oh, happened. Yeah. yeah, she looks like her. Like, she has a right. dot. Where'd it go? I hate this thing. <laughs> well, it disappeared. But yeah, she looked in her mugshot. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. so. Yeah, because she's. They're, well, they're not from here. They're. They're from Mexico, but I mean, they got they got roots here. Does it yeah. say anything? Is the did it say anything about Colorado? Oh, let me see. Let's see. Let's see. No, it's just mostly talking about like his past and like how notorious he is. Oh. The, the role that she played in like his rise to success. She should be a little bit younger to me, probably like thirty two, thirty three. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, yeah, she's young compared to him. Yeah, how old is he? Is he like in his mm, sixties at least, yeah. Yeah, she's thirty one. <laughs> oh yep, yep. See. He he's not the last time I heard he ain't doing well, like his health and stuff like that, you know, and I was like, Oh god. Oh man. Cause you know like okay, so you know like what happened in when he was in the Mexico prison, you know what happened? Uh no, I don't think I do because I don't really know why. When you got happens. when you get free time, you gotta look this shit up. <laughs> so if you go on there and like Google uh, uh, El Chapo's escape, mm -hmm. uh, they freaking, he's an architect. So they had it where they uh, lined it up perfectly. And he's in his shower. He gets missing. And they drilled a hole underground and it, like take it. Oh. What? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll look that up tonight because I'm not doing anything tonight aside from just sitting on the couch. <laughs> Yeah, but you got to look it up. I mean, I'm sure the videos are out there, you know, because I remember E showed me, like, one time we were in Florida, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Well, okay, well, the good thing is, I know Angel should not be incarcerated because then, you know, it, that would probably be on there. And then... No, <laughs> Because Angel's other name is Cruz, so I always call her by Cruz instead mm -hmm. of, because I never, you know, some of those Spanish names I don't know how to say. Yeah. I'm always, like, trying to say them, like, Castillo and all that, I don't know. <laughs> and, like, like one of them is True Hill, and it looks like Trujillo, yeah. and it's True Hill. I know, so I never can say them right. I always just say Cadone and spell it in an American way. Um, would she maybe go by a different last name? Uh, well, you know they got two names, so it's Cruz is her other name. Okay, I'm guessing. So well, I, I think it's Cruz, unless she lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's the other one, Cordon. Mm. Uh, yeah. No. Dang, man. Either, so. All right. Well, okay, because you know she is the other person who has access to my video footage. <laughs> oh, well, that's what you're. Yeah, uh, yeah. Before, right. Yeah, like, I have it, but, like, she also has it, but, like, she hasn't done anything with it in a year. Like, I trust her. Like, I know she's, I don't think they got the money. It's ain't like they about to do it, too. They got bigger problems going on right now. <laughs> it ain't like they're about to sell, about to sell my video just because, you know, they need, like, attorneys or some shit. They got the money, you know. So what happened, what happened to bring that video? Like, if, that, if that's what gets out of there, what, what happens next? So... You have to submit it, um, like the judge was talking about today, like any evidence that we have that... Oh, you have number 13 on your hand? I that's like a, that's a gang sign here in Colorado. I actually, I got a warning from um, Tellmate, whatever. I'm not supposed to have like my fingers in the video chat because it's going to be like gang affiliation. I yeah, okay. That's all I had to tell you that because that's, that's <laughs> the Serenos. That's the... It's like a Mexican Serenio group here. Oh, no. See, I got it because 13 is supposed to be a <laughs> lucky number, so I got it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 don't come to Colorado. Don't come to my trial and be like reaping it. <laughs> I come to Colorado. I'll put like concealer on my thing. Because <laughs> because people gonna stop you and be like, wait a minute, you're not Mexican. What are you doing? Yeah, uh, I didn't know that. Because <laughs> you know the 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 white people uh, the white people gang here is two eleven. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, uh, I learned all that through these people because you know. 
there's a difference between cartels and gangs. Cartels are organizations. You know what I mean? Gangs are stupid. You don't need to be in gangs. Anyway, so um, what he was saying is I have to submit that evidence. Uh, like the advisor counselor will help me when we get to the point that we don't have to do it right now. You have to do it before trial, but you don't have to do it right now. And so, like, if you have to, like, I'm holding on to all of it right now. Like I told him in court today, I said, I have two pieces of information that will clear my name, sir. And I wasn't being, like, you know, trying to be facetious or something when I said this or nefarious. I was like, sir, because I was trying to relate it to real life. Because I was like, sir, I said, when it comes down to, uh, how was that I said it, real life situation, I said, I'm really good at poker. I said, you know, you got to know how to hold them. You know how to fold them. I said, and this is a situation where I'm so confident in this. I said that I got the winning hand because I have the trump card. And I was like, you know, and he was like, okay, well, don't tell me what it is. Yeah. So. Now, is that something you're going to give to, like, the other side, too? Yeah, but you don't have to give it to him now. Like, nope. there will be a hearing later on where you uh, submit evidence in and stuff like that. But uh, my biggest thing is, like, the reason you have to be strategic for waiting is because – people can like uh like attack it and like you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna just go hand it and be like here if it like i would if it was gonna like if they would you know look at it and be like oh you know well darn shoot but you know people have a problem admitting they're wrong you know what i mean if you give it to them too soon that gives them too much time to think of how they could like negate it you know what i mean yes yes so yes i would try to hold on to that like as long as you can before they start getting <laughs> I am. I'm surprised you haven't like like. I want to know what the headline says. It probably says I'm going off the rocker. Oh lord, you want me to look it up? <laughs> Just see, see if it says I like went off the rocker. Nah, but I haven't. But you know. All right, hold on. Let me tell you. It says I represent myself. I'm surprised you didn't even know. No, I look for you if you were on there. I look for your name on there, but I didn't see you. Oh, how do you get in? You said it's, is it um, WebEx or Zoom? WebEx. Oh, so the <laughs> um, so the top headlines. <laughs> Is it that you are to represent yourself in trial? Um, that's pretty much what they all say. <laughs> Let's see. A legal expert weighed in on you potentially choosing to represent yourself. And about, oh, God, what she say? I'm a nut job? No, they say that most people that represent themselves in these cases, like, don't win. <laughs> they can't speak for everybody. And there's been multiple people who've done it and won, so... Oh, here's one. Plus... Judge Grant's right to represent herself in court. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Was um was Al there today? Oh yeah, yeah. And you know what? I looked at him because I wanted. That's why I said two pieces of evidence instead of the one, which was the video, and then the two I didn't say the second. And I made sure I looked at him like. You think you slick right now, but <laughs> I got to because I got the other one from Angel and I didn't, I was like, and she wasn't, you know, she, she can't, she's pissed at him, you know, through the whole process. So she was, she, she wasn't trying to give it to me in the beginning because she was trying to like hook up and stuff, you know, but now she's like, nah, you know. Yikes. Well, I, I bet he's probably sweating bullets then. <laughs> That's why I was like looking at him, like, mm -hmm. like I wanted just to be like two. <laughs> yeah, that'll be interesting. No, so for that, you, see if I can get in on WebEx, then I'll have to download it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, all right. Well, thank you for looking that up for me. I figured I'd let you know what was going on, so you didn't think your friend had uh, lost her ever loving mind. <laughs> and I wish I would have known what I could have got into WebEx because I would have watched it. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got it under control. I got it under control. I got those two things, man, and I'm good to go, you know. Awesome. Well, you can call me whenever. It looks like we're going to go chat. Not okay. 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 All right. Hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> they took, like, the visit now button is not working on the machine, so it won't let me take off the account balance. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. I got, like, $33 in my account, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I tried to do it that way, but they said that the visit now but wasn't working. Oh, look at my hair. I just washed it. It's all crazy. Oh, nice. I thought you got like a haircut or something. I did mine this morning. See this? It's like really did bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I braided it so it would just have like some body to it or something. Yeah, it looks good. My face broke out here from, we don't have any moisturizer. So, uh, yeah, it gets so dry and I start freaking out scratching my skin girl you're not alone i don't know if you can see my face is like real broke out like right here i don't i don't know why or what happened i just woke up one day and it was all like super broke out 
Well, you are in a humid. That's the thing, is the humidity in North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, and apparently it's snowing, like, everywhere. Right what? Now, for here. Yeah. So, like, Indiana, they've got, like, a blizzard going on. It's snowing in Texas, which is bizarre. <laughs> oh, it's like, by uh, Corpus Christi Beach and stuff, it's snowing. But here... What? At Corpus Christi? Yeah. One of my friends lives out there, and I'm like holy crap like i used to live out there when i was a lot younger and it never snowed like that yeah but right now here mm. like, it's sunny and i think it's gonna be like in the low 60s today so <laughs> that's good that's good yeah I'm that's good. usually what it's like there but snowing in texas i mean now you it will be bad if it starts snowing, snowing in florida yeah i know i was like well as one of my relatives well my husband's relative said that it's not snowing there yet but it's been a little bit colder than normal at night so i'm like i will be like shocked if it ends up snowing in florida <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe in northern Florida, a little bit of the top part might, but as far as, like, Orlando down, no. Yeah. If it snows there, we all better be running because yeah. <laughs> Jesus is coming. All right. How was your weekend? Yeah. Uh, it was crazy. Like, I don't know. Well, I got in trouble for talking again, so I'm, I'm just not going to talk anymore. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I just saw what the lady's yelling yesterday. She's like, stop talking. If y'all talk anymore, I'm going to put the board on the whole lockdown for 48 hours. Don't talk. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh so we just sit there and be like, okay, well, what do we do then? <laughs> it was that they're not there do anything or have anything to do, like... <laughs> It's not that. I mean, it is that, but like, it's just, I told you, the gender discrimination. The males don't get done like that, just the females. I wonder why. Like, Are most of the officers male, male or female? Or? So, yeah, well, what happens is they put the women in the uh, female wards. And, you know, women, they have this problem when they get power. They start these power trips, you know, and they think, oh, they got to do everything right because they want to make sergeant one day and yeah. do all this stuff. And, like, that's coming from a female. Like, that's me being, like, you, like the women just, I don't know, not all of them now, half of them. Yeah. yeah. But, like, some of them are, like, cool. But then the dudes, they don't, the male deputies, they don't care. I mean, as long as you ain't trying to start some fight or fight them or something like that, they, they're just cool. But we don't hardly get males working in this ward. We're really none of the female wards. So when they do come, we're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, like, well, when when they take me to S when they took me to SD for talking the other day, all the male guys, the males that work in that ward, they were just like, the females are ridiculous, aren't they? I was like, yep. <laughs> I don't. I They're don't, just petty. What happens like when you get in trouble? Like what happens like when you got in trouble for talking? What do you do? Well, for me, it's kind of funny. Nothing, because <laughs> I don't have nothing to lose. <laughs> Uh, so to be honest with you, if they want to write a report for talking, then it actually makes me look good. Because if you're going to go in front of somebody and try to create something and say, sir, she's been in trouble for this, this, this. Oh, shoot. They're all talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want that because I know last time I talked to you, you talked about the thing that happened with the, the booklet with the staples in it. Yeah. And then um, yep. the other thing that you got written up for, and I'm like, what exactly will happen since you don't really have much of anything to lose? This Nothing. Now? So, like, what's the point of this time? <laughs> Yeah, so, like, I never get in trouble. I never get put on lockdown or anything. But, like, because they try to, like, you know, make it seem okay every now and then. They, let's see, they did it last time in June. They had to, like, make up this frivolous thing about the toilet breaking. So, they were like, it's your fault the toilet broke. <laughs> so, so, they give me 15 days of lockdown, which means nothing because nothing happens differently. They just want it, you know, it just shows up on a piece of paper. So, in June, they gave me 15 days of lockdown for a toilet breaking. So, I knew it had been a while. So, it was time for them to come up with something because I hadn't really, you know, I don't yeah. do anything, you know. Well, so it's kind of funny. I mean, I hope they they they're not logical here, and I hope they hear me when I say this. They're not logical. So like when they do stuff, they don't think logistically. They they actually think it's going to be like, oh, she didn't o obey a lawful order. I'm sorry, but if you're going to get me in trouble for talking, <laughs> I don't know when. In, I thought in this country we had free speech as long as you aren't like harming someone or trying to harm yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> I don't think that says, like, where you're at right now, like, you're not allowed to talk to people, like, when you can, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like, I even went through the handbook, and I was like, I showed them, I was like, there's nothing in here, it doesn't say this. They're like, the guy was like, you're trying to get me on a technicality. I was like, it is a technicality, like, it doesn't say that. <laughs> 
I got pissed because you were telling him how to do his job because he wasn't doing it right. <laughs> I know, I know. And, like, I mean, like, they're trained to put the restraints on. If I have to tell you you did it wrong. And I didn't even say it bad. I just said, um, excuse me, I can't turn that way. That's the wrong way. <laughs> and then you get mad then. <laughs> so the booklet that you got with the staples, was that mail? Like, was it mailed to you? Or- yes, it's mailed to 200 people. <laughs> <laughs> that means that, you know, the people at the mailroom would have had to see it. And then, like, yeah. it. Because I was like, why well, yeah. don't know if, like, I thought you said it came from the mail, but I didn't know if it came from the mail or, like, if, you know, somebody passed it to you to read or what. And I'm like, that seems like BS if they okayed it. Yeah. Like, no, it comes to the mail. So, like, if you join, like, these Bible study groups, they send you, like, a lot of Christian material and stuff. Yeah. And so they, about 200 people, it was so funny, the deputy yesterday, she was like, do you realize, like, about 200 people get those, and out of all 200, you're the only one that get read up for it? She's like, eventually, like, somewhere, somewhere down the line, it's going to start clicking for somebody that, like, you're held to a different standard than everyone else. That's what I thought, too, is, like, I told my husband about it, like, what happened after I got the phone with you and he got home from work. And I was like, it seems to me like they're kind of targeting you, <laughs> for like yeah. better words, like, because if everybody else got the same booklet and nobody else got written up, like, that's kind of an issue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's not me just making this up, like, there's, it's written down on reports, girl, they write a report if I freaking don't want to take my medication, and I take stomach meds. <laughs> oh, like it's like last night last night the lady was like you need to get down here and take your meds i was like uh i take stomach meds i don't think i need them today because i didn't really eat you know that well and i was like i don't take psych meds i mean i probably need them but i don't believe in meds (laughs) so yeah i i do and i don't because i've been on like all different kinds of medication since i was like 20 but I yeah. don't know my last letter yet or not. I am, like, to the point where I just want to quit taking all the stuff I'm on because the side effects are, like, Wait. worse than, like, they are. the actual relief I'm supposed to get from it. Yeah. I'm just, like, tired of dealing with it. <laughs> See, let me tell you what. Okay. So, I told, you know, okay, you don't. It's a situation where you don't want people to know your mental health history. Like, you don't. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. people look at it differently. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, you know, would have a military experience. You're around military bases. You got, they look at it like, don't, don't say too much because the veterans are the ones with the huge problems. You know, so you try to be respectful, whatever. So, this is what made me upset with my, you know, attorneys was, I, you know, I wanted to prove the point that these people were going to be biased towards me. So I was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm good. But I signed all the release forms for all the doctors in South Carolina. They have yet. Okay, so two days ago was what's today? What? No, Monday. Today's Tuesday. Wednesday, okay, Monday. Yeah, it was two days. Monday, I finally got all my reports. I had to get someone to get them to me. You get. I got all my reports from 2015, 2016, and 2018. And so uh, 2015, I was uh, diagnosed with my bipolar manic disorder. All right. And then 2016, I got diagnosed in South Carolina with schizophrenia. <laughs> and then, again, confirmed in 2018. So I sit back, and they put me on, like, uh, Geodone. They put me on Invega uh, and Zyprexa and, like, stuff like that. And so, like, I sat there on purpose and didn't, like, you know, say any of that because I signed a release form. Y'all should have been able to get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's so long? So, but the point is, this shows you where the bias is in the doctors here. The doctors come and see me for one to two hours, two occasions, you know, the first one, then the second one. And then, you know, they failed to even go get any of the hit pass stuff, which I signed for them, too. So, you know what? I meet with the judge on Friday, and uh, that's when I'm doing it to, like, get rid of my counsel. And, um, yeah, that's one of my biggest things is, like, you had the records there, so you're going to tell me that an expert with one hour with me is going to say that these experts, one had 27, 27 days was inpatient on one of them. Oh, man. Yeah. So, like, it's my point of just, like, it's showing the bias part because it's my case. They're going to not, the doctors are going to say whatever, and so the attorneys are going to be biased and not help. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm doing that. What took, what took them so long to get your medical record? So that should have been something they did in the very beginning. They never got it. They have. They said they haven't gotten them yet. I got them finally. Oh, okay. Because that, I feel like that's what they handled in the beginning. Because that would have been more beneficial to you if they had that, you know, a year yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, I didn't go into complete detail telling them any of this. I just was in the beginning like, oh, uh, no, I'm good. Because you don't go telling people. 
I feel like people that go around and say, hey, I'm bipolar. I think they overuse that phrase. Yeah, there's always you know what I'm that saying? go around that are like, I have this, that, and the third. They don't usually actually have it. The people who don't really talk about it are the ones that are actually right. it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And that was my point behind not discussing that with them because I wanted them to actually go through and see that they went. If they're on my team, you know, that they would have researched all this. I signed auto release forms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I finally got them on Monday. And I was sitting there looking through them and I was like, wow, how is this going to look when you tell me this one lady that saw me for one hour says this? But I got this one where there was 27 days of inpatient treatment. And then there uh, I think it was 86 hours of follow up, you know, because I was losing my mind in Charleston because uh, Albert would always drive me absolutely insane with everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not surprised yeah. by that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope that works out for you. Now, are you are you requesting new attorney? No, no, no. I'm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what I'm doing is I'm going to represent myself. <laughs> And uh, because I can get access to my discovery, uh, I can't. The jail won't allow me to get it here because, well, they, they'll have to allow me to get it, represent myself. But they won't allow me to, like, consistently meet with my attorneys without it being a problem. I can't, like, I, like work with them because they're always, like, restraining me up everywhere. If I wanted to, like, write anything or read anything or anything, I have to depend on just listening over a phone call that if a video visit is limited to 40 minutes... And then I can't, I'm not sane enough to stay on the video visit all the time. Yeah. If we go to talking about the stuff, because then I start getting like, I start freaking out and stuff starts going on in my brain. And it just creates this like uh, environmental thing where I start losing my mind, hallucinating. Yeah. Because I'm in my room all day. Um, when I leave out this yeah, ward for actually, some reason, I, I start going crazy. Letter I wrote to you, whether or not you had access to all the paperwork, all the discovery. <sighs> A lot of it is floating around the internet. So I was gonna ask nope. if you wanted me to print it out and mail it to you. And now it's long, like it's really long. Um, I don't. Well, not the not the full discovery. I don't know how discovery would be floating around the internet. That That's kind of weird. More. Have you guys? <laughs> oh yeah, that ain't even. That's like. To me, that's so funny because that's a bunch of really crackable and Google. like just, half like, of it has already been proved wrong through Claire evidence Google, elsewhere. And I was like, what the heck you is know that? What I, mean? so I looked up on Google and I was like, I wonder if she's seen this because it was, it was long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a bunch of bull, like, on there, like, they'll say something, but then if you go look somewhere else, you can tell that the deputy that wrote it, she really wasn't that brilliant, and, uh, she just wanted to do a lot of hearsay and, like, making up stuff, and, <laughs> and, uh, you, you're allowed to do that and be like, oh, I think this, but then when you look at something somewhere else, you know what I mean, like, the DA, he's a smart guy, he knows that how, like, that, the lady just writes a bunch of, you know, bullcrap because she's a detective like and has no idea what she's doing. Before this hangs up on Timothy, <laughs> you know did you mean? hear any more from so, Edgar? So that's stuff I just I you said you might be calling him on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to talk to him today, but then I just uh, a few minutes ago found out he wants to talk tomorrow. So my out time's tomorrow at oh, okay. four. All right, well, um, so anyway, it'll be somewhere between two and six tomorrow <laughs> that I'll talk to him again. Yeah. All right. Hey! Hey! Oh, look, you got your hair did a little bit or something. I did. I haven't makeup on today. It's been a while. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I, was, I was feeling good today, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I changed. I had to change the visit to my hour out time, but because, you know, we have to do it 48 hours in advance now. Yeah, so. what is up with that? I got an email, like, the last time that we talked, I got an email that said they have to be scheduled 48 hours in advance, and I'm like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, and it's kind of hard with hours in here because anything can change, but I had a good deputy today, so she's usually, like, on point. So she was like, yeah, you'll be out on time. Yeah, I was going yes, to ask you, they, last week, do you have certain hours that you get out every week, or is it just kind of... It just depends. Like, last night it was, like, 10 p.m. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't call anyone, you know, back home because it was midnight, so I just called Harley before I talked to you. But yeah, yeah they're doing that because some of the guys in the wards were, like, staying on the tablets the whole time they were out. Some some people get out three hours, some people get out six hours, and some people are out all day. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they, and, you know, they get to do more stuff on theirs. They get music and all this stuff. So, like, they were just on it for hours and hours, and it was causing, like, people to get in fights because you know, one person was hogging it. And so this one girl 
went up to this other girl and just knocked her out because she was oh, wow. like, <laughs> and then so the dudes were doing all that so it was just a bunch of chaos but we don't have to worry about that in here so i don't know why they changed it in here you know yeah because i got that email and i'm like okay so then we went to florida last weekend so i like scheduled it out for monday but i was like i don't know if she's gonna be able to do it on monday because like i don't know you know what time you yeah. gotta do it every day so i'm like i need to figure yeah. that out. um you know, worst case, like, you could always call me, too, because, I, well, I don't, yeah. I don't know how to put money on, like, your phone account. I tried looking it up, but I don't yeah, know how no, to no, do it. Yeah, don't do that. I'll just, like, look at my time out and, like, look who's working, and I can tell whether or not they're going to be, because, you know, some deputies, they're just prone to be late, because yeah. <laughs> they just don't have that, they don't have that mentality where the lady working today, she's structured. Yeah. <laughs> so I knew, I, knew, I knew I'd be on time. I meant to ask you, how did your hearing go on Friday? <laughs> It was okay. I just, I have to, I think I have to go back tomorrow. I think. What for? I, 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 don't, I really don't know. That's what I was told when I was on the phone with my friend Amy. She was like, you know, you have to go back tomorrow. And I was like, oh, do I? I was like, oh, I'm glad you told me. <laughs> well, that would be interesting. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. She told me about it. She was like, yeah, they did a WebEx afterwards. I was like, people are like, uh, like, it just... I don't know. It just drives me crazy that so many people want to be like, oh, like, you know, reporting and doing all this. It's like, leave it alone. Like, I don't know? understand it myself because I like occasionally I'll see stuff on Facebook and I'm just like, I don't know why it's like so important to other people, you know? <laughs> yeah. And you know what the craziest thing about it is? I was telling my friend, I said, here's the thing. I said, they got so much invested in this for them to admit that they have a wrongful incarceration would be for them to admit that they're wrong. Yeah. And I said, yeah. That's a hard thing for people like to do, you know, some people can't admit they're wrong. They, they will take it. Like you could, I could show them a video and they would dismiss that per the person on the video as a lunatic. You know what I'm saying? They would say this person's a lunatic, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they just won't, you know, they won't admit that. So it's just me and my friend were talking about that. We were like, it's okay, you know. That's just that's just how it works. <laughs> but I mean, you know. How was your weekend? I mean, anything else coming up aside from that? <laughs> oh god, I was creak. I was freaking out because I thought they had put that chip in my arm again. Um, oh, so I was like, yeah. So I just get like crazy where I start thinking they they put these chips in my arm and they're trying to control my brain. And so like they just I just start going crazy thinking that they're trying to control my brain and I freak out and get a little wild not like wild isn't bad but like i just start pacing and going crazy and they're like, they're like they're like we haven't put any chip in there there's no chips so then i go on these like binges where i don't eat i don't drink uh, i mean i don't take my medicine i like don't do anything because i start freaking out yeah you know? have you so, heard from um, have you heard from edgar anymore <laughs> yeah i talked to him um I, I don't know was it two or three days ago so what I had to do was now it makes it a little harder because the other person now has to have their thing set for 48 hours. <laughs> so, yeah. And I read yeah. on the internet they said like you have to have like a picture, you have to be like GTL verified or whatever, like you have to give them the driver's license or they'll like terminate your account. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll do that, but like uh it does as long as the long as I know that that, that account is under someone else's name, you know what I mean? For yeah. now. You know, and how did that not, feel? It, it, yeah, and she's ver she's verified, so okay. So that's yeah. how did that go? Was anything eventful? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, he let me. Well, long story short, we had a kid together. What? <laughs> okay, no, a long know. time ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. Without going into detail about that, so we talked about that for a little bit, you know, and. Yeah, he always he always kept him from me, and like because I didn't ever want to be involved in the family business, you know. Yeah, wow, that's yeah. yeah. So I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and so the only couple people know, like Harley's dad knew, but he's not alive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so uh, he knew because Harley's dad was always like, well we can he can live with us and out you know he wanted more kids anyway harley's dad so he'd always be like whatever but it's kind of hard when you're going against a notorious family yeah. and you know you're not you're not going to be involved in their stuff then they got a lot of pull over your head and they blackmail you you know so is he but, is he from out here or is he from florida he's from 
Guadalajara, Mexico. Oh, okay. <laughs> but they have a house in Miami, and then they have a house in Denver. Well, it's not really a house in Denver. It's kind of like a, a meeting place. <laughs> and then, I got gotcha. you. Well, but they do have a house. That's why I was like always in Miami or Florida or whatever because he um I'd always get to see him. He just thought I was a, a, another family member, and Harley always thought, you know, like like they get smart, mm -hmm. you know, when they get a certain age. Yeah, and they start, you know, looking at each other and like, hmm, we we kind of look alike. Yeah, we're kin, but we really look alike to be kin, you know. <laughs> like they start being, you know, and then you know, kids get where they can look up vital records and like. You know, like all this stuff. So they get smart. <laughs> yeah. So, so Harley. Yeah, they, they, so I was gonna ask you if Harley knew about that. Uh, well, let's. She. We've never like talked about it like in those terms because that would have been fair to her. You know, this whole time, yeah. like in life. But she's always known him as, as her cousin. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But um, okay. they're not dumb. They've through this process. They've they've figured out they're not dumb. Yeah, you know, and, yeah. and so they like, you know, and the thing about it is they lied to him for all this time, you know, and he thinks his mom had died in a boating accident. Oh, oh, yeah, because that was, oh, you became clear now. That's good. <laughs> uh, he, uh, yeah, he, they always told him, you know, because I would never live there. I would move there. They wanted me to leave chance, you know, that type of thing. So. I would never do it, and if I didn't, you know, go to their standards, then they're too, they got too much power for me to be like, you know, battle them into courts, you know, and stuff like that. It's just too much, too dangerous to, you know? Yeah, like, I feel kind of bad for you because you got wrapped up into all that, because that sounds like that's, I guess, difficult, that's way to put it. <laughs> Yeah, that's why he was always with us, like, on cruises and, like, anywhere, you know, because... That was a way that I could always be around him, you know. Yeah. Because I couldn't just come out and be like, you know, I would. My plan would have been when he's eighteen, but he's fifteen, so you know. Yeah, I was gonna ask if he was uh, younger or older than Harley. Um, I mean, he's got now. He's had a good life, very privileged, even more privileged than Harley. I mean, the kid's got a Beamer riding around. <laughs> now it's not brand new, but still. Yeah, I mean, they're not. Cheap he's driving his, or they're not cheap used, so. <laughs> Sure. He was driving his little happy self around in Miami with a Beamer, and I'm like, and one of the girls were laughing at me because I they got to see him the other day. They were like, we want to see what he looks like. Let's see if he looks like you or whatever. So they were like standing over the top of the screen, and they were like, oh, they were trying to make me mad. They were like, I can see you now riding around his little Beamer. He probably <laughs> pulling all the girls. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. I like, I don't want to hear this. You know? It's good to know that he's had, like, a, a good life, and he's got to, I guess, enjoy the finer things. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Harley had the same way. He would have been like that, you know, living with, with us, too, but it just would have came with a price. I would have always been in the family business, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, wow. You know, and Do you that would have been more dangerous, especially, you know, being a teacher and trying to live life right, you know, so. Do you ever think but, yeah. he'll, like, quit talking to Edgar, just based on, like, how he is or the things that he's, like, associated with, I guess? Uh, well, I can't because of the fact that we always, like, I always want to, like, you know, make sure he lets, let, lets Ty know that, you know, like, the whole situation, you know, but you had to also remember I had to always, you know, I get put in a position of protecting, you know, my biological son. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so that gets put in a hard situation that people don't even realize, you know, and that's, that's the hardest part. Like it, I'm not some, I'm not this monster, you know, I'm just in a very difficult situation to be choosing sides with people, you know, and it's just hard, you know, I, shoot, I don't know how I could do it, especially more knowing more than what I did in the beginning. Like that's like the perfect definition yeah. of being like between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> You know, and that's what the that's what these people don't know. They don't realize. They think, you know, like, oh, well, you know, this is your child. Well, guess what? This is my child too. Yeah. <laughs> this is, you know what I'm saying? So it's 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 just a, a crazy situation that no matter what side you choose, the choice you take is the wrong choice. You know? Yeah, it's gonna be hard for a lot of people so, yeah. to understand too, because not a lot of people have gone through what you've gone through and are going through, so they're not really gonna be able to like understand it the way that you do. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. Yeah. And not to mention, you know, like, you don't want you, you don't want all that to unfold to people because the first thing they're going to be like is, 
you know, like your family, your friends, everybody. Because I'd count on my hands on one hand the people that know. And they're just people that, you know, one person in Myrtle Beach knows who I've been friends with all my life, you know. And I know she's never going to. Like she, when I say knows, like, when I say knows, like, knows who he is, knows, you know what I'm saying? Like, name, first name, last name, know, knows everything, yeah. you know. And then there's yeah. Harley's dad. Uh, he knew and then there's another person who knows and another person and a family member who knows and that was it and they you know they know to take that to their grave until we were ready to say something you know so i'm guessing i'm guessing al probably knows huh? <laughs> oh well uh no Ooh. not really but he just always thought he wanted to use you know edgar to do all these he wanted edgar to like beat Mike up, you know, and like all that stuff. And that was the crazy part. Oh, Mike. Because he knew Who's Mike? He had the connection. Who's Mike? Mike is the kid's stepfather. Okay. So is that, is that Landon's husband? Yeah. So like she would have moved to, to Colorado because he always called me being in cahoots with her, yeah. you know, which we kind of were in cahoots together always because we're moms, yeah. you know. Always kind of cahoots with each other. I say cahoots in a good way, you know, like we always were going to like tell each other stuff, you know. And so he would always be like, if you quit, you know, acting like you're going to go back to South Carolina, she will be convinced and come live in Colorado. But she's not going to come to Colorado and live with Mike. So Mike needs to be out of picture. Oh. <laughs> I feel like, oh. I just feel like, oh, don't tell me that. Okay, whatever. Because I actually like got along with Mike, yeah. you know. So. All right. Are him and Landon still together? Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I'm not really sure about that. I don't know if they still together. I just... I know she talks to my friend all the yeah. time um, and checks in with her. And, you know, she's always talking to my friend Amy. And she's like, I know T didn't do this. I'm just ready for it to come out, you know. And I think she's now, like, starting to see so many different signs that were not... <laughs> like, you know, she's remembering things that I said to her that makes sense now prior. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I see the camera going off. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to let you know. Anyway, it's going to hang Yeah, I put some money on your account yesterday for like the video chat thing. I think I put like, I rounded it up. It was like $26.15. So I put money on your account for the video chat thing yesterday. And then, I don't know if you got them, but I sent you two, two books last week and like a cross or a word search puzzle book and something else. Okay, I haven't gotten it yet. No, I appreciate it. I was gonna. I'm gonna call you on my account. I have some money in my account, but I need to tell you what that lady from Minnesota yeah, said. Yeah, right? call me. <laughs> okay, I'll call you Bye. Bye. So much later in the day. Hey. hey. I was trying to. I was just talking to myself. I was like looking at my watch. I'm like, how the heck is it only 11:13? It feels like it should be later in the day. <laughs> I know. Oh, I was trying to brush my hair real quick because I was like, ooh, it looks crazy. Well, I washed it last night. You know, I'll have a straightener here, but it does not too bad for a straightener, you know? No, so your hair looks good. I had mine braided. Like, I took a shower this morning at, like, 5, and then I just took my braids out because I thought it'd be wavy. That's what I did last week. And yeah. It's, like, super... Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> no, it looks... Wa it's wavy. That's what I did last week. But you got to think, you're dealing with the humidity there. Well, Harley said... She was out by the pool for the last two days, so I don't know what the weather is there, but she said it was 79 there. Yeah, yeah, girl, oh man, I couldn't wait to tell you this. It was 80 degrees here yeah, yesterday. That's what she was saying. I was so excited. So my husband and I took the girls out to the park, and what else did we do? Took the car to the car wash. Yeah. I had to go to Walmart and a couple of things, but I was like, heck yeah, it hasn't been this warm in a while. I'm going to enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, she was like, I called her, cause, uh, and she was like, can you call me back? I'm by the pool. I was like, what? Oh. I was like, by the pool. So she, she's doing pretty good then? Yeah, yeah. She was working a lot. They, you know, Myrtle Beach has got where they like, they're like, it's tourist town. We got to get right. We got to get back pumping. We ain't got time for all this. <laughs> I love Myrtle Beach because like where I live out in Hope Mills, it's literally two hours on the dot to Myrtle yeah. Beach. So I'm like, I'm really calling my husband, which if, if you read my letter, I said his name was Taylor, yeah. but his real name's actually Tanner. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I told Tanner, I was like, I really want to go to Myrtle Beach. And he's like, it just seems so pointless to me when we could go to Florida. And I'm like, dude, it's like two hours compared to like six and yeah, a half. <laughs> yeah. And, that, you know, the two, the thing about it is when we would go to Florida, even when I'd go on like a, like say we had Mondays off, we'd get out of school on Friday and like literally go and just drive all night, you know. And then by the time you get there, it's midnight or after, you know, one, two in the morning. So you got to still get up at 
eight o'clock to get something done for the day, you know, and it's just, yeah, yeah. You, know, you make it to that Monday morning and you, you want to do stuff all day. Then you got to drive back that six or for us. It was eight hours. It's like, Oh, oh, oh. you know, yeah. yeah. So, so many nights we drove back through the middle of the night and we were just like, like I was so exhausted. Like I had, and I'd go turn around and go to work <laughs> and I'd be at work. Yeah. I'd be at work like, Woo. But I went to Florida. Let me tell you a story about like the longest trip I ever did. I drove, well, you read that letter I sent you about all that fun stuff. So yeah. at one point in time, I drove all the way from Daytona Beach, Florida to where I lived in Indiana. It was a 15 hour drive. I did it all in one oh, night. Oh God, yeah, you crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, when I got back to Indiana, I was like sick for like three days and I'm like never again. <laughs> That's why like when they drove me here, we didn't never like stop to sleep or anything. We just kept driving for 20 some hours. You mean when, like, when they extra got it? Yeah. Okay. They didn't stop? Well, I mean, we would, like, stop to pee and stuff, but, like, nothing to, like, sleep or rest or nothing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's terrible. So, I mean, what did you do? Just sit in the back of the car the whole time? Yeah, or, like... but it was just, like, I was so delusional because you can't just go to sleep. I mean, first of all, these strangers are you know driving me across the country and then they don't really know their way they read maps and the phones and i'm just sitting there like oh my god you know and then eventually you get so tired you just i was just out of it i don't re i was just so delusional like i swear i saw like bears on the side of the road uh, at one point i thought there was like deer everywhere and i was like freaking out there was animals everywhere and then it got to the point where i saw a tiger and i was like okay yeah i'm really delusional <laughs> did, like were you able to talk to people like in the car yeah, or yeah, yeah. did they want to yeah you know they were they yeah. were nice like that like they let us let me listen to country music and we played like games like that and stuff like that but then after you know a couple hours you can't do that for 27 hours you know you'll eventually you know. <laughs> you're like what the heck you know yeah. oh my god i don't hate that yeah <clears throat> so i was gonna ask you did you get any um emails after that text uh why was it a bad one no oh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i did get the emails yes 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 i did okay yeah. so okay i'm gonna pick my words wisely here since i know this is recorded yeah. okay so i'm guessing the number that was texted probably has something to do with Edgar. yeah yeah <laughs> And I'm guessing I'm just going. I'm just going on a wild guess here too. I, I know that's not his real name, right? Uh huh. Well, that's not his real it's name. It's his street name. Yeah. The street name. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's all I was thinking. Nobody, okay. nobody in Colorado go by their real name. They. Oh really? Yeah, they either go by it's a shortened version of their name, like uh, Angels is Angelica. Uh, okay. Or if it's not like that, it's something completely different. It might be like Creeper. Or, or it might be like ghost or like I don't know something crazy bones. Somebody one dude goes by bones. You know. Well, I was wondering because like after we talked about um, El Chapo the other day, I started looking him up, and then I saw that he had someone named Edgar, and I was like, "Is that where the idea came from?" <laughs> oh no no no! He had a what name, Edgar? Uh, I guess El Chapo has a son a son named Edgar. Yeah. That's, that's what I was wondering if that's where it came from. <laughs> uh, well, his name is shortened as Edgar, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, yeah, no, no. That's, it, it, that's really his like name that he goes by the whole time. It's just it's just longer. You know, Hispanic people have like they'll say like one thing, but then it's like this long version. Like we might say it an English way, and they said a Spanish way. Cause they don't, they yeah. don't say Edgar. They say Gru. So like, or like, it's like Juan. We we, is that's how it is. So it's still the same spelling as in his name. It's just they pronounce it differently. Okay, so some of my family's Hispanic. It's my my freaking genealogy is just all over the place. Yeah. So I'm like somewhat Caucasian, Native American. I have Hispanic in me because my dad's bloodline is like yeah. out the wazoo. Uh, but um, so you say Edgar translates to like Juan? Is that right? No, 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 no. I can't say it in how they say it in Spanish. They'd be like Igor, 
like it's almost like Eduardo, oh. like it's, it's almost like Eduardo, but it but he shortens it as Edgar. But it's just a Spanish. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say it right. I can't whirl my T's and all that like they do. You know, I can't. I'm too country for that. Shit. I can't whirl my R's. Yeah. So my husband and I, we started taking one of those like you know, learn to speak Spanish things. Yeah. So in high school, I took Spanish like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year. So I know a lot of it. Yeah. But we just started doing one of the like um. I can't remember the name of the thing, but we're like learning it together. Yeah. And I know most of it, but watching my husband struggle with it is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> He's got, so let's see. Is he like 43? His son? Whose son? Chops. Oh, let me see. Hold <laughs> on. I know he's got twins too, and they're younger. Oh, okay. but the twins are with Emma. You know what I was thinking about? I was like, I was sitting there, and I was like, oh my god, there's a picture of me and Emma on Facebook. <laughs> Is there? Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. On her? Um, no, it should be on my account. <laughs> Is your account up? No, but I'm saying like, uh, it. I'm pretty sure it needs to be found. I can look. Yeah, but it's, so, like, uh, it's on there. It's me and her. We're on a boat. So I looked up El Chapo's son, Edgar Guzman Lopez. Guzma. May 30th, 1986. Is when he was born. Is there something I don't know? <laughs> Is he the one? I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> Do you see my hair? <laughs> uh, I need to know. <laughs> so you gotta say Guzma. Wait, how did you pronounce the last name? So the way they have the like, you know how they put like the little things yeah. on top of like certain letters. It should be Luea. Yeah. It's G yeah, G U Z M A N. Yeah, that's Guzman. And then what? How did you pronounce Guzman? the last name? I'm just I'm just listening to your Spanish. L it's Lopez. L O P E Z. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what they do is, even though it says Lopez, so what they do is they have like this code too they go by. So when they go somewhere, it's, instead of always using Lopez, they say Lorea. So they do Lorea. Oh, you see, I didn't, I didn't know that. Which, <laughs> which changes the P to an R. But that's why I remember when I told you about Emma's. And I said cordon, yeah. cordon. So it just depends when yeah. you meet people. Sometimes they'll say it correctly. Sometimes it's cordon. It just depends. It's because people always know who, like their name and stuff like that. Huh. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. So, uh, hold on. Let's see if I can find you on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Because Chop's middle name is Guzma, too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Clocky. What would I look for you under on Facebook? Your full name or? What, my name? No. It was under T. T. E. Stalk. Okay. But I don't know. It's still, the pictures probably could be found somewhere, but um, there was a play, yeah. um, player. Player did. Where were we at? Oh, hold on. We weren't player to come in. We were in Puerto Vallarta. That's where we were at. We were in Puerto Vallarta in front of that sign. And then we were about, like, going to the boat and everything. And there's a picture of me and her. Uh, does she have a Facebook? <laughs> yeah, but I can't say what the name is under <laughs> under here, over here. Oh, yeah, no, no, I get that. Yeah, because it looks like your your page is down. I don't know if they took it, or, like, you took it down, or if they took it down after probably, what happened. They probably did. <sighs> Dang, I hate that crap. <laughs> yeah, that means if they did, then they pr they probably have it. But we have shades on, and we're like uh, sitting by like a like on the side of a boat, just chilling. That's one of them. Yeah. I mean, there might be more on there, but I remembered that was specifically because we were in Puerto Vallarta. Yeah, I've never been to any fun places like that. <laughs> oh, by the way, Harley was born in May too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, she, my, my, my girls, they were born, let's see, my oldest was born in August, and my youngest was born in September, but three years apart. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's why I was, did you get I was saying May. Yeah. May? She was born in May, too. Like, he was born in May, she was born in May, but Ty wasn't born in May. 
Um, what, what August mm-hmm. was born? When? What daughter, your daughter was August when? Uh, August seventeenth. Yeah, okay, that's my that's one of my good friends' birthday. Yeah. Oh really? Because mine's the fourth. Yeah. August seventeenth, two thousand fourteen, and then my youngest is September nineteenth, two thousand seventeen. Oh, September nineteenth. That's one day before Albert's birthday. <laughs> oh no! I know. I know. Well, I can't believe my mom's not knowing that one. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Um, shoot, I had a question I was going to ask you, and I totally spaced what it was. Yeah. Dang, this bugs me. Not meant to ask you. Did you get any sleep yet? <laughs> well, okay. So I did last night. Once I was able to get some of those kites, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So I did because what they were they were concerned about me saying, okay, some of these people go by three, four, or five names. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they were just concerned about. I said, "Listen, you ain't got to worry about me saying much because I barely can pronounce the names right." I said, "So I mean, like, I would have to like now. Now, if it was faces, I'm gonna be able to be like boom, 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 because I'm a visual person like that, you know. Like if people yeah. people were asking me like, "Ooh, do you know these people? These people? These people? These people?" But I mean, I'm not a snitch, so they ain't got to worry about it. And I had to make sure I said that message loud and clear. Like, don't worry about me. I wasn't one snitching anything. I ain't told nothing about nothing. As far as I know, I have no idea what they were talking about. You know, like, I'm not stupid. I'm not yeah, going yeah. end up with my head somewhere else. Like, I ain't dumb. But, yeah. Okay. I think I remember, I think I remember what I wanted to ask you. Okay, so. Okay. This is going to be a long shot. So, the number that I texted the other day. Maybe I already asked you. Is that Edgar's mom? No, uh-uh. It's not. No. no okay. She, uh, <laughs> uh, she is in, um. In uh, Mexico, in Jalisco. Oh, okay. You know, it's like the state of Mexico. Like they have like little states, and well, I don't know if she's still there now, but she was in Jalisco. Okay. Yeah. Because when he told me to send it, I was like, I read it later, and I was like, I wonder if that's Edgar's mom. <laughs> but I didn't want to like lie too much, you know. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> she's in Jalisco, and then uh, I think, that, well, at least the last time I was there. She was in Jalisco when I was, because I went to Guadalajara, uh, not too long ago, and uh, they were all in Jalisco, which is, is about like I'd say about two million people in the city. It ain't that it ain't that small, but it's very different. Really, you know? and of course, because you go, you drive across the border and keep going, and yada yada yada, and it's a little scary when you get to Mexico. They know how I felt because I'd always be terrified in Mexico. That's why I'd be like, y'all gotta get me out of here. <laughs> yeah. But see, Ty, I, I, I knows both languages, so he's always like, bruh, 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 and I'll be like, oh shit, but, but yeah. Is his name is Ty? Is it Ty or Kai? Ty, T Y. Like T Y. Okay. That's also Cause... listen. That's also a shortened version because he has partially a Spanish name. Oh gosh. <laughs> I can't keep up with all these people's names. I know, I know. He he does have a he does have a English name. I mean, a, you know, a regular American name. But uh, it, when they say it in the Spanish way, it's a different way too. And, and yeah. his last name, he has the same last name as Ego, but uh, he also has an another part in his name. <laughs> oh my! Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's so confusing. <laughs> yeah. So like on his uh, on his vital record on his birth certificate. Because he never sells his birth certificate. His birth certificate has my name on it. And his birth certificate has his dad's name on it. But uh, right. that's how the kids got smart. I mean, eventually, kids are smart enough to go look up and request their birth certificate. Or, like, get their school records and be like, who, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, when they get to that age, you could, like, tr- you could, like they could, like, lie to them for, you know, what? I don't know how long they lied to them, you know, for so many years. But then once he gets to a certain age, he's going to be like, but let me check out this. Wait, did my mom die in a boating accident? Where's this boating accident? You know? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yes. You said he's what? He's 15. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. He always. Well, hello. Hey. What's up? Oh, man. You know, just one of them days. Yeah, I can, I can relate. Oh I'm yeah. Right here, my husband's asleep because he has to work at two in the morning. So I'm in my kids' room. Oh, oh. <sighs> so, I, I, 
they came and got me this morning to go talk to the DA's investigators. And so I went in there and they were just giving me paperwork and like some crazy stuff. And like, cause Sue, let me tell you what happened. So they, so they gave me like, um, they gave me an advisory counselor, right? Yeah. And so he, he came, he came to give me some of my discovery, whatever. And then this time, and when I was leaving, the jail took it from me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they took it, and then, um, which I figured they would. I was just going along with their little game they play. So they took it, and then um, they disappeared with it, and I asked them what in the world, and they were like, well, anything that comes in this facility uh, belongs to us, and so we're going to skim over it, and, you know, that type of thing, <laughs> which I knew. I knew that was going to happen, so I just, went, like I said, went along with their little games they play, and I was like, okay, well, how do I know what you're going to do with it? They're like, we, we're not going to do anything with it. And I was like, okay, whatever. Uh -huh. so they, they, they kept it all night, which I knew was, you know, what they were doing. Because they were like, we, we just skim over it to make sure that there's no notes in there that shouldn't be in there. Which there was no staples because the guy had already made sure there was no staples. You know, it was just their way of doing it. Yeah. So then I, knew that, I knew what was coming. So then when they came and got me this morning, the, the paper says, like, hey, you're not going to be allowed any of it in your cell. You have to go to the law library, which I knew that was going to be what they were going to say. So they like go to the law, law library and they gave me this paper about all my rules in the law library, but I'd have to go at like 2 a.m. in the morning or whatever, which means I'm not going to be able to take my meds at night because I can't take my meds and you know, like go do it, you know, because I'll I take the nightmare meds. Yeah. And then anxiety meds so uh so i won't be able to take the meds anymore because in order for me to go over there i'll need to be like full functioning you know what i mean so my question is this um how the heck are you supposed to have the time to go over all of that if because you, you can only go to the library to look at it right so that would be like your one hour out or no it's only going to be two hours per week Oh my god That's I'm, just let, I'm just gonna let the judge know that tomorrow i'm just gonna say sir i need more time because how can I even, I mean, they don't, they have to prepare all the evidence and put it on a digital hard drive. And, they, and the paper says they're going to give me a lockbox to put it in. So, actually, I'm glad you called because this morning, um, it's been a pretty rough couple of days. I didn't sleep last night. I haven't slept in like two days. It's probably why I look like crap. I know. But, uh, I don't know what's going on. Something in the air or something. But yeah. I got on Google and um, I want to see if there's like anything new on there. Yeah. So there was an article about like, you know, how this is going to play out, like an expert weighed in on it. Yeah. And it was like, you know, <laughs> it was like, well, it was, it was like, you know, if you're a defense attorney or whatever, like you have access to a computer and like everything for like storage. And they're like, we're going to give her all of her paper in a cardboard box. Like it literally said that. And I was like, how is that going to work? <laughs> no, they can't. No, I knew they wouldn't. Like, no, actually they have to give it all to me digital. So it all has to be on a hard drive, and I get to go to the law library where they'll hold the hard drive in a lockbox. But how are you supposed to, like, two hours? You said two hours a week? Well, that's what they said is typically two. Now, I don't know if they'll, since mine's more massive, if they'll, you know, give more. But uh, they right now, the norm is two hours a week. That's not how... Oh. That's like not yeah. two two hours a day. Maybe it would be more like reasonable, but two hours a week. But here's the thing: like, I'm letting this keep going. This is just gonna keep playing out this way, and I'm just gonna keep documenting it. Like two hours. Okay, so two hours. I probably can look at maybe fifty pages, maybe or even a surveillance video that would run like alone in our house. The body cams ran one time for like ten hours. So, you know, one setting will be two hours. You know what I'm saying? to watch it like what exactly is discovery like what not like like you don't have to go into detail like what's in it but like what does it consist of just like um, everything every video footage i mean it could have been you at the grocery store and oh, it's okay. you still gotta look at it you know just because you don't want to be like you know well then on their motion they put on there uh it says i thought i brought it down with me but i didn't but it says i'm sure the motion should be public um, it's probably public, the motion that the DA sent, but on there it says, please remind Ms. Stauk about the evidence options. And I know what they're going to say about that. It's saying, this remind me about submitting evidence. But here's the thing. I'm not stupid. I know that there's a timeline you have to submit it to them mm -hmm. for it 
to be applicable or whatever. I know that, but I'm not doing that right now because why would I? I, mean, yeah, I, I would hold, no. hold on to it as long as you can. <laughs> I'm hold on to it as long as I can up until whenever like a deadline of when I can do it because just be able to see the mouths drop. <gasps> I'd rather see the mouth. Of course, I'd love to see the mouths drop right now, but it does. It doesn't do me any good right now because then all they're going to do is try to like say this person is insane. Oh, this is a lunatic or, you know. I was like, that's why I said that one time, like, hold on to it for as long as you can, because the sooner you give it to them, the more time they have to pick at it and try to, you know, come up with something opposite what happened. I'm dying. So, we came to this part. <laughs> so the guy, isn't this crazy how the stars aligned? That guy, I'm not going to say his name, I'm not going to say who, just think two and two together. Okay. <laughs> he brought me the stuff. He had already hired him as an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> what? I had already mentioned this to my old attorneys and was like told them who you know what whole thing whatever whatever and then I just sit there and was like holy shit it was so funny but he has him as a uh, business attorney but you know I mean you know yeah. so make a long story short he's going to do the right thing and um, yeah and so he's going to do the right thing. He's going to, uh, Angel had already said she was testifying. Um, and so that's good. And then so, but you have to like submit in the um, people that are going to, you're going to call to the stand and stuff like that. But you don't have to submit them until towards the end. You have to give like a list of who you're going to call, you know, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So her name, you know, her name would be on there, which again, I'm not going to be in a hurry to be like, here are these people, you know what I'm saying? So he's going to. Oh uh, yeah. He's just. He's just going to do the right thing. Like, he's going to protect himself, obviously, first because you know, his attorney's already going to tell him to do that, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, he's going to do the right thing in terms of if I need to call him to the stand or not. Oh, wow. I yeah. like. Are they, they're not. Okay, so one of the things online they're talking about is whether or not, like, it's going to be televised. Because, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll put it on, like, Golf Court TV or whatever come in. It will be. It is? Yeah, you know it will be. The DA and them want it all televised, but they, you know, because it gives them more, like, more clout, you know. Yeah. Well, I'll be watching it because <laughs> I have. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking addicted to that channel. It's so fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, um, you have a hearing tomorrow, don't you? Yeah. So it's supposed to be just an update about like what's going on. I'm just going to tell them about how uh, the jail took the stuff and they did God knows what with it. Which again, I knew they were going to do it. You know, but I just want to make sure it's on a transcript somewhere, um, you know, and so they did that and then they went through it, you know, which they shouldn't have instead yeah, of just, yeah, they yeah. should have, yeah, they yeah. should have just immediately right then called the guy back and been like, hey, she can't have this. You need to take it back. Like, we don't need to have this in our possession. So you I guess what I mean? part of it is like, it would be different if it was like coming from somebody like, like me, like the outside world, like they would go through it. Right. Cause that makes sense. But coming from like a legal place like why do they need to take it and look through it if it's coming from a place that it's like it's a vetted source you know what i mean yeah well the thing is they have to look through for staples but that was the easy con all you had to do was just flip through everything and see there was no staples that's the only contraband could have been in there because it was just flat pieces of paper you know yeah so so like I, I i knew it i just kept sitting back i wrote the time i wrote the sergeant who took it i wrote everybody that was here working you know i keep up with all that and so i just i um, make sure i say it on court transcript tomorrow like they took it they went through it because they admitted to it that they skimmed to it and in fact an inmate was beside me and admitted to it like heard it oh, so man. Okay, she was just like here i'm gonna write you a statement and i said all right uh so that was that and then um so then they said this morning, like, oh, we'll have it all on digital file, which I was like, okay, that's even better. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah. on digital file, you can at least put it in the different folder folders and, like, you know, uh, go through it and all. But, see, like, my whole thing is I need – I'm going to see it. I'm going to watch it all first. And then E told him to tell me that they're going to pay for their attorney. Um, But – He's like, I got to make sure. I had wrote you this in a letter, too, but I explained more in depth in the letter. But it was like, uh, I just want to make sure of her loyalty first. I'm like, my loyalty? <laughs> I've been loyal to you guys for how long? Like, you guys have held me hostage in Miami. You guys have um, held me hostage in freaking Jalisco. Sianor, you held me. You've kept me there. Like, come on. I would be you like, know? if me sitting here for what, almost a year now doesn't prove my loyalty, like, I don't know I what. Know. I'm like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, I, you know, y'all know the stuff from from Washington. I ain't said a word. Sixty of the people that was on the the list, I knew nine of them. I mean, I could have known more, but it was just a nine quick, you know, boom, 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 boom. And so then. I was just like, okay, what else? Loyalty. And they had already told me a while back they were gonna, they were they were gonna front my, they were gonna pay for it. But I was just <laughs> waiting because, a, they wanted me to wait until all the stuff with the divorce was over, and then uh, the con, I mean the assets hearing, because they didn't want to say they gave me two hundred thousand dollars. They didn't want him to come up and be like, well, that was money she already had stashed from our, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. So they wanted the, huh? Okay, okay. Um, so they wanted to make sure that I like, um, you know, like it would be in, like it could be a gift and not like have someone question, you know, anything. Uh, so I was like, the best route to do is don't even give me the money. Like yeah. if they say they want to like whatever we go with, if they just want to just draft it, just draft it from you guys. And they were like, no, we're not drafting it from us. I'm like shit. <laughs> so so because see what I did was I had when the guys use this tablet to call. And so, like, he was just translating for me what they were, uh, what was going on, because the guy knew Spanish well. Um, yeah. So he had he had his tablet and was like talking to him earlier and was trying to get me to like, like trying to get the whole thing down about the attorney. And so he was like, yeah, he said he's got you on that, and yada yada yada. Because they the the guys get to use like the tablets, and they get to be out six hours, so you know, stuff like that. So sometimes it's good to have, you know, there's members affiliated up there. So, yeah, like, you know, yeah. it's easy to, it's easy to find people. And so they just come and ask me a code. And if you know the code, you're part, like, they know, you know, the answer. Yeah. You know? The only reason I ever do it is because I would hear E say all the time. And so <laughs> like, oh, I'm like, I, I'm like, I have some clout with it, but shoot, no, I go, well, I was just this little old white girl who, you know, <laughs> <laughs> who's a teacher and who did whatever, but, you know, this dude, but yeah. So I, oh, I was going to tell you, so Landon had, um, called my friend Amy and was like she said that they she still lost like um she lost custody again like lost the battle thing again or whatever and she was like I know T knows stuff but I told my friend I said you just gotta tell her she's gotta wait I can't go like giving her any of my information right now you yeah. know what I'm saying I said, I gotta protect well so you know like Albert had this huge like problem with with drugs he, I wonder. He, he was his plug, if you know what a plug is, right? He yeah, was his plug. I do. <laughs> okay. So, you know, he would take these M30s and, like, all kinds of stuff, which is, like, fentanyl or, like, you know, different things. And, and Albert would get so high. We I got pictures of him. We were in Mexico. He was so high. We, would, we went out back one night in the Springs, girl. He just, like, passed out at the bar and was, like, you know, just crazy. One night at, after the Hot Air Balloon Festival, I had to leave. Me and Harley left walking because he got so, like, violent, crazy because he was taking them. And uh, when he did, me and Harley, I tried to get all the kids out of the car. But he was like, no, you take my kids. I'll call you for kidnapping, you know, whatever. Because I was trying to get everybody out, you know. And but, so me and Harley left walking down Colorado Springs, Colorado Balloon Festival, now dark, now in pitch dark downtown. Because it was over at this point. And we had to go get to, to, to lighting so I could get to a phone and call, call an Uber. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I happen to walk in front of a car who happens to be a girl that teaches with me. And so the next day she was like, stop. She was like, didn't I see you walk in front of the car last night with your shades on in the dark? Mm -hmm. And I told her, I explained to her, I didn't want to look nobody in the eyes. I was terrified. I was scared. And I told her what happened. And she was like, oh, you should have let me know. I didn't know for sure that was you. I took you all home or whatever. But yeah, so like things like that got like really crazy with him, you know, because he was taking them and like, like so bad. And so he would always hold that against me about telling somebody who, who he was, but I was like, I don't do drugs. I yeah. mean, I just had a kid. I just had a kid with him. So, like, I mean, what did I do wrong? Nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. I because, well, yeah, you know, uh, I'm a farm. Well, I'm a licensed pharmacy. I got to work in the pharmacy now, but you can tell yeah. when people. Yeah, no. and you could tell, like, yeah, and so, like, he was so high, like, girl, even on a Dominican cruise, G was with us, G and Ty were hanging out, they were, they were camp carnival, running around, water slides, doing whatever, he was so out of it, like, he never put two and two together, that's how out of it he was. Because, like, I see, like, pictures of him on the news and stuff, and, like, his eyes look soulless, but, like, the kind of soulless, like, you're whacked out of your mind, high soulless, you know what I mean? Like, I've seen yeah, lots yeah, of Yeah, but she was wanting the info. 
she was wanting info, you know, because she's like, if I say anything, I want to protect T. She's like, I want to protect Carly. She's like, but if I say anything, she's like, he'll come at me and attack me over to custody, you know. So she was just like, she's just, and I told my friend Amy, I said, I can't give her anything until I walk out of here. <laughs> I just can't. I, know, I have to keep everything I know. Even even E can vouch for it. It's about to hang up. But I'll talk to you later, okay? All right. Have a good night. Right. Okay. Hi. Hello. What are you doing? Hey. Uh, kinda. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? I can't hear you. No, you can't hear anything. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? I can hear you. You can't hear me? Uh, hold on. Let's see. I know, I'm trying to fix it. Is your volume up? Your, is your volume up? You don't need to be driving. Okay, bye. Hello? Okay. Bye. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, I spent my whole hour time trying to get a stupid machine to work. Hold on. Got to back. You got to go back some. Go back some. Hold her up. Hey, Sadie. Hey. Oh, look at her. She's just. What's wrong with her? She's just chilling. She's sad. She misses chance. No, she's not. Sadie. She's like I'm on mommy's bed. I mean, Sissy's bed. Sadie. Hey, girl. <gasps> Sadie, why are you hiding? You shy? Aww. You turn. I, I see you changed her uh, collar to pink. <laughs> what color did what did you see it last? It was green. Oh, it was green a long time ago. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. Oh, her eyes are so pretty. I know. We all know. She just laying there chilling. She's probably liking it though, like being able to just be up there and chill. Can you see her? A little bit. Sadie. How much, where, where can you see? Can you see my hand down here? Uh, barely. It's at the very bottom of the screen. Okay, so. There you go. Oh, hey, Sadie. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I miss her. And that's as big, as, that's as, big as she's going to get, to. Yeah, she's in that job. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Let me put you over here. Oh, can you see her? I see you went to Starbucks. Oh, she isn't. She's not that big, though. That's good. She didn't turn out. Sit. Can you see her? Yeah. Oh, good girl. Sit. 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 Pop. Pop. Lay down. Lay down. 
Good girl. Aww. <laughs> she didn't. I promise, that's good. I she didn't get that big. On this side. That's good. She didn't get that big because I, because you know, sometimes they get too big and they look too bulky. But she looks just. She look, She's got a good size. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, good Paul. Lay down. Lay down. She's like down. she's trying to give you a paw. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> she did not behave on that one. <laughs> she's trying to give you. Now I got dog hair along with it. Yeah, it's alrighty. Well, you're in shorts and a tank top. As Aunt Brenda said, you in them pushy mama clothes. <laughs> it was 80 degrees yesterday. Yeah, it's March. It's time for it. Definitely time for it. How do you fit all your clothes in that closet? I don't know. Look how little it is. I know. Jeez. Did you log on to check that thing? Yeah, it was the 24th. It was due on February 24th? No, it's March. March. Okay, well, then you... For 20-something, 20 28th? Oh, I don't remember. You sure it's it was you sure it was March? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to ask St. Brenda to send you the money for it then. Huh? It's due every three months? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Did you ever ask, find out about the clothes? Uh, Miss CD said she was going to talk to her. Talk and figure out what day me and her could go over there. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I don't know. I finally get to see you. I've been mean, we trying to get this to work. My other video was just canceled with my friend again. And me and hers was scheduled three days ago. I know. This is just crazy. And like she put money on my account here and I can't use it. It's craziness. But... Oh, her eyes are so pretty. I wish I could show you that picture I already got I have of her, but it would take up my time. I have to bring it on the next time I have a video. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, she hears something. She yeah, she is definitely more chill without chance running around. She having to follow him everywhere. Mm hmm Yeah, she's definitely you can tell the blue in her for sure. Mm hmm She still got her little blonde highlights? Yeah. yeah. Well her the thing about hers is her highlights, you know, she don't have to get them redone, you know? <laughs> Sadie. <laughs> Sadie. Sadie. Hey girl. Hi. <gasps> Sadie, she's looking at the screen. Oh, look how pretty she is! I know. You look so cute. <laughs> oh, let me show you this video. <laughs> the video of the Hispanic girl with the color hair. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, it's the video of me putting her in the car. Oh, uh, you don't talk to that. Um. That girl Janie anymore, do you? Who? Janie. From Miss All Gen V. Janine? Yeah. No. Don't. Why? I can't tell you, just don't. Okay. Oh, look at Sadie. Where's the, vi where's the video at, baby? <laughs> oh, here we go. Where's, where's Tono at work? Yeah. He got Look. A, was that in her car seat? Oh my yeah. god. It straps her in there? Yeah. <laughs> Who was recording that and driving? Me. I was, no, I was parked. All right. Oh, That's cute. <laughs> she always has her tongue like that, don't she? Um, you going to talk to have it about having her for your ESA, right? Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> She's probably trying to figure out why she can't stand up. No. <laughs> what does it do? It locks her arms down. 
No, no, she can she can stand up. Oh, she's probably just trying to figure it all out. The thing's just strapped to the seat. Oh, okay, okay. Makes her playing with the neighbor's dog. Yeah, get it all out, because that boy's asked me to go to sleep. She's not even on a leash. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. Don't let her run away. Here's the puppies playing with her. Who's puppies? The dogs next door. Well, be careful. She's not fixed. No, they're girls. Oh, well, let's say I saw them sniffing her butt. <laughs> yeah, they kept trying to. They kept trying to suck on her boobs. Because <laughs> they're puppies. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at her. She's just chill, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, you like it now that she just chills there, don't you? Yeah. Because Chance be there. She'd be up and finding him, following him around everywhere. She heard the word Chance. Look at her ears. Look. Chance? Where's Chance? Here, boy. Chance. Uh-oh, she looked at the screen. <laughs> Where's Chance? My hair was straight the other day. Oh, I didn't get to see it. You missed it. Hold on. Did I take a picture? Probably. Mm. There's Chance. There he is. Chance. Oh. <laughs> she looks so oh, tiny there. She looks so tiny there when compared to the food thing. Look, I got a photo shoot done. Oh, gosh. Well, not really. It's just like someone at my work. <laughs> I was on break. I was bored. Wait, hold on. Oh, Are you ready? Yeah. Did you fix your teeth? No. I mean, you have straight teeth, but I'm saying, did you whiten them? Oh, yeah. I knew that. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Well, I knew you had white them. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. What in the world do you got on? <laughs> it, was, it was like a little, it's like a little dress with like little, like, shoulder uh, things. Hoochie mama dress. No, look, it's not, look. I'm just kidding, because ain't Brenda says that. Oh. Whose car is that? My boss. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Uh. We stole his car. Pull it back a little bit. I can't see. You got to hold it back a little bit. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> you got those on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. See, your hair looks good like that. She did a good job just to be doing it from, you know, on the fly. I know, right? It's because you're already beautiful anyway, so. Oh, wait. Hold on. Pull it back. See, I like your hair like that. Crazy dude. Well, it just oh, makes you look older. Not that I want you to be older, but it makes you look older. Me, all the girls at work. Oh, oh, that girl on the right at the end's pretty. Oh, that's Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell her I said that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, my computer's gonna die. Need to plug it in. Oh my god! I was like, oh, the girl on the end's pretty too, and I was about to say she looks a lot like you. <laughs> Wow. Oh, that is so funny. And that was Charlotte. Oh, my God. That is hilarious. Well, I noticed it once. So go back to the picture. Oh, wait, hold on. I noticed it once I looked at it. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, she looks like Melissa in that one for sure. Her hair looks so good down to straight. Does she still wear it curly a lot? Yeah. Yeah, just easier probably, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's good. I like that one. That's one. You got. You should. You got to save me that one for sure. I mean, <laughs> okay. I don't care about the other people because I don't know them like that. But you and Charlie are pretty in that picture. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, like oh my goodness, that girl's so pretty. Oh my god, I know her. Oh gosh, high of seventy three. <gasps> it's seventy three right now. Mm. It was eighty yesterday. Mm -mm -mm. I had Sadie take a shower with me. I know you're telling me. Oh. Look. Hey. 81. Oh, yeah. Um, did you, um, what was I going to say? 
Did you send me that para thing? No. Para. Here. Colorado para. It's the, for the retirement funds. And I hope you didn't. I gotta see. Look, this is what I do. Well, if you don't That's handle it. that, you I know, but I'm saying if you don't handle I that, myself every day of exactly what I need to do. Okay, but you gotta start following through with it because you 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 have uh I know you get frustrated about doing something if it don't work right away, but you got to get the right number for that um the IRS thing because that's 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 money you'll have, and you could put money on my account, yeah, to call you in, and you could probably go ahead and pay that thing up for a couple months for like six mm -hmm. to tw eight, twelve months. You know, I'm gonna tell you. Did I tell you what happened when you called me? What? Um. I was leaving and I and I saw a turtle in the middle of the road Aww. and so I got I pulled my car off and I stopped and I like helped the turtle go back into like the grass and then the turtle turned around and went back in the middle of the road and then I watched the truck hit it. <gasps> and then I went to go check on him and he was bleeding. So then I had to like push him back over to the grass again and it was so bad. Oh, but he was still alive. Yeah, but his tail was bleeding. Oh look. I just want somebody hit him and now he's bleeding. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god. I was so I was crying. Oh Did you do you know if he's alive still? Yeah. Is that my purse in the background? Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> oh fun. I know I see it. Oh. Well, it's your purse now, but <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Well, make yourself a note to, to make sure you follow up Miss Dee Dee about the um finding out about the getting the clothes things because you can go through what I took, what I need you to keep and not keep, and then or sell or whatever. And then the other ones you can be like pack up or something and have it ready. And then um, what was I gonna say? And then the para thing. And then um, I'll send you. I'll ask Aunt Brenda about sending you the money for the thing online. Because you already have $30 of my money, but she said... Well, That's okay. I can, she doesn't have to send me any money. Well, or at least she could, what she can do is just... Sh I'll just send you the books. How about that? And then I'll send you this money off my account. Because she said she'll buy all the books. So don't worry about $30 for the books. So I'll just send you... She said send you the list of the books so you, you make sure she gets the right one in a list when she goes on Amazon. Okay. Because she was like... Cause she just texted me the other day and she was like your insurance is due on the 22nd of every month um please make sure you send the money for these dates i'm not gonna be able to pay these bills for you wish i could but i'm living off my retirement i spent all i saved on you and your mom i don't regret it i just wish i could have done more how did she spend all she saved on me on both of us she said i don't know <laughs> what is she talking about she don't even <laughs> have a retirement she's the one don't have a retirement I don't know. <laughs> Where did she work? Nowhere. <laughs> <sighs> I told you, that lady's more schizophrenia than I am. She, whew, she makes me even crazier. Craziness. Anyway, you got a new watch band? No. Oh, I thought it was a new one. You got it linked to your phone now? Or no? Do hmm? you got it linked to your phone or no? It's always been linked to my phone. Oh. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it had to have a separate number. That's what I was wondering. Oh, no. So they just, feel they just trick you when they do that, huh? Oh, if it works on Wi-Fi, it works is what you're saying. Yeah. I got you. I got yeah. you. That's what the number's for for the other part. I got you. Cool, cool. Well, I wish I would have saw. What? I wish I had that video that they were <laughs> look at Chance. Pull it back. Dang, he got big. Holy shoot. Yeah, he's huge. How much did you feed him? I didn't feed him a lot. He's just naturally going to be big, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what it was for you. Even though you love him, you just wanted that little, you wanted the Sadie where you can run around in little girls' cars and <laughs> have like a little Barbie princess with a dog and Paris Hill mm -hmm. dog and stuff like that. Sadie's my dog now. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. 
all right well it's gonna turn off and i have to go but um i love you so much and you accepted the other one so hopefully that one will work with no problem but i was okay. having to go back and forth and do all the crazy drama now that this okay. works again but this machine breaks every day so we'll see you know <laughs> okay. okay all right love you, love you. bye, bye. Hello. Were you asleep? Yeah. You were asleep? Mm -hmm. I was wondering you I was like, let me call this girl because she'll forget to like log into the thing. And be like, oh my god, I forgot. I set an alarm to make sure I was awake. Okay. Just making sure. This is what I was telling you about. So remember I told you about how I lost so much weight, right? Look, mm -hmm. all that skin. That's from like losing all that weight though. But mine was like full. Mm -hmm. Where you can like see it like hanging a little bit now. It's, like, it's, like how tiny mm -hmm. my arms are. Mm -hmm. You can be like, put it all the way down. You can go all the way right there with it touching. <sighs> what you do today? Mm -hmm. Or nothing really. Wash the car. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you so sleepy? I don't know. It's only like eight fifteen. You know, and I've been going to bed early. I'm waking up early. Yeah, that's what happens when you get old. Almost be nineteen, you know. Cool, getting old. <laughs> I know. I know. They, this girl said yesterday that somebody was 36 and they were old. I was like, well, darn, I'm old. And, uh. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. I sent you a thing for Wednesday, too. So I can use yeah. the money that's on here because, you know. You know. Yeah, I saw it already. <sighs> Where's Sadie Lena? Sadie, 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 Sadie. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, baby. Hey, baby girl. She knows I'm looking at her. Look at her. She's like, eh. <laughs> I don't see. You, you got to put some clothes on her. Uh, I don't have any, really. She doesn't look good in dresses and stuff. <laughs> She'll have to wait for the summer to get some clothes. Yeah, she looks better in, like, more athletic stuff. I don't yeah. know. It just looks funny on her with a dress. I know, because she's so, like... Yeah. Like, beefy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You didn't put any... You didn't never put any of the other outfits on her when it was cold? I tried to. They didn't fit her? Like... She just didn't like it. She put on her Christmas outfit, though. Well, who cares well, if she don't like it? You tell her I said to listen. Well, Chance's old Christmas outfit. Yeah. Stop biting your paws. Hey. Sadie, quit. No. Sadie. <sighs> Pipey did that same darn thing all the time. I forgot what they said. It was something. They were missing some kind of um, nutrients or something. Well, that's really? what people said. Yeah. I looked up and it was like anxiety or you something. There were all kinds of different things. What did it say? If she was what? It's the one said anxiety, but there was all kinds of different things. Could be anxiety. She don't take her little shoes anymore, though. No. Those are good for her, though. The hemp chews, especially when you're gone and she's uh, there by herself, that'll help her. You don't have to get the mm -hmm. expensive brand. Get, like, a cheap brand. But she's mad at me. Yeah, to help her a lot. He took a nap with me. I don't know if I already said that. Yeah. Where's Tono? Downstairs. Mm -hmm. He ain't partying it up. Tell me Sunday, no. 
Say no on yeah, Sundays. It's working. Where's Charlotte been up to? Um, not that I was with her today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. I did my eyebrows with the uh, nail clippers. Mine are crazy. I know, I saw them. I was about to tell you, you need to have them done. Whew. I haven't gotten it done in like months. You haven't? Why? You don't like them done? It always makes my face break out. Oh, yeah, I remember you always said that. Yeah, well, you have to do the threading, that's why. They do it here. They can, they're good at it here. That's the hurt. It doesn't really hurt. It's just hard. Like you just take the things and go like this, and you turn them like eight times, and then you do like this, and just pop your eyes. It just takes me forever. Like, it took me like 20 minutes to do four hairs. <laughs> like, I haven't got it down pat yet, but like, these people can mm -hmm. sit there and be like, I'd be like, dang. Mm. I didn't really eat dinner because it was nasty, so I'm ready for breakfast. Mm -hmm. It should be, oat, should be oatmeal tomorrow. Uh -huh. For breakfast, I had my yogurt mm. with bananas. Mm. And I had a boost, and then for lunch, I had chicken tenders. A boost? What's a boost? Like, you know when I was drinking Insure? Yeah. Oh, like a boost drink. Yeah. Why are you drinking them? Sadie! Sadie! What is she freaking out about? I don't know. Um, so I can keep gaining weight. It has protein and stuff. Why do you need to gain weight? You're made tiny. Because I'm like 98 pounds. Grandma Betty was always like that. 90 some pounds. Well, I got up to 104. So, I mean, that's just how bone structure. I mean, when my dad's skinny, my grandma Betty was skinny. I am skinny. You're just going to be skinny. And the only reason my mom is not skinny is because she knows that stuff. Yeah, you can gain muscle, but just start pumping it more. I have been. Well, you, got me. you got me, you got me, You're like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with me? Mm. Energy. You need some vitamins. <laughs> yeah, I probably do. Yeah, you need to take some vitamin D and some. Go to the Dollar Tree and get those. Those are the same ingredients as the ones you buy for fifteen dollars. I already have some. Well, you got vitamin D. A company, a company sponsored me. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm Okay. Sugar bear hair. Oh, yeah, sugar bear. Okay. I need some. My hair is so long, but it needs to be cut. My hair is long. But I don't have any scissors yet. It is long. I like it long. Me too, I'm not touching it. Did you tell Charlotte about me seeing the picture? Being like, who's that girl? She's pretty. I know. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> oh, my eyes. Bye -bye. People take me. She must have heard somebody you. down there. <laughs> she probably heard somebody and she's like, nah, 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 nah. Sadie Sadie Why you got all that barking going on girl Sadie Oh my goodness she's, Look at her she Sadie. is like She's like jacked on the front ain't she Yeah Oh hey pretty girl you hey. Look. Oh my gosh the camera made her eyes look blue for a minute <laughs> See my eyes are hit a blue Hey Sadie girl It's probably time for her to get a rabies shot again yeah, I need to take her to the vet because I need to get her back on the heartworm medicine. Yes. Yes. 
Although they told you there's that site in Australia, though, that it's the same thing. The or, well, I was actually, I said I was going to ask Miss Dee Dee to order off Chewy because they give you like a six month supply. Yeah. Sadie. Sadie, girl. <laughs> She's just like Pipey with the itchy skin everywhere. She got some dry skin. Mm hmm. <laughs> hey, Sadie, girl. Aww. Cute. Sadie, where's Chance? <gasps> oh, she ran <laughs> away. Doing that daughter. <laughs> wow, she ran away. <laughs> did she, did she jump off the bed herself? Huh? She can't jump up still, right? No, she didn't just jump off. Oh, I don't know what happened. That she just don't jump up. I don't know. I was on a teacher one night, and then I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't. I wonder if Chance will learn how to. Um, I wonder if Chance will learn how to pee right now. No. <laughs> that girl too. <laughs> they, they probably like y'all done gave me a, a dog with a defect. <laughs> People gonna think he's a girl dog walking around, then they'd be like, "Oh, okay." And now I guess everybody's already in love with him. Like their grandpa stole him for the day and hung out with them. Oh. And everybody's already met him, took pictures with them. Oh, that's good. He loves that then. They let him sleep on the furniture. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then he definitely loves it. I saw him sitting in the chair on the couch, and I was like, he was just sitting wow. up. Yeah. I was like, he's probably wow. like, finally, gosh, I'm just wanting to relax. I can finally just sit here mm -hmm. and chill. Sadie gets to stay on this thing. Sadie. <laughs> what is it? Something beside the bed she likes sitting on? It's one of those benches. Oh. So she like Charlie. She likes the benches. Yeah, because I put a little blanket on there. What's Miss Dee Dee been up to? Nothing. Nothing. Tell her I miss her and I love her. Oh, well, I always drive over there for her to friend braid my hair. <laughs> He's like, I see you more than my own daughter. I'm like, I know. Did Courtney move out? No. She just be on missions? Yeah, because now that she can drive. Where does she be going? She just goes to their old, their apartment because like everyone else still lives there, but not her. But she basically just stays there. Oh, uh, so she just drives there and stays. Wait, so why is she why is she not living there? Because they weren't nobody was supposed to live there next semester because they're supposed to be moving, and they end up not being able to get out the lease or whatever. But Courtney was able to get out of her lease. Yeah, because I guess the other person had loans, so they were able to. Oh. Mm -hmm. So she's just going to move back in with him? Yeah, next semester. Stop it! No! No! She likes that living on campus. I don't know how she likes that. Mm. That'd be too much for me. I'd be like, too many people. Like, ah! I yeah. I mean, it drives me crazy here with just people next door. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I am about people. <laughs> Lady be driving me crazy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I be I be going crazy with people, man. Like, uh, you know. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, it's probably gonna hang up any minute. Mm. Be careful. Be safe. Read your Bible. Working at that thing on your end. What? She hears me. No, it's like a machine or something. A machine? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That thing. What thing? That? I don't know. I guess you can't hear it. No, I don't know what it is. Oh, I must see something going on in here. I don't know. Bye, Sadie. Love you, girl. Sadie. We're good. Where's, where's Chance? There's Chance. <gasps> Hi. I have to say Chance's name to get you to look at me. All right. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Love you. Oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, so I tried something different. I shut off my Wi-Fi, and I just have it streaming on the data. I was like, I wonder if that'll work, and it worked. <laughs> oh, so maybe your Wi-Fi was, like, like, going crazy or something. Yeah, and I've noticed, too, because I usually take the calls in my room. I've noticed the Wi-Fi signal in there is really low, so I came into my girls' room, which is, like, the opposite of the house, but <laughs> it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<sighs> oh man, because I was like, well, somebody got released, and I was like, it's ringing, it's ringing, hurry up! And the lady, the girl was taking her time. I'm like, go. Well, I was like, <laughs> waiting, and I was like, it said waiting for participant to join, and I'm like, okay. That's good, at least. And then it was like, I know, right. allow access. That's a good sign. And I'm like, we're getting further now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's a good sign. How's your morning? Oh, uh, it's all right. I didn't sleep too well. Uh, you know, just craziness going through my brain, you know. Probably all right, I think. I mean, I don't know. I, um, I've been having, like, all these, like, crazy things where these people going to visit and, like, it, and they tell me stuff, and they tell me stuff that's, like, going on, but I don't know if it's, like, really going on. Yeah. Because every time I ask somebody, like, is that really going on, they just be looking at me, like, <laughs> <laughs> like you're doing. What was <laughs> oh, I, I think it froze. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, there we go. That's what happened. It was crazy. It was weird. Your phone froze at that moment, and I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, like you're doing. <laughs> uh, oh. The do what now? The stuff you're telling me about last night, the the people. Yeah, yeah. Just, well, and then last night, okay. So I had to wait because I was supposed to have a talk with E yesterday, but then I had to wait because they moved somebody. Because you know they'd be trying to figure it out, they can't, so they'd be stuck my flow. So they moved somebody, so I had to wait till that person came on their timeout so they could come in another room. So they called, but like, so like they people were like, I think. They had the deputies like looking at the toilets and stuff, and I was just laughing because you don't even have to talk in the toilet anymore. You can use the <laughs> sink. <laughs> <laughs> you could use the sink, and you can use the window sill. How now. does that work? Because like my dad told me the same thing. Because you know he works. He's worked at a prison for like seventeen or eighteen years now. So he's told me the same yeah. like same stories. But I don't get how it works. Is it just like the I guess the tunnels or the piping or? Yeah, yeah, so you just, you, okay, so, like, if you're using the toilet, which, now that I know how to use the sink, I don't need the toilet anymore, but, um, so, like, if you use the toilet, you just pop the toilet, and then all the water comes out, you just sit, stand on it and pop it, and all the water comes out, not stand, like, just pop, stand yeah. up and down, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> all the water comes out, and then you make a phone, so we call them, like, our iPhones, and they're, like, these long phones, <laughs> <laughs> you just put them in the hole and like it just goes all the way up and around and we even figured it out where it's not even the people on your line now like you can hear people like that are like anywhere in this board now because what everybody was doing yeah like you figured it out the better phone you made the longer so then one of the dudes was like you guys quit using the toilet use the sink we're like use the sink but we couldn't figure out how to blow the sink out so you actually have to blow the sink out so you blow the sink out you just take your phone and blow it out, blow it out, blow it out, blow it out. It takes a while, longer than a toilet. I can pop the toilet in like 30 seconds, where the sink takes in like 10 minutes. But if you pop it, I mean, if you clean your sink out, you can still put your phone there. They can put the tablet in there. They can play music on the tablet, and it goes through the phone, through the sink. Or they can have, be on a, they can be on a phone call with you. Or if you need someone, like if they call somebody and you're listening, and you can hear their conversation, or you can talk to someone. They just put the tablet there. Oh, that's and it turns like into a things phone I would. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so I had to wait last night because I needed to make, I needed to talk to somebody, but then they had moved somebody, so I had to wait till they relocated and come out their cool. timeout, and then so they could come over to the sink. So yeah, yeah, as long as they come. As long as they come anywhere, we'll see, four cells this way, four cells that way, top or bottom. How long did it take y'all to figure that as out? As long as like... they come any of those, <laughs> you can hear it now. We figured that out with the sink. Yeah. Well, the guys apparently already knew it. It's just that the girls didn't know how to blow the sink <laughs> out. Because they stick their head in there and be like, oh, I was like, oh, heck, nah. <laughs> And so, because I couldn't get it to work, I was like, man, I can't even blow up balloons, and y'all want me to blow out a sink? Nah, I'm good. But then they told us the trick on how to do it, and then they told us about the windowsill, and I was like, whatever. Sure enough, you can go to the windowsill, I just put your little like, phone there, you... and then you Who took the time to think about this? Through. That's really smart. Like, these are things <laughs> I never would have thought of. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. So I figured that uh the deputy must they must have said something like check the 
check and see if she's talking to him through the toilet or something like that. I was like, no, I quit talking to the toilet, which is true. I don't have to talk in the toilet. <laughs> they, I mean, I'm sure they do now when they hear this, but the thing of it is, it's just easier to monitor. They can monitor the toilet easier. It's a lot harder <laughs> see, to monitor. To probably they're just looking outside. So yeah, trying just to get the sun. I looking out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking at the mountain because see, my room like shows all the mountains, <laughs> and so like funny. you could um, be just chilling there was, looking at the mountains, like, like hey, what's going on? About, so, <laughs> it wasn't last night; it was the night before. I was gonna ask you. Yeah. Oh, can you can you hear me? Uh, uh, hey, minus two. I don't know what it is. Like I've been using the same. Yeah, yeah. I said my face broke out. I was looking at it like broken out down here. I don't know if it's stress or what, but. No, I was going to ask you about it last night, because I was... Ronan, go downstairs. I need my dog. Well, I'll bring him in a minute. Um, I come in her room. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so no, I was online. I was on Facebook, and I saw a video somebody <laughs> had shared, but I guess it was something you posted, I guess it would have been last year. It was like a 50-second video clip. But I couldn't really tell what was going on, because it was a lot of, like, mm -hmm. blurriness. <laughs> But I know it was you talking, and I think it was G, I'm guessing it was probably G. Yeah. But I was wondering, is that, like, one of those, was that one of those instances that you told me about? Oh, no, no, that was prior to that. Yeah. See, what I was trying to do was, I was trying to put the phone down to record because I was going to send it to Landon. Because yeah. I was trying to talk to him about him, he set the fire out, and, and he was yeah. wanting me to call his mom. Because I, so I was trying to get all of it on there, second. but I only yeah, got some of it on there. And I was I'll trying to get it. It's really one of the Barbies. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, I, I heard like little bits and pieces of the audio, but I was like, I wonder if that's one of the videos you had told me about. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what that and too where I what I had did was I had my regular phone with me. And so I always like like I said, because he yeah. would log into the AT and T or log into our, you know, account or try to check or like, you know, he knew my phone password and stuff. Yeah. Um, so like I would be like, Oh shoot, they're wrong. But in a moment of like stress you don't think yeah. oh I need to switch phones. <laughs> it's only when you're like strategically planning something, you know. And uh so that's where I was like, Oh shoot, I gotta go get the the right phone and I would like the whole time I was worried right I thought they had that phone and then when I get to uh when I get to Myrtle Beach yeah. I realized they didn't have that phone because the phone that phone I put it in, inside of a shoe and so I realized that they didn't look in that shoe that boot and like the boot had the phone in there when I yeah. got to Myrtle Beach that's why I didn't have one along the way because I did I thought they oh. had that phone but then I realized it was in the boot with a Myrtle Beach in Myrtle Beach, and I was like, "Oh God, yes, thank God, I still got that. like I still got this thing." And so what um, the lady wants to do is come and let me log into my iCloud, and I told her, "I don't know how I feel about that." I said, "Cause I don't know, she could be putting something on her computer that keeps everything on there." I said, "This is what I'll do." Yeah. I said, "I'll when the other lady comes for me, that's all my the girl that's helping me." Um, I said, I'll have her, like, we'll go through the folders and make sure. Cause she's supposed to bring her laptop. And because uh, I'd labeled it cahoots. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, so uh, I said, I'll make sure everything's in there. If it's not, we'll pull it from iCloud there. And I said, and then uh, everything's in there. And then the other the other folder uh, thing was sent to me by Angel's number. So it's like an email and it's got Angel's number on there. And then that video there is 20 some minutes. So um, I didn't want to download all that in that lady's computer. And she might have something on there that like kept it on the computer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, uh, how about I get it already? You know, I'm not giving you anything that's going to clear my name. I said, I'm not doing that. I said, because that would be wrong. I said, and plus two, I don't know what you would do with it. I said, but I'll let you see the abuse um, videos and the thing where I caught them doing the drugs. You know, like that type of thing, because that's important because Albert was the one doing drugs, you know. He was the one taking 
pain pills and stuff. And so she, I said, so if you want to have somebody that's a witness to say that they saw yeah. it, yes. I said, but I'm not giving you anything related to like my mind. case, but I'll give you stuff related but, to, you know, the abuse or whatever. Yet, but I know I keep all my you know, stuff locked up. I don't ever do drugs, so if you, it was my mind. If the doctor gave you, uh, let's say the doctor lock, gave you Percocets really because you got no an accident or something. It, I, you, that's how you know, as a parent, to keep your Percocets hid under lock somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And you kind of yeah 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 and so that was the thing so like if I don't do them I don't know you got them or I don't know where you're keeping them so I didn't ever keep up what Halbert had or what he done I mean I knew he cut his finger off on purpose I knew he was complaining about his knee you know you know, that was another thing that, yeah, that was another thing that, yeah. that they were like, you know, this whole story is about the garage. This dude actually cut his finger off in the garage, like, cut the whole thing off right yeah. here. It was shooting out blood. Blood was all in the garage. Blood was in the truck. Blood was all in the house. He was, he came in the house. There was blood all in the house. And I was like, I didn't know a finger could, like, bleed that one. <laughs> You know, like, bleed that much. I was, but wondering I was screaming was bloody murder. Lena was screaming bloody murder over the medicine. finger because there was so much blood, you know? I've seen stuff happen so much, like, working in a pharmacy. Like, this dude put his finger off. Intentionally get because sutured, they want to get medication. <laughs> pain pills, you know, all that stuff. I said, A, people want to say something about some yeah. blood in the garage when this dumbass cut his finger off on purpose <laughs> because he was taking pain pills and he was out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <sighs> Some people are, I know, like stuff like that yeah. can become addictive. See, I don't, I don't have anything like that. But yeah. like, I you don't know just sit there and be on a machine and be addictive. Like, oh, stick my finger in Hold here. On, let me go. It wasn't like it was an accident. My... It wasn't like he was Hold like, on, like you know, chopping something <laughs> and it, you know, chop the finger off. That wasn't yeah, it. He ran it through the, the machine. She wanted to grab them. That's what she was throwing a fist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I always thought like. Well, see, it's really weird. So my oldest daughter, she's gone. Well, her her class has gone back yeah. to school, but I've kept her out. They gave the option oh, to keep remote kids at home if you want. So I did that. But on Wednesdays, they don't have like the live meets. They don't do the WebEx. Me, mom, so all they have to do is just like their 15 minutes of the math program, 20 minutes of reading program, me, and then whatever mom, assignments are on Canvas is what it's called. Yeah. So this morning I told the girls like, hey, we're going to sleep in a little bit. Like, we'll eat donuts. But like whenever you call, I always come up here. That way I can hear you. And I always say, if you're good, I'll give you like a piece of bubble gum or like, you know, some there. <laughs> yeah. There, there's some like I was they had seen a picture of you somewhere I want to say it was online so was yeah, you know part of that too is and, probably like, because she wants to see what's going on real quick <laughs> we were on we were watching <laughs> well, I was watching TV the other day and have your face on a commercial just so you know <laughs> so, yeah court TV commercial they have like pictures of yeah. yeah but like I was watching court TV and the commercial comes and my little one's on the couch with me, and like, uh -huh. I mean, your face is only on there for like a couple of seconds. And my little one's like, "Is that your friend?" I was like, "It is." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Like I said, it's only like two or three yeah. seconds because they just like slap a bunch of people's faces, and yours is one of them. Yeah. And, like, they just be trying to wonder. I saw, like, I was mm. like, "No way!" And then I came on later that night, and I was like, "Oh no, that really was her." <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Commercial? Oh, God. Crazy. Oh, God, that's crazy. Like, I'm on a commercial, man. I'm supposed to be on, like, a Kim Kardashian commercial well, see, with all like, of this crap. I was telling my husband, because, like, <laughs> you know, getting... That's part of the yeah. way, like, that's one of the reasons why I decided to write you when I did was because all these people on yeah. the internet were saying, you know, this, that, and the third. But it just didn't really sit right with me. So that's We have I was, like, a certain that, knock. Like, and so like if there's this friend, one specific you know, knock we have that I hear on the windowsill, like it means I'm on TV like, right now. So and so that means come to the line because people will tell me like what's going on. So 
So they'll knock, they'll knock, and then I'll be like, I'll go, you know, hello, and they'll be like, oh my god, you were just on TV. I'm like, oh god, what now? And they'll tell me, and I'll just be sitting there like, and the dude's like, they're so funny. They're like, this is all bullshit. I'm so sick of this shit. They don't even know you. I'm like, okay, gee, thanks, guys. I know, but I don't know if your opinion's going to really matter right now because you're incarcerated. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I know. That's why everybody says that comes in here, like the females, like they at first hear all this stuff and then they come in and they're like, man, you like read the word more than anybody I know. You help out people more than anybody I know. You're so smart because I had to help this one girl. She understand something. This little girl wanted to write something to somebody. And so like I'm always trying to help people when I can, you know, when they let me. It's only when certain yeah. deputies let me when it's not like don't speak to a person you know what i mean and so like all of them leave and they'll be like you know i'll get letters from them and they'll be like oh my god i just wanted to tell you i saw something online the other day and as soon as i said that the people i was with i told them like that's that girl no uh -uh. and i said that's good because people that really know my character especially people in south carolina you know i didn't get to be around a lot of people in uh colorado I said, they know better than that stuff and i told that lady that on the phone when she called i said listen I said, no, you're not going to talk bad about your client, and I'm not expecting you to. I said, but I'm going to tell you right now. I said, she knows going well some of that crap she's made up is lies. I said, she knows I can walk her back out of it any day of the week with any okay. kind of evidence. I said, but I'm just telling you, but yeah. I understand she was upset, and I can't be mad at her for being upset because whenever I get upset, you know, sometimes I just run off of the mouth about something, and I don't even know sometimes, you know. <laughs> And so she was like, no, no, no. She was like, I just want to let you know, my message is to let you know is that she knows completely 100%, you know, where you stand and what you've done. And I said, okay, I just want to make sure that. I said, because I don't, you know, this, this lie stuff has got to go. I said, because the people are going to look kind of dumb, they're going to go lie under oath about it. I said, I get it. My mom was crazy. I was all over the place with this, that, and there. I said, but I had a, a right to be A, mentally unstable, B, everything I was going through. I said, and C, all the people, the blackmail, this, that, you know, yeah. that, that was a lot, <laughs> you know, to like even have a coherent thought yeah. with, you know. And so <sighs> I just be ready. Oh, I was going to tell you this part. I forgot to tell you. So, uh, the old attorney had sent a message and she was like, I keep getting a uh, call from people about no, I was, Albert I was is, talking uh, to keeps trying to Tanner cash in the insurance policy. Like I said, I don't tell him anything so, we talked about, but just like a Then I saw a report and that I was talking about down, he was, was trying to I thought just, about it, you know, and check in and make ask, sure I wasn't. Um, like, I'm sitting there like, first of all. Was there any kind of like life insurance policy? Uh, I'm innocent and I, you, why would I do that? Okay, Second that's what of all, I'm sitting there like, you are the one who you know, yeah, you got me there. Me and, and then I'm like, like yeah, third, yeah, that, I'm like, that registered you're calling in my head because I want to know what I'm well, doing. Well, it puts a lot more when, pieces don't you the think puzzle the together. Don't you think the police already have checked like, that? They don't need you to check that. You know what I'm saying? And so, in my mind, I'm just thinking all these things and that didn't like sit well with me because I just have this problem about like this whole money thing keep going on and on and on and I'm just like, it just don't sit right with me. Yeah. Yeah. On everybody. That's the ones he's trying to cash them in. Yeah, they got, like, they happened so, like, I got them so long ago, they had to come out and do, like, a, because I got them on myself, and so what happened when they came out and did, like, this medical report on myself, I knew I just went through what I went through in Charleston with the mental part, and so I was like, it's now or never to get a good policy on myself, because I didn't yeah. know how, I wasn't going to get on the meds, but I didn't, I wasn't sure what was going to go on, and I knew I, I got to the point in 2017 that I couldn't even stay at the job long enough, because it just kept, kept getting out of hand. They yeah. and the school district would put me on one position, and then they'd realize how bad I'd have a mental breakdown. Then they'd take me off of it. And so, to, and to Albert, it was like, You just won't stay at your job. I'm like, Okay, first of all, I worked at a teaching job for five years straight, the same job. 
So you got to understand something must be wrong if all of a sudden I can't even maintain. So then the school district started putting me in the classroom and then I'd go in the mornings through their group therapy because I knew he'd pulled a tri care worker. So they sent me through their program. And so it was 25 visits that you got to go to this doctor, whatever. So I knew once all that happened, I was like, I'm going to get a better policy on myself instead of just the one with the school district. And so I had to go do this health report on the stuff. So when I did it, she was like, well, what comes with this policy is you get to insure all your kids. Yeah. And she's like, and then you can add an optional plan for a spouse. She said, we even have an hour you can add an optional plan for parents. Well, then I knew, like, with spouse, I was like, That's we what I talked did. about it. We had one on a separate thing for each other. Thing. So I was like, all right, we'll just add all the kids, you know, whatever, whatever. But and so we did. And that was in 2017, I think it was. You know, so I'm sitting there like, okay. And then I called him in so many lies on, like, a report because he's like, he didn't know about it. But then in one of his video things, yeah. he talked about it. And then on his yeah. stuff that he sent to me from the divorce attorney, he talked about it. He was lying like hell. You didn't know anything. It came out of <laughs> bank accounts, you know, like, come on now. Like, are you stupid to think that people are not stupid? Like, I don't, I wonder sometimes if people look at one piece and then remember something from another piece and be like, wait, this don't make sense. But I do, because I, I see that shit. I've like, never heard this, this Like, nigga I've been doing a lot of grieving for any kind of money was involved, you know? But, yeah, so he's, he's doing that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting there like, I would never, like, who, I couldn't even, like, to be honest with you, like, you don't, you don't think about doing those things, but, like, at the school district, you know, it was always offered, so I was like, okay, you know, and so, like, who would write mine, like, I don't, that wouldn't even be on my mind, like, at all for anyone, like, that wouldn't even be my, it would take me a long time to even process that, to put it in my mind, to even, like, think about something like that, you know, when my uncle died, my aunt went yeah. straight to doing policies, and I'm saying, no, like, um, how do you even, like, that's the other Why like, is nobody, to me, I would just be like... Like, seeing that as a red flag? How? How could you know? he moved in with somebody else? Because... <laughs> that's odd. <laughs> but then I started thinking about it. I was like, well, you know, he was already living with someone else, like, the same week. And, then, you know, so it's like... People who think that way, they're wired differently. So in their mind, you know, he thinks, you know, he's something like, and I'm just sitting there and I told the people, I told her to write the people back and be like, look, I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't called nobody, ain't talked to nobody about no policies. I ain't done nothing and I haven't. And I says, and even it, I said, even if it had been like my mom and I had one of my mom, I'd still be like not even doing it right now. Like I, w I wouldn't be able to, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to back him. What I've learned is, and I told that lady this, I said, you got to realize the, you were getting back in the corner. Me, like outside part of Walmart? She so would do the same thing on Friday. The, she'd go like, I said, the all of the cocaine. Or, 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 and then be off Saturday, come back said, Sunday, and be fine. And Monday she was like, good to go. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you about that. an officer doing this, doing this. Oh, I've never, he's like, I've never did drugs. I passed on my drug test. Well, first off, let me just go ahead and tell you. Anybody in their right mind knows drug tests, if you work, you worked in pharmacy and stuff like that, people take certain pills and certain things because they know it's not going to stay in there like marijuana, right? They do that just like they do cocaine. They know that it's not going to be on yeah. there. I know this lady. I used to teach her to talk science. No, oh, I'm glad. You not. She used to go get high on the weekends like a Friday night and come to work by Monday. And I swear if they gave her a drug test, she'd have passed it. Yeah, <laughs> I got to do it. Next time I'll I haven't. I was gonna ask them how yet. Yeah. All right. You have Bye. Yeah.
Hey. hey. Your hair looks nice. I know. I just put it up. <laughs> I like it. How's it going? Okay. Okay. I have the. I have this tablet up here. It's kind of weird. I'm just like I'm all like spazzed out. <laughs> oh, my nerves, man. I, I was. I was. Wait a minute. My nerves has been so bad. I can't hear. You. Um, that was weird because I didn't hear from you yesterday. There so you I was go. Like, I, there you go. I think it's going first. Okay. <laughs> Man, I haven't slept. I had to go to the law library at 2.30 and like half the shit is missing. Stuff has password protections on it. I, so I might have to find out how in the hell I'm supposed to get that stuff. And then I'm like, I'm even more segregated yeah. in a way because like I don't, you know, I don't talk to people. So... Yeah. I like more segregated and than I even oh, was, nice but idea. I do get to have radio now, and order food, so you know. <laughs> I love pickles. <laughs> well, I just ordered a bunch of pickles. <laughs> I know I ordered a bunch of pickles and I ordered um some chips and some candy. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, you can't order like food. I oh, I ordered some ramen noodle, right? And then I dreamed about ramen noodle. Oh, I don't ramen noodle. Yeah, there was like ramen <laughs> noodle everywhere in my dream because I ordered like five packs. Oh. Yeah. And they they charge expensive for this stuff. Like, for example, oh um, a pickle oh. is like $2 so and I something. I mailed your letter out to you yesterday, the one that I wrote a couple days ago. Is it going to be able to get it to you? Like, is you still have the same, like, I guess, ID number? Cool. Okay. I was wondering. I was like, if not, they'll figure out, you know, who it goes to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did that the same day. Yeah. yeah. Did you um? Did you get the mail the other ones to the base? Yeah. No, I was. Oh, I cool. to get stamps the last time I told you. Yes, yeah, we can't mail overseas, you know. But he just got his other car running his little sports car, so he left me with. The Explorer, the oh, yeah. I took it and got stamped. Like, thank God. <laughs> but, which lady? Did that lady write you back? Yeah, she did. Okay, so she messaged me back like right when we got off the phone. Oh, uh, when you told her that and, uh, about the hard drive? Oh, I want to. I'm trying to go back to my phone so I can read it. Um, but I, you know, I'm trying to think. Ahead. I told her what happened, and she said that she would get that handled with the um, advisory council. Um, I just told her, like, um, I just was on the phone uh, relaying the message, and that you might be able to email her soon off the tablet, but you weren't sure how to do it just yet with why I was sending the message. And then she was asking me if you were moved yet, and I told her yes. And then um, yeah. she told me, like, right, right. Uh, try to like I don't talk to a whole lot of people about what's going on and I was like I don't think she's going to I was like she knows she knows. that's what I told her I was like I don't think she's gonna be talking to people anytime soon but I, I don't talk to anybody at all you ever want to talk and she was just like telling me to be careful you know, what we talk about on the phone since it is recorded yeah. and I'm like yeah no like we know and then she said that I'm gonna try to set up a meeting to come in and see you sometime I guess this October yeah, but she didn't say when. Okay. Yeah, because I need to. I need to find out how do I contact these people because uh, the some of the stuff was password protected when I, I tried to open it. That, some of the stuff know, was like missing, and I searched and searched and searched, and like, like oh, where no, was it at? We're gonna get that fixed today, and so. I'm like, cool. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay that's what and yeah so if you uh you don't have to do it today but if you think about it tomorrow just let her know that um i i accessed the hard drive and if she could come and talk to me because uh, there's a crap ton of stuff missing and i want to know how do i reach out to them and there's a bunch of stuff with a password on it so how do i get the password like i said she's planning on in this week yeah 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 because i want to make sure when she comes it ain't during my time out you know so it ain't like you know you could tell her that my okay. schedule if you want to is forget. so monday be five to eight and then tuesday be eight to eleven downstairs myself right now <laughs>
Okay. Yeah, well, we had a long day. We got up super early, and we went and got coffee. And I was oh, wow, they go to bed early, huh? My husband pulled in the dump, pulled, like, kind of, like, the, like, the road. I'm like, how got rid of your car out? We got rear-ended. <laughs> we got rear-ended this morning. I was like, oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, it wasn't. It was some like a little teenage girl playing on her phone, not paying attention. But we're all fine. But oh no, funny. everybody's okay though, right? Oh, did you? Know? I thought that my. <laughs> I got um the pictures of your daughter. Yeah. Yeah. She's got big. She's six, and she wears like a size the, the, two. The and, oldest like, one. She has a big foot. Like, like, she's gonna be she's like an feet. athlete. <laughs> Ironically, today we were out the dog going out. Yeah, I was like, man, she might be a volleyball or basketball star. Throw that football like any little boy her age. Let me try moving closer to my phone. Yeah. Hold on. Because I shut my Wi Fi off. And put it on Hold on. It's going in. Hold on. It's really bad service. I don't know if it's this tablet. Um, when did you say, what, what's your schedule for today? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, say something now. Uh, okay. So she won't come Monday, so just, because uh, it'd be before 8. So just tell her, it's in three-hour increments. Tuesday okay. is uh, 8 to 11. Wednesday is um, 11 to 2. Okay. All right. Thursday, yeah, Thursday is uh, 30 to 6. And then Friday, I have court. So there's no point coming Friday. I have court court for something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About th So this, this dude, he done sent me this USAA papers demanding to know what I yeah. spent <laughs> these life insurances on. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I haven't even touched that stuff. You're the one so adamant about it. So, hello. So, do <laughs> you just, think somebody else might have done it? So, like, I have to go no? to court for it. And I'm just like, I don't even know what they're talking about. Like, I haven't even done anything. You know. So, it's him. He's doing it. Not me. Oh, I don't, where am I doing it? I can't even text my own uh, advisory people. <laughs> so, so, how in the heck am I calling the bank? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's creepy. It is him. There's nobody else would have my social. Yeah, that's stupid. Well, you know, I mean, it's like, that, like, like, are you kidding me? Like, are you think I'm that I'm crazy? Here. And Second first of all, they can pull up I'm like not all even that cool. Like, see like, that please. You've never called any bank anywhere. <laughs> Be like, if you're... Well, USAA knows that too. They, you know, they keep a record of calls and people and, and stuff like that. But I remember coming off, yeah. come across some report that said that it was like Miss Stalk has not done it, has not contacted them or whatever since their latest request or whatever. But I mean, he might not know that. But he's probably trying, what well, he's probably trying wonder, to do is fish for like, information and they're like not giving I mean, it to him because it's under my name and we're not married anymore. <laughs> I wonder so, what he's trying to do. you know what I mean? Let's see. Want money? I watched a video. Yeah, wants money. It was I'm the money I'm has gotten to his head now. The class. money and attention has got to his head. That that's outside of our house. Like just watching, but he's so smug. They did an interview him and the DA played right up one of the. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's going in and out. Yeah, he's, he's what so now? smug. He's just standing there with his hands crossed all like, coffee, like, you can see the area. Yeah, I saw all him over standing him. out there when I was coming by in the van. The money, the, the money and the attention has really gotten to him when he was never the power really the like that. He was so he used to be so humble in South Carolina, like, but when Alaska came, it became like, you know.
Oh yeah, I've seen a lot of that um, with like the people mm-hmm. that were in my husband's unit that like Especially when they become like in military status. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Yes, yeah, someone tried to say something to me earlier and I said I just looked at him, I was like, Look, I ain't I said, I ain't got time for this. I said, I'm gonna win my case and I'm getting out of here. I was like, So I'm good. Well, because I have to worry about him here. These people be having drugs and stuff. So I try to stay away from yeah. anything because I don't I don't be doing any kind of stuff. You know, I'm and then and then my resources are gone because I'm over a different ward now. Yeah. So my resources are gone. So I had to like figure out um, some some good ways to be in the sink and stuff again, you know. But yeah, I like, <sighs> still working on that. I don't want to say I'm a, a people person, but, but I don't want yeah. people. Because like <laughs> moving over it. here means I, I'm near different I people. I myself yeah, too. I mean. <laughs> I've been overstimulated so bad like this, like all over the place, because you really still only get like an hour and a half out because you have to lock down for everything. You have to lock down for meds, food, shift change, everything. So you really only get like an hour and a half. But I'm even so much more segregated because I'm in this other room at the end away from everyone. But I still come out with people. But I don't have that like relationship with the friends that the people I got to impact in the other ward. I don't have that. Yeah. Because it's a whole different, you know, environment. People don't. People come in there. They're on drugs, all kinds of stuff like that, and they want to be. Yeah. They yeah. they need help, so they're looking for guidance. You know, so I had the opportunity to do that. But not so much in here, which I'm okay with, because if God sends someone my way, then that's like one said, thing. Just you know what I mean? Change and everything going on. Okay. But I let her know that you know you got the tablet, and you got to listen to some music and stuff. So. <laughs> yeah yeah i did and that was crazy because i was like i was like a little kid running around christmas like oh my god music. <laughs> I keep, be awesome, it sounded so weird and then they took me to the law library this morning friend, that's that did that and they were like so wow long. how do you feel you get to walk without the restraints and i was awesome. like oh my god i was like i don't even know if i can even walk right <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, I blame, I, and I thought about it more, and it wasn't there to blame, but then it was also the fault of my, the attorneys. They wouldn't help with anything. Yeah. You know, they wouldn't come in. They had all these rules about not coming in, and they still don't come in to visit people. So, like, they could have sit down and had conversations and helped. You yeah. know, it's funny to me, when I represent myself, the jail suddenly starts to want to the help so that tells you right there that they they didn't do what they should have done they wouldn't, they wouldn't come in to help me preserve that information and i'm saying that like information yeah. that's going to well, clear me of these charges and you will not come in here to help me preserve you. tell me what to do because i'm freaking out i'm scared to death icloud's going to crash one day <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's not working. <sighs> oh, hi. I didn't think she was going to let me back out. Like, we had to lock down for meds, and I was like, hello. <laughs> I, I was so worried because, like, my husband left with the girl, so it's just me here. Yeah. So I was like, well, I'm going to sit downstairs, and I'm sorry. I look like crap. Oh. I, I got a huge fight. But I, I got in a huge fight with my husband today. Uh-uh. Like, Oh, no. <laughs> Between you, between you and me, he like picked me up and like threw me. Oh no! Yeah, and I he's done this for years, and I've had my fill of it. So I started fighting back today. I was like, I'm done with your shit. Like I'm not putting up with it anymore. But oh, he took God. the girls out to go do something with them, so I could have some time for myself. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna come sit downstairs. And then I, I logged in, and it was like weak signal here, weak signal there. And I was like, I want to show her my new furniture I bought. <laughs> so I was like trying to find positions to sit. So I finally moved over here and I'm like, oh, it's a strong signal. I'm like, all right, hope this works. And then I saw my webcam kick it on. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Because I'm sorry you're going through that. That's oh, your eyes. You look like you haven't slept. Yeah, it's I've been crying a lot I'm this crying, morning. Yeah. Like, 
partially it's my fault because long story short, like I have to take a lot of medication just because I have like a lot of like depression issues and stuff like that. And they can affect my mood and it's, it's like depending on how I take them if that's if that makes sense. But I've been on them for like 11 years and he he's known this. But um, he doesn't like it when I take them. But like if I don't take them, then they make me feel really groggy and just like crappy. But then he gets mad when I take them. So like it betters me to take them. And if I take him, he gets mad, and then he says I'm, like, this raging monster, which isn't necessarily the case. It's just a whole big spiel. So he kind of told me today, like, you either figure something out or, like, we're done type deal. But I'm just like, whatever. Like, like, like dude, I didn't put up with your alcoholism for years. Are you kidding me? <laughs> thank you. That's exactly what I told him. I was like, I've stuck through, I've stuck with you through your alcohol abuse for how long? Like, yeah. Mine's not even like an addiction problem. Like I have to have it. Like the difference between a mental and something that's willful. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like I've been diagnosed, but like 2011 was when I was diagnosed. Yeah. It's it's the same stuff I've been on since 2011. But and then you know he berates me and then calls me all kinds of names. Like oh, no. he calls me a bitch. He calls me an idiot. He calls me a retard. You know, he tells me that I'll never succeed at the things I want to do. He tells me that, like, I've got nothing going for me. He's like, what do you do? You just stay at home all day and, excuse my French, fuck around on your computer doing your fake schoolwork. And I'm like, joke's on you, buddy. My schoolwork's it's an accredited school, so my degree will count for something. So go yourself. <laughs> you know that I heard that from Albert forever about your fake schoolwork. Really? And I, and I literally was like, here's my degree, and here's another degree. And I'd be like, okay, I guess they just handed them out left and right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think my I think my husband's jealous because, like... That's what it is. He went to school in Daytona, mm -hmm. like, right out of high school. And he went for one semester and dropped out because his grades were terrible. And then he tried to go back into college again. He tried going to... Um, well, I wrote you a letter. You'll be getting it probably next week. Yeah. Because I told you what school I go to. You probably know what college it is. Yeah. Um, do you know what Colorado Technical University yeah. is? Yeah. That's where I go. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. I love it. I do their online program. But he tried to sign up through their online program, but they denied him because he was homeschooled his entire life. Uh -huh. So they say that he doesn't have the right, I guess, credits or something yeah, required. Yeah, they consider it different. But he can go take a clap test oh yeah for most technical schools if you take like a clap or um i forgot what the other one's called right now but it would basically be like an exam saying like hey even though i didn't meet the credentials based on this i could pass it based on a test well you know what he did he wrote the school a letter he went and talked to like whoever the head of the school is and he like cussed them out like I graduated school, I graduated homeschool, my mom was my teacher, blah, 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 like, F your school, your school sucks, and, like, I'm one of their top students, like, I've been on the president's list for, yeah. well, I'm going on a year of being there, and I'm yeah. like, their school isn't bad, I love their school, yeah. like, I'm just, I'm at, honestly, I'm at the point in my relationship with him where I'm kind of teetering the odds of, yeah. is it better staying with him or just leaving him? Yeah. He sold my car out from under me. I have no car. So if I need to get a ride, I have to ask him to borrow his car or depend on him for a ride. Like, you know, he took the girls out today, which is fine because they need a daddy-daughter day. I was like, well, what if I decide to go somewhere? He's like, what are you going to do, walk on foot? I was like, bet, I will. I have, I have two working legs. I'll walk. <laughs> That's a control part, though, for him. He can have that control, yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, that's just how, how men get, man. I remember when Albert started taking his graduate courses, all of a sudden he could spend the whole weekend doing work, and it was okay. But all those years I spent the weekends doing work late at night and all that, it was a problem. Like, you're always on your computer. But as soon as he started it, it was like everything had to stop. Everybody had to be quiet. Nobody could make noise. Everybody better go in their room, play their games. Yeah, check this out. So, well, you know, you know, T or, <laughs> Tanner, that's his real name. Yeah. He's starting up his own LLC. So, like, when he's working on that here, like, we all have to be quiet. Like, the girls can't be making noise. Like, yeah. none of that. But then, when he wants to sit down, when he has time to watch, like, a movie or TV before he has to go to bed, like, he expects me to be free and willing to, like, I'm sorry, I look terrible. I've been crying all morning. Um, 
because like he wants me to be ready to like yeah. you know yeah has back and call but there's times where i have schoolwork i have to complete considering i just i was just in three classes which by the way i passed all three classes with an a plus oh good good <laughs> Yeah, I managed to keep my 4.0 GPA, so I'm still on the president's list. But he'll get mad at me. He'll be like, you can't do that later. And I'm like, no, like right now, school is my priority. I don't work. Like school is my, like, well, aside from the girls, school is my priority. So, like, just let me do my school and then, you know, movies and stuff like that can come after. But, yeah. Yeah, I've been through that. I understand. <laughs> no matter what you Marriage do, gonna, it's not going to change because then he'll start throwing out the card of, Oh, I'm the provider. I'm the man. I'm supposed to be the one doing this. And then yes. he'll start that. And then you'll just be like, well, what do you think I do? I mean, I take care of the kids. I take them to school. I get their lunch ready. I go grocery shopping. I, you know, I clean the house. You know, they don't. He's told me numerous times, numerous occasions. He's told me that. I, okay, check this one out. You'll probably love this one. We were talking one time about his work and he tells me that. You know, he works a lot because he has to, which I understand. But he's like, I want you to listen and I want you to understand. Work is my priority. It is my only priority. You are not my priority. You are not my second priority. It's like, it was like work, something, and then I'm the third priority. He's like, that's how it always will be. And then he goes, I am the king of this castle. And what I say goes, and you will abide by my king's rules. And I'm like... I'm the queen of the castle because I run this shit show. <laughs> Technically speaking, if you want to biblically speak, the woman is in control of the household. Now she's supposed to follow, yeah. she's supposed to follow her husband's lead. But when it comes to the household, the kids and stuff like that, that the woman does have control. That's in the Bible. But it's also supposed to be God first and your marriage second. <laughs> well, see, okay, so here's I, I'm not sure if I ever told you this or not. So like, we have religious like differences in our house so like i'm christian he is like nordic like he, he was like pagan stuff so, like thor and stuff like that so our religious views clash majorly yeah that's so that's, religion is a very like sensitive topic we went to a thrift store recently and our youngest daughter um i can't remember if i told you our girl's his name it's my youngest one the little girl her name's Ronan. So she picked up a book in a thrift store, and it was like um, the ABCs of Jesus. And she went up to her dad, and she's like, "Can I get this book, Daddy?" And he took it out of her hands. He's like, "Fuck no, you're not getting it." And threw it. And I looked at him, and I was like, "You can't say that to a kid." And he was like, <sighs> "So he picks it back up, and he gives it to her, and he's like, fine, if you want to get it, that's fine.'" And he come, he like comes over to me, he scoffs, and he goes, "I don't want her reading that." I was like, "But she has the freedom to pick what she wants to learn." Yeah. So I let her get it. I was like, you you buy a girl, I'll read it to you. <laughs> That's sad because Pagan, well, Pagan has been gone, especially when Jesus died on the cross. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm open to, like, you know, other people's interpretation of religion. But, like, yeah. to sit there and tell your kid, like, no, you can't read that book because I don't want you to. Like, that's limiting, you know. Mm -hmm. What their interests are is just ridiculous. You need to go play that song today. There is Jesus. Play it all day. You know, my oldest daughter would probably love that. She, I don't know how she learned it, but they, they, they learned some, like, prayer in school. And, like, she was so happy to show me. She's like, Mom, let me teach you how, how you pray. She's like, do you know how to pray at dinner? So I, like, played along. I'm like, no, tell me how. She's like, okay. So she's like, my oldest daughter, her name's Phoenix, like, uh, like Phoenix, Arizona. She's like, all right, Mom, sissy, grab my hands. And then she says, like, the prayer. And then she's like, hey. Amen. And I'm like, all oh, right. And it, it just like melted in my heart. I'm like, that's so cute. <laughs> uh, and you have to think too, in North Carolina schools, even though there's separation of church and state, a lot of North Carolina schools, you still find very biblical, pre I'm sorry, principles, things like that, that allow you to do certain things that you can't do in the Midwest and the West. You know what I mean? Yeah. Schools the Midwest is. Because we could lead, um, we I could lead prayer with my, uh, Oh, my softball girls, as long as one of them asked me first. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Like, and that was things you can't, like, that was in South Carolina. Like, if you'd have done that here, man, they'd have had your licensure, they'd have had everything. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Yeah. But yeah, go oh, play that song all day. There's Jesus by Zach Williams and Dolly Parton. Real quick, before it hangs up on us, um, your friend texted me back. Okay. Because I texted right after we got the phone. She said, let me log in here real quick. Oh, let me go faster because I'm slow. 
I text her what you asked me to say, and her response was, absolutely, so okay. she'll be bringing it to you. Good, good, good. That'd be perfect, then. I was at the law library all morning, because I, I had to stay up all morning to go, so I haven't been to bed, and I've been working on stuff, but she's been a really good resource helping, and people must have apparently looked her up, because one lady was like, I heard you got a banging investigator. I was like, she is. <laughs> she seems like a nice lady. Like she's always been nice when she talks to me. So I think she, I think she's gonna be good for you. Got it together too. All right, it's gonna hang up, girl. Um, tomorrow I have court, so I won't be get to call you tomorrow because it's still my out. <sighs> hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <sighs> okay, I'm been crazy around here. What's going on? What's new with you? <laughs> well, the other day. We only have four phones, and we have, like, 15 people out in our group. So the other day, we just had so many people doing stuff. And then the next day, my group was searched by the dog. <laughs> so so we were just all just standing out here, letting him search everything. I just was laughing because he walked in my room, sniffed, and ran out. <laughs> I was like, of course. And then he got ready to leave and came back to my room, looked in for a second, and ran out again. I was like, that's right, boy. You know better. <laughs> Oh man, oh, yeah. that was going on, and then I had to join the I had to join the vampire group again because they've been stalking me like crazy. So I made this thing in my room where they have to stay in a certain section. And they can't come near me because they've been waking me up out of my sleep and like getting me up out of bed and wanting to take my eyeballs. And I'm like, no, you're not taking my eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you need my eyeballs for? So like, what what do they say to you about that? Like, how how do they even approach you about that? Well, I was asleep. I haven't been sleeping good. You know, like that's this board goes from like 12 for 5 a.m. in the morning to like midnight, one o'clock. You know what I mean? Because people clean. I mean, you got to take the bad with the good because at least you can eat food and at least you can hear music. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's crazy. So I don't really sleep. And then I try to talk to mental health about. I couldn't take my uh, the nightmare meds because it's making me like I have sleep apnea, and then which makes my sleepwalking worse. And I like explain to them it's getting like more. It was sporadic, but it's getting like really bad again. And they just be looking at me like, "Well, you just you're so against anti psychotic meds or whatever." And I'm like, "Of course I am, but like, the, there has to be something that can help me." You know what I mean? It was, it's just, it's getting bad again. Like, it was bad at one point. That's why I got, and I think I told you this before, but that's why I got, I made it all the way uh, for the military, then got disqualified because sleepwalking. And yeah. Whenever, yeah, whenever we went to, uh, we were doing, uh, like, practice runs and stuff like that, that the group that was going with me to join, uh, we had already been to MIPS, everything. <laughs> I grabbed this stick, and I, like, in the middle of the night now, this long stick we had, like, it was like a walking stick. And so, like, I grab it, apparently, during my sleep, and I start running around it like I'm, like, shooting it, like it's a shotgun. <laughs> and so, like, I freaked everybody out. So, I got disqualified for it. But it goes in, like, you know, sporadic sometimes. I mean, I've driven the car before. In Myrtle Beach, I drove the car. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> went to the store, then parked in my friend's apartment complex behind the store. Slept. He came out that morning and was like, "Why in the heck is she parked in my apartment complex?" Oh, yes. Comes and knocks on my window, waking me up, and I jump up, freaking out, not knowing like, "What? How did I get here?" <laughs> that sounds be scary. Like, yeah, I only ever did that one time, and that was. Like, I guess a couple of days before I had my stroke, I don't remember, like, any of the events leading up to it. Yeah. Only what my husband told me, which was, like, apparently I was driving, I had to go pick him up from work, and I was driving home, and I almost hit a mailbox. I don't remember any of that. Yeah. Like, yeah, you were hauling ass home, like, going 114 down to 95. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> but that's going to be, um, I wrote you a letter, I guess, last week, and. I got one from you. I just Hopefully, you can one pretty soon because I put a suggestion in there that you could ask about for um like different kinds of medication yeah. for like sleeping. Um, I don't know if they'll like what they'll give you or if they'll even. They won't give you it, sleep but... stuff. It just has to be like antipsychotic stuff, and they know how I feel about that. You know, because I used to take the Invega and the Thorazine. Uh, they let me try that like 2016, I think it was 2017, and like man, you might as well. I might as well have been high. I walked around <laughs> like a zombie. I'd go to my classroom and just literally be in there like, okay, today, guys, we are going to work on this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? But, I, I mean, mean 
my door is shut, so it ain't like I can, like, you know, run and fall down the stairs or something. But I don't, sometimes they'll come in there and the one deputy will be like, Stout, you're, you're standing on top of your desk again. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I think I'm climbing out and I get on top of my desk and I just be standing there, like. <sighs> How are things going there as opposed to where you were? Uh, like it's been okay. Like, I, it's, I mean, a lot of people kind of have, have been have lightened up a little bit. Like I said, once they got to see, they say they be saying like this girl. He's always in her scripture, minding her business. I don't get involved in that drama stuff. You know, they kind of eased up a little bit with the whole, you know, like like comments and stuff like that. And then they see I be, you know, always always got my Bible read the people. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? And I didn't I didn't get to sleep last night. And they came and got me out of my bed to go downstairs because. They were here to bring discovery, but, um, so I go out and, you know, the jail, they've, they've been nothing but nice now. I mean, I mean, it took me being, you know, pro se, cause I had, you know, crappy attorneys who weren't, you know, wouldn't even sit down and have a conversation with them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They've been nothing but helpful with everything, you know, well, except the lady from the law library, she be tripping. So she was, <laughs> she started yelling at me because I was half asleep. You know, I got woke up out of my sleep, and I had been sleeping. So I get ready to come back in the ward, and, you know, by instinct, you see a door, you're getting ready to open it. She goes, don't grab that door. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't go back in there? She said, you're not allowed to touch doors. Now, remind you, there is a lieutenant standing right there, and obviously he didn't freak out about it. And he's a people person, so if he had a problem with it, he'd be like, hey, remember, Miss Stout, don't touch the door. And I'd be like, oh, cool, sorry, whatever, whatever. But see, the problem is... She has like this, first of all, and this sounds bad. This is me talking in the flesh. Lord, forgive me. But she had to get up out of her desk or seat and walk. So I'm sure that was an obstacle for her because she's kind of overweight anyway. So she had to like walk all the way down here. So she's probably not even happy with the extra work. And then, you know, she's got the DA investigator here, which is the lady. And she's like really pretty. So she's probably got this like complex thing going on. Like I'm, you know, I'm standing here with this really pretty investigator. And then the investigator guy from the DA was there and he had a suit on, you know, and he's like this decent looking guy, you know. So she probably was sitting there, like, feeling like she had to have some control or something, you know, like, you know how sometimes women get when they feel like they are outpowered, you know. Yeah. So I'm just thinking of there. Lieutenant looks at me, and I look at him, and I was like, okay, sorry, and I'll walk off. Like, Yeah, what, what are you going to do by touching the door? That's so stupid. <laughs> now, remind you now, she's not a deputy. She's the law library person. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's not a funny, it's, it's ridiculous, like. I'm just sitting there, like, it wasn't like I was opening the door to exit. I was opening yeah. the door to go in my room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like she was trying to be, like, like a show-off, like you said, because there's other people there watching. <laughs> That's, what it was. That's what it was, because she was around a really pretty girl and a dude and who's dressed all fancy, and she just had to be like, Ur. So I was just oh. sitting there like, geez, Lord. But other than that, I mean, it's been, they've been, like I said, helpful. They They brought more stuff today, but I don't need it. I told him I didn't need to go back to the law library because I already, here's the thing, that 2.30 to 4.30 time is impossible because it's the one time that I do get to go to sleep. And kind of like you said in your letter, it's one of two reasons. And I did the right thing. I asked her nicely, could I change it? And she tried to say I didn't, that medical told her about the meds. And I was like, well, why did she ask medical? Because it was mental health to be the one that I counsel the meds with. I don't, I don't understand, but whatever. But, um, so I just said, forget it. Because when I went the other day, I got to see that there was two, I wanted to see, make sure that, that they had something that matched my two pieces of evidence. And I found it plain as day. And they didn't even, they don't even know it's there. I mean, they know it's there, but they don't even know it connects. And so once I saw that, I just put my head down. I was like, hallelujah. It backs up everything I have. And then I just, you know, I was like, I don't need, I don't care. I don't need to look at it anymore, to be honest, because why? I mean, you can't be not to sound like cocky about it. That's not what I'm trying to do. But they can't they can't you can't beat it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so like I just started praising God about it. I was like, thank God, you know, like we don't need it. And so I just they handed me more evidence and more stuff and I just was like, All right, thank you, have a good day, bye. And I just walked out because but the problem is like the one I'm gonna have to use because it saves me. But then the second one I've been in and out with the Lord about, you know, using it or not because uh 
it's going to, yeah, it's going to make me look 10 times better, but it's also going to hurt some innocent people. And, uh, and so, but I mean, at this point I have reached out in all avenues in life to, you know, to could have all could have already done this once I was in my right mental state. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, clearly I was not in my right mental state, you know, throughout the process. But once I was in that, I could have, you know, held, but I just said, you know what, forget it. If it, I hate it to say it, but it's just gonna, it's gonna hurt some legacies <laughs> and some, some people. And so I'm like, you know what? I just finally came to peace with it. I'm, I'm definitely showing the one and I'm still kind of iffy about the second one, you know? Well, well the letter that I wrote you, you'll probably get it. I'm guessing this upcoming week. <clears throat> I kind of touched base on some of those things too. Just, I think I said in there, like, go with your gut, because that's what I always do, because my gut has never steered me wrong, and I think you've been there long enough already for, I guess, proving your loyalty to some people, if you know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I've read that part, yep. So, I think you know what you need to do. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and I was freaking out, like, I lost it this morning when I was, I made the things uh, for my, I made these, like, square spots, and I was like, freaking out on the door i'm like give me my son back <laughs> and the deputy was like <laughs> i'm like i'm sorry I, I i'm i'm losing it in here you know like and the other day okay so i had to go to court the other day for uh family court i was freaking out because they followed me all the way to the courtroom and i kept trying to tell the deputy i was like i'm not going in there there's people in there and so she was just looking at me like so i kind of like scooted on the wall trying to get around them and she's just like, but then we had like the drug search later. And I said, oh my God, I didn't think I was on like some drugs or something. I don't even do drugs. <laughs> you can search me, take hair, saliva samples, you know, whatever, whatever they want to do. But I was just, I've been just, I think it, when you look at stuff and you know you're holding something, it stresses you out more because you have to keep sitting there waiting like every single day. Yeah. It's like another I to sit there and wait to do what you're supposed to do and I just want to be like <gasps> you know what I'm saying I can but imagine I, yeah but, but I finally got a good you know with Caitlin you know and f finally knowing that you know I know she's on my side you know and I feel confident in that that helps a hundred percent because now she knows you know yeah I, I like her a lot I get good vibes from her like I can sense good energy from her <laughs> right Right, and when she looks at me like, you know, dead in the eyes, not just telling me something I want to hear, but 100% going, wow, this is wrong. And I'm like, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, it's wrong. What do you think? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that, that helps me get through the day, but sometimes I lose it. I was going to ask, um, I can't remember if I asked you or not, how did that thing with the USAA thing go? You told me that a few weeks ago. I don't even know. I was so freaking out because they wouldn't empty the room out that they took me in. And uh, her radio was like telling me, she was like, I, I cleared the room out. There's, there's nobody in the room. And I was like freaking out at the window. And then I heard somebody in the background on, on the court going, well, she's waiting on people to get out the, get out the room. But the her radio was like, stop there, there, there's nobody in the room and i was like yes there is <laughs> <laughs> and so that, and they came back in here and i was spazzed out then i thought they had brought me back to another ward because i didn't see none of my group members so i was freaking out i was like y'all are tricking me this is not where i'm supposed to be out <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta be that's gotta be tiring so they probably thought I was. They probably said that girl done got in there with them girls, and somebody else gave her some drugs. That's why I swear. Tom, I got back in here not long after that. The dog came, and I thought I put two and two together. Go, no, they tripped because I ain't did no drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but then the girl said they do it randomly. They just pick random people or whatever. I was like, oh, well, they can come random me every day. You know what I mean? I don't care. Yeah, I wasn't even worried about it. They were going to summon themselves, and they were like in there for like four or five minutes, and people were like oh shoot and i was just sitting there like oh well i <laughs> mean if y'all if there's something in there then someone slung it <laughs> yeah <laughs> no you'll, you'll be good i'm not i'm not surprised that they went to your cell though <laughs> like you know but you'll be good um yeah, no, oh, yeah, I, was gonna tell you, I was on um facebook today i was just killing time this morning and um that was one of like the discussion group pages there was like a, a letter that you had wrote to the judge. I, I guess they released it on the like court document website. And somebody oh, yeah, yeah. 
screenshot it all of it and like shared it on the Facebook like discussion board page and they're all like going nuts over it and I'm just like ah, these people <laughs> huh. nobody has a life they be trying to my I'm telling you the the toxic part was the attorneys because mm -hmm. they were sitting there want me to pick they wanted me to pick between my family and I'm sitting there like you put me in a hard position here that's not the route that it's gonna go down <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not going to no, sit here. I think you made the right decision by getting rid of them. <laughs> and that's the thing. Is they, you know, I got to remember as a parent, still, regardless of my relationship or what me and Ty, I'm not going to sit here and put him in any, any, in any incriminating position at all. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, nothing. I don't care if it was telling a lie. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to do that to him. And you want me to. Are you nuts? <laughs> you know, that's the thing that people don't see. You want you want to put me down, put me as this bad person, but I'm over here having to choose between, you know, oh, a child I raised and a child I gave birth to. Like, are you freaking nuts? Like, you want me to like? No, <laughs> that's not how it's going to go down. We're not we're not beating down any children in this. We're not. You know what I'm saying? No. It's a tough position, especially for people who haven't gone through it. Like, nobody's going to understand if they haven't been in your shoes. And that's well, not, not a lot of people are empathetic either mm -hmm. or try to be. So, but I'm just, I'm excited for things to come along because I feel like they're going to go in your favor. I think oh, you yeah. made the right place. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, I always say my prayers to you and your family. And, I just hope that, you know, things keep going well in your favor and that things go well for you there where you're at now because I, I get worried because I used to hear for you for, I used to hear from you more often now and I'm always like, I hope she's doing okay where she's at. Yeah, it's just that this, like I said, this this place is crazy. I had to call somebody for somebody yesterday and I couldn't even hear the dude. I had to be like, what? Huh? <laughs> I was sitting there like, what did you say? You know what I mean? And then I had to spend my time the other day because – I didn't get to talk. Okay, so he's in, in Mexico right now, and I didn't get to talk to them because I don't. I, I tried for like how long to get somebody to talk to them. You know, the one with the 29th. I tried to get them to talk, like to get the connection, and I, we've been working on it and working on it and working on it. But they're he, they're in Mexico, and so it's not quite that well. But when the, that guy talks to his mom in Mexico, they do it through an app. And they're able to do it on the tablet through the app, but we haven't been able to get the connection to quite work that well. And so I've been over there like, uh, you know, because I haven't talked to them in only one time since I've been over here. Oh, really? Yeah. And so that that bothers me because I'm just over there like, oh, you know, because I want to. Why, why, why is Ty not at school? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That That stresses me out, you know, and it's just a lot to keep on me because, you know. Now that I'm like, you know, part of his life a little bit at least, I still have those. I get pissed off because I'm like, this shouldn't be going on. Like, I, he, he's, he's pissing me off more and more because now he's going to take him back to Mexico and start this little pissy games again. And he's pissing me off with it. You know what I mean? And I'm just over there like, oh, just stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Just, just. He's doing this because he's screwing around with you and he thinks that, you know, you're going to sell people out or something. I'm sitting there like, I'm the one sitting here. I ain't sold nobody out. Now, I know you said that he made, like, video dispositions. Like, yeah. have you actually seen them or is that just what you heard? No, that's why she's going to Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know, like... If you haven't actually seen them, I don't know if he has actually made them or if he's just said no, that. No, <laughs> he has uh, because Angelica won't lie to me about that. Because Angelica had every reason that she could have sold the videos. She could have sold her stuff from her phone, everything. She could have made a buku, sold it, and it would have been all online. But she made the right choice and didn't, you know. And she did that for Ty's sake because she was like, you know, that's – I don't want to do anything to hurt you because that's what they would do. They would attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it. And then you wouldn't be able to use it. You know what I mean? And so she, by her making that choice, I knew she weren't going to, like, you know, sell me out on stuff. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I had yeah. that fact of getting her phone. 
because I never had it. You know, what I'm saying? I didn't have her phone in February. You know, I didn't have it. Not you know February before. So once I seen that she wasn't going to be about making money and you know like oh you want my phone here you go you know what I'm saying. Uh, so that's when I you know ask her like certain things or whatever. And so you know he's got an attorney obviously. And he's going to do whatever his attorney has him do, whatever. But at the same time, that's why she's going to Mexico. Because if someone, you know, gives someone something and then they change it from what, you know, whatever, then all she's got to do is take the stand and be like, wait a minute now. You told me this. And yeah, I have it right yeah. here. Like, I, don't, I don't know him like you do. I just don't know if, like, he's actually going to help you or... Kind of like you said in the letter that you wrote me, you know, like if he's going to remain in secrecy or try to, you know. Well, if he does, it doesn't matter because the evidence from her phone proves I'm innocent. It just won't. I just get in a predicament of who's these people. That's where I get in a predicament. Yeah. And, you know, well, I'll tell you who he is. But you want to go find him? He's in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um. But the most possible is keeping Ty from being incriminated, you know, for anything. I mean, just for even being on his cell phone, you know, he could, anything. I don't want him, you know, wiretapping Ty's cell phone and, you know, bringing him in this and him getting beat down like Harley did for no reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's the last thing. That's the last thing yeah. I want to happen because, you know, that's yeah, the bad, bad that's start to our relationship, you know. And it's probably when, like, adults involve kids into adult problems you know like they don't need to be dealing with that so is you know, he, she looks at me and she's like angel. i'm sorry go ahead i was just gonna say yeah and angel was like you realize that there is gonna be someone you know hurt in this you know what i'm saying like basically like someone's legacy or what they're gonna have an image of that person and i she's like and you realize that's going to look bad on their part whether they're alive or not you know whether they're adult or not you know she's like do you realize that and I was like oh, yep <laughs> at this point I hate to say it anymore but it's just about myself at this point and it proves it's not me and that's where I'm going with it I'm still iffy about the other one but I'm more leaning towards the 85% of the other ones coming out too yeah. yeah. I mean, you have to look out for yourself because the more, the longer you're there, the more your mental health is going to deteriorate and you have to take care of yourself because I, for one, can attest to how important your mental health is. <laughs> I actually went to my uh, behavioral health appointment today and she tried to like prescribe me some like anti-depression drug but I looked it up and it's like for bipolar and it's like it's an anti-schizophrenic so I'm probably not going to take it because I don't think I have these things but yeah no the longer that you're there like you need to get out of there and well that's the thing I worry about the most is that my episodes of freaking out are starting to increase again you know what I mean and yeah. at the end of the day I'm still segregated like I'm still by myself for 22 hours really because really? when, yeah, because I'm by myself in a cell. I'm beside this old lady with Alzheimer's or dementia, one of them. So it ain't like I can talk to her in an event like I could in the other ward. You know what I mean? So technically speaking, in the other ward, I could socially communicate more because it's a smaller ward. Where in here, you can't yell like that. You'll get in trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, I can eat and gain some weight yeah. back. And, you know, I can listen to some Christian music. So, you know, you can't have it all. But I do worry because my episodes start to increase more with the freaking out. And and I try to get my sleep right. I try to do all that. But there's more than just sleep to it. I mean, it's like I've had a history of disassociating. You know, it's on paper. Like, I, I have those, you know, those documents. I have that from, you know, the disassociation. I have that from the schizo disorder. I have it from all that. You know what I'm saying? And. I didn't, I hid that stuff for the longest time when I first got to the jail because I thought it was protected information. I'm like, y'all don't need my stuff. There ain't nothing wrong with me. Because, you know, like you said, you don't think you have it. You're like, I'm not, don't claim it. I'm not claiming it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but at the end of the day, yeah. it's real. It happens. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I might how's have a, it. How's Taylor? <laughs> good. Good. Um, 
He went to Raleigh today. You and here's the thing this? is your head. Oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can you hear me? And what happens is you develop all these uh you develop all these things in your head and you don't know. Like I had to literally join the group again because these suckers would not leave me alone. They kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going, waking me up, trying to take my body parts. And I'm like, fine. You know? So how did you how did you meet these people? Because I don't I don't think you I can't hear you. Ever asked them. Hold on, hold on. I can't hear you. Hold on. I can't hear you. I think it's going out for a second. Let me see if I can get closer, better reception. How about now? Okay. Is that better? Okay, now what now? Yeah. How did you ever meet these people in, that, in this group? Okay, well, when I was in my classroom last year, that was one of the first times, I, well, maybe like second or third time I'd met Justice. And at first I just thought it was like sleep deprivation. You know, I was like, oh, maybe I'm not sleeping enough. You know, like I'm delusional. You know, I'd think, you know, I'd be like, man, I didn't drink anything before school, before work. <laughs> like what in the world? And so then it got a little bit worse. And then in my classroom it happened and I freaked out and this bookshelf fell over and it gave me a concussion. And... He was talking to me, talking to me, and Chance was there. And so it was always like I associated that with Chance. So it was like my way to connect with Chance. And so anytime I thought about him, Justice would appear again. And so I kept, you know, whatever, whatever. And it's, that's why I ended up on planes all the time, like going places. Because it was the one place I didn't have to have control. And if I didn't have any control, then my mind could, like, let loose. And I wouldn't have these, like, things go on in my head. I'm telling you. You develop all these things. I thought I was dying of cancer. I was freaking out in Charleston, you know, thinking I was dying of cancer. I ended up in Jamaica. I ended up in Canada. I was in the hospital two times in Canada. Like, because you just develop all these paranoias and you start thinking, I check under every table now. I check under every, you know, whatever, because I never know when they're going to be there. Yeah. And so then they just got started coming more and more and more. And, you know, and I don't know enough about it, and I don't, and when these people come to evaluate me, I just look at them and be like, there ain't nothing wrong with me. Because I don't want people saying that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, you don't want people to say that, like, there ain't nothing wrong with me. Don't be trying that bull crap, you know what I mean? Yeah, I had to, I had to talk to my doctor today, and I was like, you know, telling her some of the stuff, like, the stuff that I go through. I was like, please tell me I'm not crazy. And she's like, no, you sound like you're crazy. I'm like, thanks for the support. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that, was no, that, was pretty pretty but and that lady came and, you know, all her little, might as well she went and ha should have had wine with the, with the state, the prosecution. I mean, of course, I'm over there like, this lady's crazy. I'm not crazy. And, but then what happens is because of having that in your brain, then it develops all these things where, you know, like, oh, my God, she's got cameras. She's here to, you know, record a movie. And then it goes from there. Next thing you know, she's sleeping with the people. And then it goes on to now she's trying to sleep with me. <laughs> like they, and it just, I, I'm telling you, it, and then it just, it goes on. And then I, I, that was why I freaked out on the deputy that just worked that time when she grabbed mm -hmm. me because I was swearing up down. She was trying to rape me. And, like, me and her laugh about what? it. And I tell her, I said, I have extreme paranoia about it. I said, I thought you were trying to take me in a ring of rape. <laughs> so you get where you don't know whether you're getting raped or not. Yeah, like, you get where you don't know if you're getting raped or you're not getting raped. And it's just based on, like, how a person touches you or, like, and the, the stories come in your head. They keep developing. Huh. And after a while, yeah. you've already been raped, stabbed. You've already been, you know, your clothes taken off when you didn't want them. I mean, it just it's crazy but anyway all right well i re i sent another uh a visit um yeah. but i hope you guys have a good night that's oh it's almost 10 o'clock there and um i hope taylor's okay uh you guys are doing okay yeah Hey. hey! I was wondering if you were gonna come or not. I was like, I hope they're not on lockdown. 
No, it's just that this girl is working. She's ignorant. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't explain to her. Like, she, you know, I tell her if it's a 15-minute visit, it starts at 8. No, it doesn't. Yes, 8.30. Yes, it does. Because someone else might have one scheduled at 8.45. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I came upstairs because uh, my husband's downstairs with the girls. And I was texting him, and I was like, well, I'm waiting for her to come on, but I don't know if she's going to make it. And then he popped up, and I was like, yes. <laughs> but, yeah, and they just, she just thinks, like, oh, it's well, you'll come at my my time when I'm done prancing around. <laughs> <laughs> Does she know, like, when these are set up, like, they give you a window of time. Like, if you don't make it in there, they'll kick you out. Like, it's yeah, like a five-minute window. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't care. <laughs> Did you get any sleep last night? Uh, I went to sleep at like 4, 4 a.m. Then I got up at breakfast, but I didn't want breakfast. I just wanted the milk, so I had to get up and go for the milk. I got like bags under my eyes. Then I just went crazy, and I braided all my hair. Nice. I need to do something with my no. Wash it. No. <laughs> it's not nice. It's crazy. Well... I need to do something with mine. I, I literally, I just washed it and then took it out. I had it in a bun and then I just kind of did this and it's just really thick and wavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. How was that? What happened yesterday with the, before you got off the phone with that girl? <laughs> oh my God. It looked like she was getting her ear bit off. Yeah. And I don't know. I was trying to tell the people, but they just were like looking at me like, we don't see any blood. I was just like, whatever. Yeah. Mm, that's and then cool. the commander came in my cell yesterday with the lieutenant and was like, I've been told to tell you to go to the law library. And I was like thinking to myself, who would tell you you're in charge, you're the boss? But I didn't say that. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay, I'm good. And he was Did like, we can go. No, because, well, he was like, we can adjust uh, medication for after the law library. And I was like, so basically struggle with anxiety all day and then have medication at 4.30 a.m. when I return. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, cause that's one of the things I wrote to you about in the last letter I sent you. Because yeah. I wrote some suggestions and then, like, maybe different times you could take it. That would work with your schedule at the law library, but that would mean like sleeping during the day and being yeah. up a lot more at night, which would be <laughs> kind of difficult. Well, it would also mean like not sleeping straight through. It would be like sleep because they're going to wake you up for mids in the morning. If I mean, you're going to hear the clicking and then they're going to wake you up for this because like, you can hear all of it and you hear all the doors open and you know what I'm saying? It's just going to keep you. Yeah. It's not effective. Even if you do step through the whole night, this is not a good time to uh, not only about the meds, but to your brain to be stimulated. You know what I mean? Like to be alert. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about you, but like I'm a pretty light sleeper. So if I fall asleep and I get woken up, I'm like right back awake. Like <laughs> That's me. And, but I didn't even say that to him. I just said, it's fine. I don't need to go because they're going to just be make it like, oh, we can change your meds to 4.30 a.m or something like that not i don't necessarily take them all the time so they're going to use that excuse to like well she doesn't take them all the time well sorry yes i don't believe in drugs so of course i don't take them all the time but i didn't even say anything i just like it's fine i don't i don't need to go i'm good i was like yeah. I, I, got, I got another plan don't worry about it and i was like thank you for your help because there's no point of you know saying anything because i don't want to argue with these people i don't have nothing no problems with them i mean they changed the security you know what i'm saying so they did the right thing with that so there was no point of being you know argumentative about it so I was just like i'm good yeah they can't force you to go if you don't want to go <laughs> that's your yeah, choice I mean, to make yeah i just didn't want to pop it up some motion making me to go to court for me to stand there and tell the judge like there's no problem i don't understand <laughs> yeah do you have any more um do you have any more have hearings anything. before may like to see how things are going or I mean, I don't think so, but I'm sure they'll probably pop one up. You know, yeah. I'm not doing I'm not doing the evidence hearing. I'm just we're, we're just waiting. You? Yeah, no, there's no point doing it. No, because I remember I think it was the WebEx one that I sat in on. I think it was it the DA was talking about like he was want, he was wanting to do it. So 
if he wants to do it, but you don't want to, like, do we have to, like, kind of vote, like, who does it, or, like... No, they already, looked at, they already looked at the statute. The statute says it is the defendant's right. Oh, okay. Well, cool. So you can, if you don't want to do it, then good. Okay, because I didn't know how that worked. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I mean, they'll probably try to say something. I mean, I'm sure, but it's the defendant's right. I mean, that's it's to benefit them. It's not the defendant. It doesn't defend. I mean, it's not sit there for a show for them to try to get likes or media. That's not what it's about. It's not. There's no benefit for them. Yeah, you know? that's what I was wondering the last time when I can't remember if it was the WebEx I sat in on or something I read online when the DA was like talking about how like he wanted to go through with it or whatever, and I'm like. I don't know why, because it's not really anything beneficial for his side of it, you know, <laughs> like, but. Yeah, it just, it would, all it does is get them more publicity. That's what, you know, yeah. but I don't, I don't need it. They can show everything they want to the hearing and do all this and do all that, but they don't have what I have. And I just, at this point, I don't want to be too cocky about it, but I'm, I'm over it. They don't have it, so. Uh, it's just to me, I just laugh and sit there and be like, oh, well, joke's on you, you know, like not in a bad way, you know what I mean? But yeah. So if you don't have to do that one, then is it just going to go straight to trial then? Uh, I think there's like stuff in between. There's like issues in between because there's the uh, situations with the cops when they would do what they did in the bathroom, you know, like the coercion and stuff like that. You have to situations with that and then there'll be like another thing that talks about like search and seizures and like what was you know what was legal what was not that type yeah. of thing for and uh, then they have like a little pre-trial thing um but yeah there's no point in me doing all that like what am i gonna do the other thing for you know sit there and listen to someone when you can't it's not like you get to go give them any ev evidence back you know what i mean yeah. And it's not like it doesn't matter what. The presumption is low. The grade is low. So all you have to do is just show a minimum probable cause and they're going to hold you. you yeah. Know what I'm anybody can make up that on anybody. I mean, you know. Yeah. No, I, I, it makes sense. It's just kind of like it's really just a waste of time to just do it. So, yeah, no, that makes sense. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it either. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, there's something I was going to ask you, but I totally forgot what it was. Okay. No, that's what it was. Okay, so last night I was thinking, okay, so the other 29, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, are they are they related to somebody? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what I was wondering. Because <laughs> I was, like, sitting down last night, I was thinking, and I was, like, putting all the pieces together, and I was like, okay, I think I have this figured out, but I want to <laughs> ask you for yeah. I Okay. Okay. So yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah uh, he works for him. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was. That was what I was gonna ask next. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He works. Yeah. He works for him. It's. Uh, yeah. You read my and he made, Yeah. He made sure. He. I mean, he's not gonna do nothing crazy. He better not. He knows it'll be his head. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I think it's pretty funny that he's uh, also a 29. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, no way. Like, what are the odds? <laughs> he thinks he's hot stuff, too, now. He thinks he's hot stuff. He's, he walks around with a big head. He thinks he's hot stuff. Because all the girls be like, oh, my God. And I'm just, I laugh at him. I, it's funny. But, yeah. He thinks I mean, I look at him online. Like, he's, he's, not, he's not bad looking. <laughs> In person, he's a lot better because, you know, he looks crazy from California because he was in California then. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, can cut off because she didn't let me come at my time. So they only go and they change it to the next. But you have a good day and a good you Easter. Too, if you I, don't, you don't I hope you get some good rest. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello? Hello. Hold on. It's because you're on your phone. What's on? Hello? You're on your phone. You on your phone? Your phone?
That's why. I was on the phone It earlier. won't work on the phone. Oh. Esther, can she hear you? Can you hear me? We can't hear her. Yeah, I was on the phone earlier. Tell her we can't hear. We just can't hear you. I think it's something to do with my car. Hello? Why? Because it was on my Bluetooth. Yeah. Take it off your car. Take it off my Bluetooth. Oh, wait. Hello? Hello? Can I st- restart the visit? Take Take it off your car. Take it off your I car. I did take it off my car. Take it off your car. Uh, um, maybe hello? I should put it back on my car. Plug it in. Oh. Here we go. Hello? Take it off. Hello? 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 I can hear my ringtone, but I can't hear her. Hello. Is it? Wait. Oh, wait, hold on. <sighs> Hello? Hello? You can't hear nothing. <laughs> look, look what I got. Hold on, look what I got. It says chance. Yeah, that's my music, though. I did turn my music off. So where's your volume? Take it off speaker. I think it's you. That phone has to be broken. No, it's not. It's the same, same phone. phone. <laughs> um, no, I don't know why it's doing. <laughs> Hello? Hello? All right. Huh? It's okay. You're going to end Bye. it? She can't hear you, so it's charging. You can't it's hear me. Tour. I wonder if I can restart it. Wait, hold on. Let me hit refresh, okay? Hold on, hold you on. Can. Let me refresh it. I'm beautifully hey, how you? I like your braids. Uh, I don't know. Just, yeah, I just had to do them again because they made me just put yeah. them in this little one. But I can't, I can't take them apart because the they had the ninjas came in my room. And uh, they were just like, I had to do like all these karate moves with them and stuff uh, because they were like telling me about snitching. So they were like, you know, snitches, you know what happens to them? They have to pull down their britches. And then when they, <laughs> they pull down their britches, yeah, they were like, they become bitches. And then when they become bitches, they get stitches. And then after they get stitches, they end up in ditches. And then they were like telling me, like, you know, we've told you this before. You have to go Google it. What happens to people who end up in ditches? And so I just am like, okay, I'm not going to be a snitch. Just leave me alone. And so I had to get rid of the ninjas. So they let me braid it like this. Was and this yesterday? Was with everything that happened? Yeah. Oh, yes. Last night, and then I tried. They okay, so they came today and was like trying to put these like uh like leg braces on my legs, and they were the transport people, and I was just like asking them why was it because the ninjas had sent them or not, and they were just like, no, we're getting it ready for your trial because the jury will be behind you they're no longer going to be in the jury box due to covid so we don't want them to see you uh tethered to the desk and i was like i'm sitting there like but i'm not having a jury trial and then they were just like i was like why are you talking about do you know what month it is and i was just like i'm so confused did the ninjas send you because it was just weird the ninjas had to send them to do that like 
why else would they do that? Like, why would the jury people be sitting in the audience? Yeah, I mean, I said, that's weird. The COVID thing makes sense because that has changed, like, the layout of some court settings. But that's not, I mean, that's not for a while out. One, two, you said you're not having a, you're not having a jury trial? No. Yeah. I don't need one. Yeah, it's crazy, <sighs> but oh, I, I, oh gosh, no, yes, yesterday, <laughs> okay, yesterday, yesterday, they made me leave because the ninjas, they were downstairs, and so I told them, I was like, I need to, like, finish out this phone call, we'll make this phone call prior, they just kept going and going, going, so I just finally just went in my room and just shut the door, and was like, I, th- they wouldn't stop at all bother me you know and so i did that for a little bit and then i oh i have to tell you i hate this dude so (laughs) he never he never even okay do you know him do you know who i'm talking about his name is his name is albert i used to be married to him okay so i hate him he is like he never there was like saying something about oh i'm supposed to check uh these guns in the safe or something we don't even have a gun safe we've never had a gun safe you know how much i hate him he's so irresponsible he would keep his gun by the bed in a zip thing and then pretend like oh no one knows where it's at it was zipped in a zipper everything else was like where it should be even mine was locked in a jury case I hate it. I hate that dude. He is just so full of shit. It's not even funny. He left it with no safety beside his bed at all times, wide open for anybody and their mama to know where it's at, and then tried to pretend, oh, no one knows where it's at. It's beside your bed. Is it big or small? Can you hit it under the mattress, or is it like... (laughs) No, just like sitting yeah. on like you know how you have like night tables and then you put like like say you put like clothes on the night tables just sitting under the clothes on the night table on that side of the bed you know and i just like i just like you know start freaking out because i told the ninjas i was like i wish i could send y'all there to where he's at because he did not know he does not know how to take his weapon and keep it safe from anyone he's the one who doesn't do that and i you know like kept miscounting on because there were so many i can't keep up with how many was there you know and i'm like this is he's such a liar like i just want to be able to like send the ninjas where he's at to like kick his ass you know what i'm saying because he's lying what what were they telling you? You have to look up. You you, you have to look into what about the the guns in the safe? Like no, I was looking at something where he was. Yeah. Uh, that dude Albert was trying to say he told me to go check the guns. No, no, no. Someone said go check the gun safe uh, or something. I was like, we don't even have a gun safe. Yeah. We never had a gun safe. Like, what are you talking? About? Like. This is, are you, who, who said this? Like, why? And I told the ninjas, you need to go talk to them because I mean, there's no ever, no one ever had a gun safe. Like, you know, well, he was, was irresponsible. Like, owner. Was irresponsible. I was in a jury case. how bad it's going to make him look. So he's trying to make himself sound better by saying, oh, yeah, we had a gun safe. <laughs> no, there was no, that is crazy as heck, man. You know, and I would always say something to him about that. Because I'd be like, wow, it's just like just sitting over there, you know. And I kept mine in the jury box locked. It was a locked jury cabinet, you know. And I don't know, because like my uncle always did that. Like he had all these big time uh, ARs and stuff, and he had these big, he would lock them and stuff, you know. And like he would have his fingerprint where you could always, you know, go in. Him and my aunts, if she could get in. So I was just like raised to keep them, yeah. you know, protected like that. But he's lying. Yeah. So I told the ninjas. You don't want. But we'll see if they go. I told the ninjas to go where he's at. Yeah. yeah. And they sent me. His, they sent me his bank statement, right? And so I just threw it in the trash. I didn't even want to read it because I, this. 
he has this guy that keeps t- sending me messages, uh, like letters and stuff, like some lawyer. I don't know why those people keep bothering me. Like, I don't, don't want to talk to them. I'm not allowed to talk to them because my group told me that I cannot, like, have anything to do with them because his name's Travis Law Firm. And, like, I used to date that crazy guy, Travis, and that was his name. So, like, I can't, this dude won't know. stop harassing me, you know? Who's, who's but his name is Bank State. His, like, Travis, I used to date Travis um, before I got married, and he was a very good guy. We played softball together and traveled and stuff, but he ended up having a drug problem, yeah. and, like, I don't do people with drugs. So once I found out, I just it was like, whatever, whatever, and he would stalk me, kick my house door in, try to find, I had to move. My friend Amy Bolton, we had to hide at her house as he was in, in her oh house. My gosh. So we were hiding in her house. And he would... Oh, yeah, like, it was crazy. Oh, I didn't tell you. So, I when I was talking to my, I was talking to Justice, right? And so, did you no. know that my baby died, right? So, on January 25th, 2019, my baby died, right? January 25th, 2019, before they brought me here to this concentration camp, uh, my baby died. Do you, so, like, uh, that was, like, the fifth baby that died because, like, they always just be like, oh... You know, the heartbeat stopped. So I just got back from a cruise and I went to the doctor and they were like, no, no heartbeat again, which was that's the fifth time to have a miscarriage. And so I had to have uh, the miscarriage in the bathroom by myself. But, you know, what I was thinking, like, if you could take somebody's heart that didn't need their hearts, could you make it work and make the baby work and all the babies could like live, you know? But so I was talking to them about that. If I could have done that, that might have yeah. like made my baby live. You know what I mean? Was this but, um, it didn't. Was this like was this a uh, baby between you and Al or yeah? Yeah. Oh, I I lost one uh, when we got back from the Dominican before I started teaching fifth grade, and then uh, that was like the third or fourth. I don't remember. I had to have an abortion with one, but it was like the, you know, like the medical abortions where you already yeah. like have the baby, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, then one time I, one time I wasn't far enough along. So they gave me these pills to take and like Albert found the TRICARE record and started accusing me of having an abortion. But you don't go to the doctor and they give you these pills. They, they give them to you once the heartbeat stops and you go home and you take the pills. And like, I had to be admitted to the hospital because I bled so much taking those pills. So I never wanted to do that one again. I just said I'd wait and do it naturally. So when I lost the next one on January 25th, I had to have it. Like, I had to, like, naturally lose the next one because I didn't want to do another DNC or another, mm-hmm. you know, pill for it. You know what I mean? So that was that. But, oh, um, so, so yeah. So let me tell yeah. you the excuse why Ty hasn't been to school. They say because it's spring break, but you should know this like I do. Most Florida schools do not do spring break, or they do like two, three days because yeah. they get out early May. So they don't do spring breaks. And his school district does not do spring breaks. So that's a lie. But um, because they get out early May because of tourist towns, you know. And so I'm just like, you tell him that he's full of shit, that that is not why he's not in school. Like I've already heard what's going on, you know. I was trying to get an update, but I haven't got an update yet about what. I just know he's gone to find Mario. Do you think he? I don't know, and I don't know who told. I don't. I don't know. I just know yeah, he's gone to find Mario. No, that's, that's what I was gonna ask you. So, so I haven't heard. I haven't heard that name before. Mario. I'm going to. <laughs> I will. Oh, he, he said to ask you if you like are okay because I didn't ask you about the fighting with with Taylor oh, are you still fighting with I Taylor? Always fighting. <laughs> no, we're we're better now, but he's been really busy with his work. Oh hold on. I can't hear you. Oh. Hear you. Not, is this any better? I'm just... I can't hear you. How about now? Is that any better? How about now? Can you hear me now? I can't hear you. Hold on. 
Why don't Ooh, like, how about can you hear me now? Any better? Nothing? Um. You don't know. I will. I'm going to do this if you just give me a second. Stop. These ninjas are just crazy. I know. I don't understand. I can't hear nothing you're saying. So I don't know. Oh. I. Yeah. 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 So we're ready. I told you that. Thanks. Yeah, I put your name. They're going to send all your email. Yeah, they send gonna put your name on the email. And on the email, you will get to be able to like click the link. Everybody's going to well, like five people is going to watch the video. And y'all just tell everybody what the video says. Uh, but I gave I put your number on there. Uh, so if I put that on there, I can save and like. So there's just like. Hey! <laughs> oh, I'm good. How are you? Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm Okay. So, Julie, hey, say bro. Can you talk to that? Hey, Ben. Sorry. Hmm? Oh, oh, no. Who's they? Who is they? Sorry, they bother me. Hey, Ben. 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 I don't want to be a teenage mutant ninja turtle and they over here talking about teenage mutant ninja turtles. I know, and I'm trying to talk to them in their language. <laughs> anyway, what do y'all I don't know, it's driving me crazy. They just... Duh, 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 duh. And we lost the hour of our time because somebody wanted to smart mouth oh, really? me, so now our whole group lost an hour. Not that we already only get like an hour and a half to two hours oh, anyway. Wow. That's, that's so that puts us getting an hour um, for today. I... I texted your friend yesterday after um, I got off the phone with you, yeah. so I relayed the message to her. Um, you're welcome. She said, uh, she responded. Thank she just you. said that um, she, she told me she brought a book in for you to read, and she said that she hopes that you know you get the chance to read it. And then she told me the thing about how she's going to be gone for trial coming up here soon. But um, I told her that I was going to be talking to you today and that I would yeah. let you know that I relayed the message to her and she got it. So. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think she, she had to go somewhere, but I just didn't want her to come and I'd be gone because she didn't miss it. Oh. Anyway, so I don't want to tell him that. Uh, hold on, my yeah, thoughts. That's, that's I just didn't want to be gone. <laughs> Sorry. These suckers, these suckers don't stop, man. They, they just be like, <laughs> what, like. What all do they say to you? Drive me nuts. Like, you better do this or do that or run. Like, they think that I can run oh. through the wall, just run and start flying. They, they they just, yeah, they want me to hold people for ransom. And I'm like, who am I holding for ransom? Like, what, yeah. why do you want me to do this for? You know what I mean? And then if I get ready to eat something, they'll just be like, don't eat that one. It has maggots in it or it has bugs. And then I'll yeah. look and I'll just be so convinced that there's bugs in it, you know? But sometimes there Sometimes there is, but then sometimes yeah. I'm convinced there's both, is, but there's not them playing with me. Is you know? Justice one of them? Because I know no, you had mentioned him last week. Well, right. So he's coming back. Ooh. He's coming back to mm -hmm. uh, help me with the whole initiation thing. But he didn't come today. I figured he would come today, but I thought I saw him out on the soccer field. And I was like, oh, heck no. I hope he's not out there like trying to 
do some bad stuff, you know. But I wasn't sure. I thought I saw him on the soccer field out there. But then I named all the people on the soccer field. And I got <laughs> names for the dogs that came by. So I just kept naming them, you know. And so I was like, I figured if I named them, it was like, you know, had a relationship with them. Yeah. Maybe you'll, like, think is they're he, my friends and not, like, try to bother them. You know what I mean? Or is he, uh, so. like... No, no. I mean, when I'm in the group, yes, but not. When I'm not in the group, no. When I'm in the group, I get, like, special powers to do stuff. But, like, right now, everyone's trying to read my mind. So, like, I'm looking at all these people, and I, like, think about what they're saying. And I'm like, oh, you're trying to read my mind. <laughs> you're thinking this. You're thinking that. But really, they don't know I'm actually reading their mind. Because well, you know, I, I, I got the chip put back in my arm. Because I know yesterday yeah, so, they're, they're, they needed to finish huh? it. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, so I got the chip put back in my arm, so now I'm able to, like, officially read their minds. When they walk around here and start doing stuff, like, I read what they're looking at, at me and saying, you know what I'm saying? And I'm telling them, I'm like, they think they own me, you know what I mean? Like, they think they have this control over me. Like, you know how people get, like, um, like ankle bracelets and stuff like that? They think they have control on me because they have this chip in there. But really, my powers are flipping. Yeah. I'm contradicting what they're thinking, and I'm messing up the brain, you know? Who put, it, who put so, the chip in there? Is it? Yeah. Um, <sighs> okay. No, Jasper put it in. Who was, now she was, who was with you on Tuesday? Because I know on Tuesday when we talked, yeah. there was somebody there with you that you were talking to, but I couldn't figure out who it was. Do you remember? I don't know. I, I don't know because I, I saw ninjas? you talking to them, but I didn't have a chance to ask you who it was because the camera kept, or the signal kept cutting out. Oh. Uh. There's no telling. It was probably one of the ninjas. They'd be running around here. I told them I contained them yeah. in a space in my room where they have to stay in that square. And they are not happy about staying in that square. They're pissed about that. You know what I'm saying? And so then they'd be coming over there when I go to sleep and like putting their arms like on my chest, like, <gasps> like trying to make me like not breathe, like to wake yeah. me up. And I'm like, why do y'all keep um, waking me up? You know? There's something else. Oh, that's what it's okay. I meant so, to ask you. I did that. I've checked, I've been checking my email, and I've checked the, like, my inbox and, like, the junk folder and things like that. I haven't gotten any emails yet. Do you know when I'm supposed to be getting the email you talked about on Tuesday? Oh, yeah, they were supposed to, they were, they were creating a, um, what's it called, like a Google Doc, and they were supposed to be, I sent your email, they okay. were supposed to be adding everybody to the, to the email in the Google Doc. And they were trying to get, uh, I don't know, it's supposed to be like a little group thing where they were going to talk about um, one of my immediate family members uh, already saw the video. And so they were just going to have like this like little chat box thing. And it was just make sure yeah. nobody like records it or like don't screenshot it. I know you want, but just I just yeah. have to say that because that's what that's mainly what they're going to say is because like, you know, everybody's going to talk and you'll be able yeah. to like, write in the Google Doc. You know, like what you're thinking, or you know, whatever, whatever. So it's kind of good because that. Oh gosh, did, did they bite me there? Anyway, it was kind of good because uh, the family member that saw it, she was kind of like, you know, supportive of me, but then at the same time, you know, like, oh my god, you know, what have you got yourself mm -hmm. into? Something. But then she, I put her in charge of being able to see it and um, like manage the situation. And like, she's like, oh my God, hallelujah. Thank you, God. I've been like, so praising God. I was like, well, what yeah. do you think? I tried to tell you this the whole time, but you're not freaking listening to me. So it kind of helped some of my family, you know, and my mom, she was like happy. And she sent me yeah. all these cards because, you know, I, have, I don't really talk to my mom a lot, you know, but uh, she, sent me, yeah. she sent me all these cards. And so now she's like, I know you didn't do this. Yeah. Thank God. And I'm like, well, I already told you this. <laughs> but you know it helps it helps because you know they they face so many demons yeah. attacking them every day so yeah, it helps for them to be able to you know what I mean yeah 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 oh I have a question if it's a Facebook I have a oh okay so the Facebook I have with Albert the promo he mm -hmm. um that was like we didn't get it to like 2017 right I have shut up I have a Facebook that I had since I was like, I don't know, when it first came out, you know, when like Mark was your only friend you had, you know what I mean, back in the day. But that was that was a different Facebook, like, uh, 
like email and URL and whatever. And I like deleted that one, not deleted, deactivated that one when I got one with Albert. So yeah, you should be able if I needed to get that one back. Yeah, you should I just to put in, in whatever email and password and it should, is, and it should log you back in. Yeah, so I remember the email because the email was my Liberty email, but I don't really remember the password, so maybe I should have some. Yeah, I was going to say, I think when you, it's been years little, ago since when I you used go that. on the, the page to log in, there should be like a little button that says forget password. If you can access the old email address that you had associated with it, they yeah. should be able to send like um, the steps to reset your password to that email address, and then you can follow the steps and then log back into it. Yeah. Okay, and this girl in here told me that if you can't do it, if you can't get access to the email, they'll send a link to three people that were on your friends list, like on your family yeah. or something, and it'll just verify, like, hey, this is her trying to get in. So I don't know if that's true, but that's what she, that's what she told me. Okay, because that's the that's the Facebook right. that has, like, crap tons of um, pictures on it. And I was, right. I was looking through stuff, and I was like, well, this is only this one Facebook account. Oh, this is... Like, you know, well, you don't have the other one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, you won't see all the m mystery people I've been with around the world. But, uh, yeah, so I got to get back into that one. So, she, yeah. whenever she comes again, we have to do that on the computer then. But I do know it was my yeah, liberty, is, my liberty email. Your friend gonna help you with that? Um, the one that oh. I, I texted yesterday? Yeah, she she brings her um her like MacBook or whatever when she comes in, and uh, the computer where yeah. she brings her phone and you know we can pull up stuff or whatever. But I knew they had a trial a trial this week, so she wasn't able to do it. But she said we'll make up time and do it all next week, which I wasn't worried about it because I know yeah she she's going for her word. She said she's going to do it. You know she's like she she's, she's yeah she's on it. Like she'll get on it and start. Being like, you know, oh, this is wrong. This is yeah. wrong. This is wrong. I'm like, yes, yeah, um, hallelujah. Uh, that was what you I was gonna ask you too. Um, um, what two things? Do you know when they're supposed to be sending that email out? That way, I know when to look for it. And then, who will it be coming from? Or like, what? Uh, I'll find out. What? I found out. Yeah. It's supposed to go for my oh, aunt. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna say her uh, her email over here because I don't want them going to like. Yeah. They'll be trying to like subpoena my email, was, my aunt's email account, and for some reason I, I, I don't know I don't if they can know. legally do that or not. But you know. oh, sorry, but uh, when I talk to her, I will. What's today? Sunday? Oh, I should talk to her tomorrow because okay. usually I call her on the times I come out at like five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So you know, East Coast time will be seven a.m. East Coast time will be seven a.m. So I usually call her then, and I'll find out. I'll just be like, "Hey," because I had someone else. Yeah already talked to her so they couldn't you know hear it so oh, yeah. i'll just be like I'll hey what's the update on that i've been taking my says. inbox and, and like my junk folder like and stuff because sometimes you know emails get into the junk folder i don't know why but i hadn't got anything yet so i wasn't sure yeah. if they'd send it out yet or if i needed to still wait a little yeah no i don't think they was i think they were just um i had to have somebody get them those emails yeah. that i wanted added to it because i also added one of my best friends that's in another state and so i was i had to like secretly get them those emails without people coming in. I don't know if they can like subpoena y'all's emails. Yeah, so, like, I, don't, be, like, I don't know if they can or not. I don't give think them to people, so. You know what I mean? um, Cause it's, it's, I mean, there's like a lot of regulations and stipulations when it yeah. comes to like what to get a subpoena. So I, I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Yeah. 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 So I try to be careful not to say certain, like, I have somebody else call them and tell them and say, hey, this is this email, this yeah. is, you know, write down this code or this password well, or this login, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that all, that's the best way be to do it. So, looking forward yeah. to it. And then hopefully, um, hopefully, Caitlin can help you get back into your old Facebook because that'll be, <laughs> that'll be good for you, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll just be in there. Like a lot of our pictures when we into to help because like not help with my situation because they're not on trial, but like it'll help me, you know, because I'll get to see like pictures of us when we were like, I don't know, Harley was six, Ty was three, like different. We had a bunch of pictures and stuff like Aww. that. Uh, we had pictures with Harley's dad on there. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, I did access to all my old accounts a lot. But anyway, 
I did my hair again because I'm not in the Mexican Mafia. I am in the Vampire Council now. Well, I no, will be when I finish. Just, uh, I know you said it's, so, you know, it's kind of like slow. I think it's going yeah. out. I don't hear you. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hold right there. Hold right there. I can hear you right there. They're good. Oh, it's going to hang They're up. They're really good. Anyway, my, how's oldest, the girls? Uh, my oldest one starts. Are your girls doing okay? It always goes out like right at the end of our conversation for some reason. Yeah. How is your girls? Yeah, I know. This is so crazy. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Okay, how are you doing? I'm good. What's new with you? Uh, just, just hanging out here, just waiting for them to pick me up. Yeah. Do Do you know when they're supposed to? Like. No, but I, I thought I thought I saw them yesterday, and I went and got everybody and told them I saw them yesterday, and they were like, no. But then this girl told me that they had the government came by to put the stuff in events today. And she came and got me. She's like, you know, the, the government people sent the people to put the stuff in events today. So she was like, so you probably won't be long here. And I was like, all right. What is exactly that? Like putting in the events? Is it the what? stuff you're talking about? I, yeah, I told you I'm not the only one. There's other people know that they're putting stuff in events to sedate us, to make us high, to make us crazy, to read our minds. And we smelled it again today. And he was like, I know the other person has came to put stuff in events oh. today. That's scary. So. Um, your friend texted me, not yesterday, day before yesterday. She wanted me to, or she wanted, she asked me if I knew how you were doing. So I told her I hadn't heard from you in a couple of days, but that we had a chat today. So I would let her know, but she was. They won't let us come they out. They they keep holding us in there and like not letting us come out at all. And like making us just stay there and stay there and stay there. And we're watching the clock and watching the clock. And we're like, can't we come out? Can't we come out? And they're like, no, not yet. No, not yet. So we only got to come like 30 minutes and then two days, 30 minutes. That was it. We didn't even have enough time to shower. Four phones and two showers and six. What was the reasoning for that? I don't know. They just something about uh, the way they do it in here is they they probably be worried about people passing stuff and like doing yeah. illegal stuff, you know, because this is like the first step. Um, when I get to the concentration camp where I'm going, it'll be a yeah. whole lot better. You know what I mean? It'll be a whole lot. But I did mess what up. Did though. You What's your deal? Uh, uh, Okay, I was out of it, and I was doing really, really bad. Like, I don't remember what day it was, but it's been since I haven't talked to you. And I talked to E for an hour on the stupid. <laughs> How'd that go? But I don't know if I can trust the person that helped me because... I don't know that person, but I was really out of it. It wasn't 29, and it usually is 29, and I know I can trust, but now. So I've been having nightmares about that because I don't know if it's, if I can, if, if I don't know if this person was like, are you wired? Are you trying to, are you trying to get no. me to, are you wired? Did they pay you? No, Did they pay you, you, you? No, I don't, okay, I don't, who are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Okay, so just making sure because I don't know if they're like wiring her, but she didn't hear my conversation. So, uh, and he didn't, the other guy, the guy that helped me, he didn't hear it. Well, he probably did hear it because it had to echo through the facility a little bit. But I don't know that he would try. He could have been wired, but I couldn't see him because he was upstairs. So I don't know if he was wired, but they're probably. They're probably putting something. This. Oh, uh, can I be on my visit? Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, so they have stuff on their heads right here, and they'd be trying to plant stuff inside your head. But like, they already put it in my arm, and so I was like, they might have yeah. done him like that, you know. So I got to tell her that I messed up with that, but I because I talked to him for an hour, and I weren't sure if they were because I was freaking out. You know, I've been wanting to know why on earth. 
Uh, ah, okay. So I messed up. This is what I did. I hadn't heard that info, that digital media, in since I couldn't bring myself to hear it for a long time, but I made him play it. And so I just wanted to ask him why he uh, would even had the phone on. And he just was like brushing me off a little bit and was like kept brushing me off. And finally was like, oh, you really want to know? And I was like, yeah. He was like, because he was like, you were delusional. You were going crazy. He said, and I thought it was funny. He said, because I was going to show you how you were delusional. He was like, you were in a trance. And it was, you were like sleepwalking and, that, you know, all through, because you were stressed out. He said, but I was just trying to make it a funny situation because you were already like freaking out, didn't know where he was at. You were already freaking out. He was like, so I was just trying to make the situation like more funny, you know what I mean? Like laughing at you so I could show you how you were like in a trance sleepwalking and like stressed out. He said, because I felt like if I acted that way and made you laugh, at least that would take some of the pressure off of you for a little bit. And I could show you in the morning. Well, it was already morning at this point. It was early morning. And he's like, I could show you when everybody got up, like, hey, your mom was crazy. She was walking around here sleepwalking, delusional, yeah. you know. He's like, you tried yeah. to go. He was like, you tried to go through the garage. You tried to get in the car, and I didn't let you get That's in the car. That's funny, though. Like, even if you, even if you're trying to do it to, like, make the situation lighter, I guess, it's not funny, you know. It's like, yes. <laughs> I know. I was so mad about that because I was sitting there like, don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, it saves my ass. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, that's not funny. I've always had a sleepwalking condition. Like, it's not funny. You should have woke me up. He was like, no, honey, you're not supposed to wake up people who are in sleepwalking. And I was like, yeah, that's true. You're not because they could be, they could hurt yeah. you and not know you're hurting you. Or, you know, they could, yeah. like, yeah, that type of thing. Usually, like, my dad used to always just push me back to the room or, like, Harley would be like, go back in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that type of thing. But he was just like, I was just trying to lighten the mood because you were so stressed out. You were searching everywhere. You were going insane. You were talking about challenges. And I was just sitting there like, well, I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, what do you think? Yes, I was talking about a stupid hiding challenge they were doing because I was still thinking they were doing the hiding challenge. You know what I mean? So he was like, so it was just funny. I, I was laughing at you. So I'm hearing all this, and he's in the he's on the thing laughing at me like, and I'm, I'm I guess I'm dead asleep or I'm or I'm just like delusional and I'm or I'm just I'm just it's crazy. And the whole time he's just sitting there like, "Why are you going out in the garage? Where are you going? Do, you are not getting in that car. You are not driving the car. You are asleep. You go like, back to the bedroom." I don't know, maybe like push you back to where you came from. You weren't trying to go out driving cars and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> like, and you know what? Then it made me cry cuz Lena's in the video cuz Lena comes out and goes, "Leave my Tisha alone. Aww. She's just asleep." And uh, I guess it, I guess it wakes her up with the laughing, and he she's like, "Leave my Tisha alone." That's how she says it. She's just asleep, and so like me, is some I guess be later like go back across the video at one point, and I go back with her to bed. But at some point, I I obviously wake up again on the What's video. What's the hiding challenge? Because I don't I, I don't think I know that. what that is. I'm not too familiar with all these like internet challenge things going on. <laughs> For, well, there was the choking challenge, which I. I ripped him. I ripped him a new one about the choking challenge because it was where they were doing, uh, taking stuff, wrap it, like 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 wrapping this yeah. around, not this, but you get it. And like it's to see how it makes you high, and they do it here. People do it here, like you choke yourself for so long, it gets you high, and you kind of because you get like I apparently you get like dizzy. I mean, I never choke myself, but I'm I'm just going on what they say. Apparently, you get like dizzy and like you know kind of like yeah. delusional that type thing. Uh, so. They were doing that. I had already ripped them a new one about that. And the one about the Smarty Candy that they kept breaking up, acting like it was something. I guess it was Smarty Candy. So, I don't know. It was white. And I told them, this ain't funny. You don't do that. Because, you know, when we were younger, I don't know if you remember. Remember the little cigarettes that yeah. we used to have with the candy cigarettes? Okay. So, I had told them about that. I said, you know, yeah, we used to do that when I was little. We had candy cigarettes. And, like, we had these little candy things that had liquid in it. And they were made like alcohol. I was like, and it was funny. I said, but nowadays, you guys can't get away with that. I said, because there's so much, you know, people doing drugs, people doing things in y'all's growing up time compared to when I was growing up. That you you just can't do that. now yeah. you don't know what people are giving you. You know what I mean? And they, they were, they were, it looked like Smarties smashed up and they were pretending like they were like, Ooh, we got drugs. I was like, it's not funny. You know what I mean? 
And so, like, I had already talked to them about the stupid choking challenge. Well, then there was this hiding challenge on YouTube. And so you could go on the, they had one on the smart TV and they were over there on smart TV Googling and hiding challenges. And you hide for a long time. And, and then you go back on uh, YouTube and you post how long you hide. And you kind of, like, you, you, you do a recording in the beginning when you start the hiding. You tell, you know, like, I guess where you're hiding. I don't know. If you Google some YouTube things and be like hiding challenge, just like where all these kids are hiding to see yeah. how long they can hide without being found. There's actually a dude that was on, now that you said something, there's a dude that was on TV that did that, like a grown man that did that, and he actually ended up like dying from it because he yeah. was like, it's jacked up. He like shoved himself, like he, I don't know how he did it, but he like fit his whole body in a suitcase and like his girlfriend recorded it. And she didn't, yeah. she was like, I can't get out. And she thought it was yeah. funny, so she didn't help him get out. And then he ended up, like, asphyxiating from it. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was on it was on Court TV, actually, like, a couple weeks ago. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, that's what apparently, I guess, he thought was funny with me because I'm just roaming around the house trying to leave in the car. Try, you know, I, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, my mind was crazy as it because I wouldn't know whether they doing, you know, was, was the stupid hiding challenge going on and I didn't know anything about it. Were we utilizing resources from the police for nothing when, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, obviously, you know, like, so, like, I, of course, I was already, like, delusional, but at the same time, I must have fell asleep doing that because you can totally tell I was asleep or I was in a trance. Well, you shame know, on him for thinking that's house. funny because, like, everything that was going on, like, that's not yeah. funny. You know? <laughs> I know. It's definitely, definitely not funny. It's not at all. And then uh, I, I also know that um, I'm not going to say anything about this, but you you can put two and two together. Uh, Ty is a very vividly. Oh really? Okay. Oh yeah. And, oh and okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and so he was just like, that's why I keep telling you to leave lo well enough alone, I'm handling it. And I just keep being like, well, I sure as hell don't see, but if I, you know, I'm going to have to use what I have to use. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, before I forget, you know. so I meant to tell you last time we talked, but I forgot. I put some money on your, like, the video chat account, like, it was like a week and a half ago. I put money on your commentary account the same day, and then I put okay. some more money on your commissary account today. That way you've got some you're welcome. That way you got some extra oh, money so you can kind of buy something nice for yourself in the commissary. <laughs> some pickles. <laughs> I, um, I had ate all my commissary the other day, so I was out for the last two days. So I was so starving. And I was, like, thinking, I was like, you know, I went a whole year like this starving. So, I mean, in my mind, you just thought I'd been, like, mentally prepared. <laughs> but I wasn't because I was, like, looking for <laughs> anything to eat. I was like, please, I need food. <laughs> I was about to eat my arms. <laughs> Yeah, I put, today I put like 28, oh. I, put, I think I put 35 on your, the commissary account like a week and a half ago, and then I put 28 on there today, so, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it, no, thank you, I am, um, I bought uh, pickles, a lot of pickles, a lot of noodles, uh, saltine crackers, and like three, four bags of candy, because I take the candy, the Jolly Ranchers, and just put them in water, and That's just drink smart. the flavored yeah, water, I about you know that. what I mean? That's smart. We don't have anything else to drink, uh, and I'm not really a coffee person. I bought coffee at first just to have it, but I'm not really I'm more of a tea person. I will shut <laughs> up. Uh, I'm more of a tea person, and so like we didn't have that, you know. So, and then I helped people out in the very beginning. I gave people some candy stuff like that, but now I had to be like, no, I don't have any, and I hate to be like that, but I helped some people at the beginning. But you know, you can't always help people because it's like. You do the best you can, but, like, you can't. You know what I mean? So I have to be like, oh, sorry, I don't have any, you know. And I hate doing that, but at the same time, I'm like, I got to make sure I'm not, like, starving yeah. and running it's out. Like that you, book, know, um, you remember that book? It's a kid's I'm book that if you give a mouse a cookie, yeah, that's what it's like. It helps yeah. body too much and, like, looking for more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just gonna and, and like you know, and the whole thing is like you know, the Christian way is to always keep giving and God will keep blessing. And and I believe in that wholeheartedly. <laughs> But I was sitting in there when I was starving those two days. I was like, God, where is it at? Well, yeah, go out when you can, but make sure you take care of yourself also because the day you only have yourself to yeah, look after yeah. you when you're there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, till her next week, uh, not to come. Hold on. I did Sunday, uh, Monday, Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Okay. Not to come Tuesday. I'll make. Sh I'll call you tomorrow to make sure. Uh, I'll use some of the stuff on the okay. commissary to call you tomorrow and um, make sure. Hopefully, they don't come get me tonight, which I don't know what's going on. But anyway, tell the oh, girls cool. hello. Thank you so much. I still got their pictures. I still got their pictures hanging up. I told the ninjas oh. they are not allowed to go near them. 
or near Harley Hall. They can't go near any of them, and uh, they know not to go near them. They all. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Okay. Are you wired? No. <laughs> Why do you ask me that? I don't know. I asked everybody that. I even asked the Diffie that. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. I think I think if I was, you would know by now. But no, I'm not. I don't want to be. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I ask. Are you wired though? Because like it's already recorded. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't even think about that until you said something. <laughs> I know. I'm mean, just crazy, man. I tell you, my brain is crazy as heck. What's new with you? How's your weekend been? Well, I haven't been able to. I need you to make it rain. I haven't been able to see uh, out my window for like a week because like the storm came like last week and uh, threw like all this dirt on the window. <laughs> I can't reach outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, my birthday is coming up, so. <laughs> so I can't reach outside and get it out. So I just I don't even know if like the world is existing outside, if the sun's there or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, wow. They don't have anybody that, like, can clean the windows or anything? Well, you have to wait on, like, the rain to come or, like, some wind, and it'll blow all that crap off there. Yeah. yeah. Sorry I missed your, uh, I saw yesterday when I woke up, uh, you requested a video chat yesterday morning. I was passed out. <laughs> I figured, you know, I, I remembered, I was like, oh, it's Saturday. I don't know. I was thinking, oh, she'll be up with the girls going to school. And then I was like, oh, it's Saturday. Well, you know what? You know what's crappy? Like, I woke up, like, maybe, like, 10 minutes after, like, the request had, like, expired, and I was like, damn it, like, if I had just gotten up a little bit earlier, I would have got it. <laughs> they, got the machine. So bad. they got the machines now where they start at 5 a.m., so we can use the tablets when you come out at that 5 a.m. time now. So I was like, yeah, let me just see if this works. <laughs> I know. Well, the night before, um, remember how I told you Taylor, like, quit drinking and hadn't been drinking since, yeah. like, January? Uh -oh. Yeah, well, he's out of town and decided to go out and party and then tried to lie about it. So he was drinking over the weekend. Oh, yeah. So, and then tried to blame me for it. He was like, oh, you know, it's your fault because you get mad at me for doing it. He's like, his his excuse was stupid. He's like, it's like if you beat a dog, like you keep kicking it and kicking it, it's going to bite back. And this is me biting back. And I'm like, what? that doesn't make any sense. So it doesn't make any sense that you are destroying your liver. That you are destroying your life and your father, you're being a father that is destroying his relationship with his children. <laughs> like, exactly. I'm like, I knew, I knew he was out drinking and he tried to hide it, but like, it's really easy to put two and two together, especially with him, because yeah. I've known him for like eight years. So I'm like, yeah, like I knew he tried to like cover up the fact that he lied about it, and then came out like six hours later and was like, yeah, I, I lied by the way, but it's your fault I lied. And I'm like, just shut up. <laughs> what happens if you just like one day when he's getting ready to plan on doing something like that, you just run out of the house before him and you stay gone? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I thought about it because he told me yesterday he's like, you know what? We're just gonna split up. Like you can get out of my house, but you can't take my car because you know he he sold my car, so I only have one. He's like, you can leave, but you can't take my car. And you can't leave the state. You have to stay here. Like, <laughs> if I leave, I'm not going to stay here. <laughs> Wait, so he happen. said, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said you leave. So you're taking the kids without somewhere to stay? Well, I would have to find somewhere to go first. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave because he's not here. Like, he's out of town until probably Thursday. Um, so I wouldn't leave without having somewhere to go. But, like, Obviously, I'm not going to leave. If he's here, I'm not going to leave the house. And he's yeah. like, I know he wouldn't make me leave. Like, he wouldn't send me somewhere without having somewhere to go with the kids, you know? But he's like, if you're gonna leave, like, yeah, he's like, you know, if, if or when you leave, like, you're going to leave, but you're going to go where I want you to go. Like, no. <laughs> and then I found out he's got a GPS tracking device on the car, so he's always watching where I go when he's not home. Mm. Yeah. I'm the most boring person on the planet. I don't do anything. I just stay at home with the kids and do my schoolwork, and that's really about it. But I'm like, that's cool. I don't know why Like, you feel like you have to watch me because I don't do anything. <laughs> well, I mean this with everything. My aunt is probably like 30 or 45 minutes from you. So if you ever had to go somewhere in an emergency, she has a big house, and she's there by herself. And she loves kids. Uh -huh. That's yeah, awesome because I was sitting here yesterday thinking, like, I don't have anybody out here. All my family's up north. You know, like, I don't have anybody to come over. I don't have anybody, to, like, to go to if things get bad. Yeah. You know, like, last night he made the comment. We talked on the phone, and he's like, next time I decide to drink, if you throw a fit about it, like, we're going to put on boxing gloves and take this outside. 
I'm like, so you're gonna threaten me now? <laughs> like, can't believe this guy. <laughs> he is losing. <laughs> I mean, I thought I was losing it, but man, <laughs> I like. I'm tired of putting up with it. I'm trying. Like, I've tried to be a good wife, and I've tried to be understanding, but, like, there's only so much crap somebody can handle, you know? Oh, yeah. And then the final straw was last night. He texted me and told me, like, I'm a bad mom. Like, I don't remember exactly what the verb, like, the verbiage was, but he's like, you should be, or he's like, real, uh, like, real win, a real win for you on being a mom, like, disappointing the girls and all this other stuff. And I'm thinking, like, I'm the only one that ever does stuff with the kids, and, like, my girls love being around me, so no, I'm not a bad mom. <laughs> well, one thing, well, two things. One, you're a bad mom, but take the kids with you when you go. <laughs> uh, been there, done that. I'm a bad person, but I'm the one always babysitting. <laughs> uh, exactly. And, and, and then two, it's my fault. I'm the one bad, but I'm the one always doing everything with the kids. That's I, I've lived that life. Yeah, I... I know you've been through it too, and I like I don't get it. I can't find an answer for it. It's I feel like a lot of it is this is his reaction to guilt because he doesn't like knowing that he did something wrong. So instead of just owning up to it, he's gonna take it out on me. And yeah, I just blow most of it off. I'm like, you know what? Screw you. I did some retail therapy yesterday. I did some shopping online. Oh, that reminds me. I found out since you've moved, like you're eligible for the little like care packages I can send out. So oh, I yeah, looked yeah. you up on your package website, and, like, your name popped up. So I had the girls help me pick one out for you. So it said oh. about you know, about two weeks. So we got you the candy basket. It's got, like, all kinds of candy in it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, You're welcome. I was, was going to say, he's a sociopath probably. So, you know, he's nothing. I've lived with a sociopath the last how many years. So he's going to blame you for every single thing and justify everything he does is always going to be your fault. <laughs> You're the bad person, you know. Yep. And so. the thing is, too, like, I gave him an out to come, you know, out about drinking because I know he, he was doing it. So I just texted him and told him, you know, how much did you drink last night? And I was like, don't even bother lying. Just tell me the truth. And then he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. I'm not putting up with your crazy antics. Like, I'm just going to ignore you and go back to sleep. So I just ignored him. Like, he kept texting me. He's like, how was your day? What are your plans? I didn't respond to that because, I, like, I waited for him to be come out and be honest. So then he finally texts me and is like, oh, I have an approach about how we can handle an argument because I don't want to argue with you, but never told me what this new approach was, so I didn't respond to that either. <laughs> and then he tells me that, well, this whole argument is your fault because you didn't respond to my texts. Like, no, back it up further. It's your fault because you lied. <laughs> like, <laughs> Where is he at now? So right now, he, he started his own trucking company, right? So then he quit his job here and decided to go get in the truck with the person he hired to drive for him. And they had to take a load out from North Carolina. They took, picked up from Charlotte and took it out to Arizona. So mm. he went out and partied in Arizona. And now he's headed back. He picked up a load to go to Pensacola. So he's heading from Arizona to go to Pensacola. And then from there going to Virginia. And then Virginia coming back here, I guess. I don't I don't know. <laughs> oh, so he's not far from here then if he's in Arizona. Yeah, that's, I was looking. I, I keep telling him, I'm like, if you get a load going to Colorado Springs, like, I want to come with you. <laughs> he's like, I'll let you know. But he keeps telling me this is probably going to be his last trip on the road. But then turns around yesterday and tells me that he's going to go get his passport at Fort Bragg. So that way he can go to Alaska with his oh, driver. Alaska. That's what I thought, too. I was like, you don't need one. Because, like, I used to live out there. Like, you don't need a passport. He's like, I do to go through Canada. Like, yeah, no, you well, don't. To go, you don't have to have a passport to drive through Canada. You can go through with your birth certificate. Yeah, that's what I tried telling him, but he's like, no, you, you need a passport. Like, he's never been out of the States. He wouldn't know. I've been out of the States a lot. <laughs> like, unless, so like, unless, unless they added some restrictions because he's carrying items. You see, like, um, that yeah. might be the Because then you would need a passport if you're carrying items. They'd want to know, you know, you know more about sense. you. Yeah, think about that. Yeah, because he carries, uh, they have a flatbed. They, carry, they can carry up to 26,000 pounds of stuff, and it's all, like, just random stuff the first time it was a uh, some kind of machine they were taken down to arizona and then the loads they picked up uh the one for florida is like a bobcat machine and then this load going to virginia is just like a bunch of scrap metal it's like all random stuff <laughs> yeah that might be why he needed it because that's a long drive though i mean you got to like that's miserable <laughs> they ain't nothing I mean, for it well when i when my dad was in the air force we lived in san antonio texas for like four years 
and then it got orders to Alaska, and like we drove from Texas to Alaska, and it was a terrible road trip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's awful. Uh -huh. That was when we and saw I, the grizzly bear, and the grizzly bear stood up, and I kid you not, it was bigger than the truck. Because I yeah. was all was at first like, get closer, get closer, so I can get it on video. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Albert was like, you've lost your mind. You don't want this on video. I was like, yeah, I do. And then that sucker stood up, and I went, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you, like, you probably remember, like, out of the trails, they have, like, the bear crossing signs, like, the moose crossing signs. <laughs> that sucker was big. It was bigger than the truck and stood up and was like, Rrr. I was like, oh, heck. I let him go ahead and crawl. He sit there and played around the road forever, and we just sit there. <laughs> well, I mean, what you, were we going to do? You probably know this, too. Um, I didn't know they had bears in Florida until I moved there. And then, like, yeah, yeah Taylor's mom was telling me. Yeah, I didn't believe them. And then um, Taylor's mom worked at a, a daycare at a church. And like I was dropping my oldest daughter off uh, for daycare before I went to work. And there was some black bears like in the trash, like in that bend of the trash. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> we were in um, Myrtle Beach. And so Harley's dad was because, you know, he owned the construction business and all the, the most of the homes in the Carolina Forest area. He had did a lot of sheetrock in them. And so we would go riding on all the back roads and everything. And we had two four wheelers and Harley had her mini four wheeler. Son, we saw these little blackberries run coming like like they wanted to play. <laughs> I dumped I dumped the clutch and I was like, Harley, you better let's go. Harley was like, <laughs> she was on her little one. She had a little one ten. So they probably went like barely thirty miles. And I started freaking out. I was like, I heard bears can run thirty miles. I was gonna leave Harley's four wheeler and let her jump on with me. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, that some reason that day, that sucker was getting it. And then a couple of years later, we were at Myrtle Waves, and we were up on the slide getting ready to go down. And there was little black bears in the family running across to the water park trying to come in. Oh, but it was all that uh. construction in the area was like causing the little black bears to run around, and they were cute. But I was like, them suckers that eat you. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, I couldn't imagine like. When I pulled up at the daycare, I saw this big old hairy thing in the trash. I was tired because it was early in the morning. And I'm thinking it's like some some dog or something. And then it pops its head out of the trash and it's a freaking bear. And I was like, oh my god! Like Sorry. I was in my car, but that's terrifying. But um, yeah. I was gonna ask, um, have you heard anything so else from today? On the phone, you can leave me alone. Stop it. <laughs> Who is that? No, I haven't. I just been processing all that, and like, I was my mom was crazy. It was keeps going in and out, and I'm actually like today I woke up kind of okay. The voices just started right now, but um, I actually woke up okay today, and I was like, well, that's good. I can at least have a conversation and not be like freaked out about anything. But yeah, I just I haven't heard anything. I just I didn't try to attempt to try to talk again. I just been processing it all. He's just. I just, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah, like, I wow. Him. And I, oh, I did ask him on that phone call, on that call the other day. I was like, did you find Mario? And he was like, I'm not going to talk to you about what happened to Mario. And I, was like, I was like, you mean what happened to him or did you find him? She said, and then he corrected himself. He's like, I'm not going to talk to you about Mario. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound promising. <laughs> like, it's no, not funny, like, but that doesn't sound I was like, is he okay? And he was like, I'm not talking to you about it. I was just like, okay. <laughs> well, I guess it's more that I don't know. If I don't know, I guess I don't know. You know what I mean? If I get asked questions about something happened to the barrio, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. So Is is Mario related to him? Yeah. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, he really is. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, let me try to kick yeah, on my Wi-Fi. Hold on. Have... Okay. Let me try to turn on my Wi-Fi and see if that helps. Hold on. Make sure I'll click on the right, wrong thing here. Oh, let's see. Wi-Fi. This might help. Hopefully. <laughs> I've been using my data lately. That way it doesn't kick me off of here. We'll try that. Um, uh, what do you think? It's oh. Uh, All I hear is oing, 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 oing. <laughs> uh, okay, is, is that any better or is that worse? Uh, come on. Hold on a second. You can't hear me? Hold on.
Okay, hold on. How about how about now? Is that any better? No, <laughs> it's okay. okay. Uh, let me try to move this. Maybe that'll help getting closer to the window. <sighs> okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear can you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> okay. All right. Can you can you hear me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it says you have one bar of signal. I hear you, but it's like the cell phone, you know, when it's about to drop. Oh, okay. Um let me see. Maybe I need to move. <laughs> okay. Try now. Yeah, try now. Does that say Fernandina okay. Beach? Oh, it says Daytona Beach. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold. Go back. Go back. Stay there. Oh, that's Daytona Beach. Yeah. <laughs> it's my uh, tourist shirt, even though I live there. Is that any better? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, I can, yeah, hear, I can you. hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it says you have one bar of signal, so I don't know. Okay. I was saying was that Fernandan Beach, but it's Daytona Beach. Yeah, I bought this shirt last oh, time we Daytona went there. Beach shirt. Like, oh, Daytona Beach. I can hear you. Yeah, you've been there. It's um, you can hear me. Are you talking to them? <laughs> Who? Me? Who? Who's, who's with you today? Or who's there with you today? Like who's? Uh, you said you could hear the the voices. Who's? I'm not sure. You don't know. <laughs> Well, tell them to go you. away because I'm talking. <laughs> I, uh, I can hear you. Okay, you can you can I hear me. Can hear. You. <laughs> I, okay, I can I can hear you too. It's kind of like glitchy, I but don't I can know. still hear In you. The world. Uh, what? You see the beach? Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh crap! What was yeah, I going to ask you? You probably need to turn the Wi-Fi oh, back okay. off. Yeah, I did. I turned it off, but I don't think it's turn getting any better. It says I need turn. Hold on. Turn Wi-Fi off. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> let me. Let me try to move. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I did. Okay. All right. Hold right there. Mommy, I want to bring my unicorn. Well, hold on one second. I'm gonna. I have okay, to borrow hold, your room for a second. Oh, right where you were at. Yeah. Is this better? <laughs> Ours always says one bar of signal, so I'm not sure. Is this any better? I came into my girls' room. Come say hi. Oh, somebody oh, wants to say hi. Hold on. No, I turned it off. Hi. Say hi. 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 My sister's downstairs. <laughs> oh no. The hero's right. movie. I know. Get your stuff and get out of here. <laughs> My little one said hi. She's <laughs> like, I'm out of here. <laughs> she said she came to get her giant unicorn. All right, you got your unicorn. All right, I'm gonna borrow your room it's for a minute. Today, oh, that's where I left the horn and the body. Okay, it's Jasper. Oh, it's Jasper. Okay, what is uh Is Jasper? Is he like one of the good ones, or is he? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, now. Is this any better? Yeah, no. can you hear me any better? It just it starts, but then it goes. It starts, but then it goes in and out. I take the Wi-Fi back off. I did. I turned it off a few minutes ago. I put it just back on the data. Is that any any better? Okay. Hi. Is that any better? I. I turned the Wi-Fi off.
so it should be better. <laughs> okay, yeah, keep it turned off because I think it messes up. All right, hi. Yeah. <laughs> hi. Yeah, my, my, my little one was excited to pop in and say hi. <laughs> hi. How are my you? My oldest one, she's downstairs. <laughs> my oldest one she's downstairs and like she can't la la land she's out or she's... my oldest one she's downstairs she's uh drawing pictures she's been really artistic <laughs> lately yeah. she's getting in touch with her creative side um oh i forget what i was gonna ask you oh yeah have you um have you been able to talk to uh your friend caitlin about Getting access to your uh, old Facebook. He's Justice's dad. He's Justice's dad. Yeah, oh, okay. he's Justice's dad. Is he? He is Justice's like, dad. Is, yeah. Is this? Yeah. Does he tell I you know, good things or does he tell you not good yeah. things? Because <laughs> I know Justice. You told me before yeah, he's. He, uh... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah. What are y'all going to do today? So, I told the girls we would go outside, and I might take them to the park. I haven't decided Aww. yet. Um, but yeah, we're going to probably go outside and play, maybe go down to the park. Um, I might do some more online shopping. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just kind of having a, a lazy day Aww. for the most part. <laughs> Aww, <thank> you. <sighs> um... I got, oh yeah, I sent you a letter too. Um, I did it through one of the email, they were, or the websites where you type up the email and send it out. So hopefully you'll have it in a couple of days. I had to, I had to call the. No, she hasn't came yet. Right? I, I need you to tell her don't come tomorrow though. Like, yeah, not Monday because I have a meeting with the Vittori on Monday. Oh, with who? Who do, you, who do you have a meeting with? I think there's a... Who? There might be a delay. Who? You said you have a meeting. You said you have a meeting on Monday? Oh, yeah. So... So tomorrow I have a meeting with them. Tomorrow I'm supposed to meet with them. So... Yeah. Who who is it you have a meeting with? Uh, hold on. Yeah. So yeah, just tell her don't come tomorrow. Just not tomorrow because Hello. Hi. You made it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm back. Got some flowers. <laughs> Dude, are you in the bathroom? <laughs> Someone got me flowers. No, just just the person who whatever. Nothing like that. <laughs> where where did you get flowers from? Sadie, come here. From who? Come here. Uh huh. This someone has a name. Oh. Baby. 
No, the person don't have a name. <laughs> yep. They were born. They were born nobody. Say, mommy, watch Hey, me. Watch Sadie. Me like you. Oh my goodness, you're so pretty. Hey. Isn't she so pretty? Uh -huh. Sit. Oh, Sit. I see your little name tag. It says Sadie. <gasps> hey, Sadie. Hello, Sadie. Hello. Sit. You got your top paw on, but it's upside down. Sit. High five. Good girl. Lay. lay down. Hey, lay down. Lay down. Okay. She doesn't want to listen right now. <laughs> No, she normally listens yeah, to me. Yeah, she's really I don't listening. Know why she's not listening. Well, normally she doesn't do it with her toys. She does it with three, so. Look at her. Watch her, watch her. <laughs> she's shaking. Yeah, she's still got some work to do, I guess. <laughs> Well, probably because you were jumping up and down with it at first, yeah. she saw it, and she's, like, doing flips trying to get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to show her. I have to show you her little jersey. Oh. Have I showed it to you? Yeah, I got I already heard of this jersey. Hold on. <laughs> Isn't she the prettiest thing? Where's her jersey? Does say people say she's cute? I'm going to beat you. I'm a beat you. Her jersey? No. I'm a beat you. I don't know. Sadie? She knows what she did. She's freezing in here. I have, I, I left her out for like five, like a few minutes when I was outside. Because I was like, I don't need to put her what in. What did she do? I do because you pee on the floor. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. She does. She does when did she purpose. do that? Well, don't. <laughs> Whatever. No, I don't. <laughs> she probably done that because you left her. Yeah. Yeah, because you they're left her. Mom they're they're mom. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, oh, I didn't know if you were going to show up. I was like, she always stands me up. We'll see. <laughs> you got on pants with your tank top, though. Uh, but it's already... They're, just always they're what? If I plug it in, I don't know how to turn it off. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because yeah. you're really shaped when like it's a mom. On, it's always the lights are always on. <laughs> uh, why do you got the light on on the speaker box yeah, always? You're gonna run out of lights. Come here, buddy. You don't have to plug it in all the time because you'll run the the thing down. But I'm saying, you know, don't leave it plugged in all that time. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. The sunlight's still out there. It's There's snow on the ground here. <gasps> hey, Sadie. Her eyes look green that way. <laughs> when the way you turned her. Want to see the vest that I got like that, that It's like green. Service dog. No, y'all stop bothering me. I know, but I don't know her jersey one. Hey. Hi, Sadie. <gasps> Hello, girl. Hey, Sadie. Oh, he says she's so pretty. She can't jump on. I thought I was looking for a jersey. Yeah, I know. Oh, I see it. It's her dog. Okay, it's cute. Yeah. You, do you need you. you need to um apply for that South Carolina Healthy Choice because you're you're not gonna have Tricare anymore. Yeah. Um, I did schoolwork. 
So you need to go do that because that's insurance, you know. So above anything, do that. Yeah, got it. <laughs> really? Anyway, wow. well, um, what did you do today? Yeah, the thing on the fridge. Did you get your picture of um Sadie I drew? You didn't ever tell me. Oh uh, yeah. I sent you a birthday card too. Mm -hmm. But I had I had the birthday card drawn though. Oh, it was kinda cool today, yeah. but it wasn't bad. Yeah, I had the birthday card drawn. Yeah, I um Yeah. I used the thing that Courtney did to outline. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. Is it warm there? Yeah. Did you watch the um the police officer verdict today? I know. He shouldn't have gotten second degree though. That that kind of sucked. It, I made my thing green. My, my I know, I know. It's sad because his 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 like his verdict was basically based on the media, though. You know. I know that sucks for him. I did say prayers for him. Oh, I know. My, my hair be falling out everywhere. What thing? Yeah, yours always longer. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like green. Green's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> it's long. It's probably longer. Mm hmm Well, it's also straighter. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a little bit of curl in there somewhere. Because I haven't washed it. I'm not washing mm -hmm. my hair again. Well... It's just because remember when I had to braid my hair or be in the Mexican Mafia? Well, I told them I wasn't washing it anymore. Yeah. And so they said they'll leave me alone about my hair, but I can't wash it. So I'm not washing it. I'm not washing it again. Ever. Yeah. Until I leave here. <laughs> You're like, come okay. down this weekend. And I'm like, glee. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know, it's crazy, No, right? she wants to come here. But that's just, you know, how it's going to be. I know. Da -da -da -da. I ain't Brenda talked to you lately? Putting stuff on the counters. She hasn't been by, down you stuck in your other room? <laughs> she wants you to go there? Oh, well, you might as well let her, because that keeps her from asking you to come there. I know, I know. But what? <laughs> you are just like me. <laughs> mm. Oh, well, at least that's one thing, you guys. Definitely order obsessions and uh, cleanness for sure. Mm -hmm. Just don't get my crazy brain because I decided that I was going to get rid of my brain and get like get like get a new brain. So when I leave from here and get out, I'm going to have to have another brain. So I'm a, I'm going to sell this one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this one's pretty smart, but it's like crazy as heck too. You know, it's like crazy side smart, you know. So I'm going to get another one. Nothing. I don't even care if it's one that's just like normal, like <laughs> kind of not really that smart, but maybe kind of smart, but not really. You yeah. know what I mean? I know. It's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what you gonna do for your birthday? <laughs> Parasail? Look, I'm so scared. Y'all make people wear life jackets, don't you? Remember that time that we were on that sailboat in Jamaica? I thought we were gonna die. No, <laughs> I had to pretend like I I mean it was fun but I had to pretend like I weren't scared because you were so scared I, 
<laughs> and you're like, you're like looking at me like, help. Oh, yeah, pretty, pretty. <laughs> I don't look that pretty anymore. My face is bad now. My eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, you were so scared. I was like, it's fun. Really? Come on. He's got it. In my mind, I was thinking, we're going to die. <laughs> we're gonna be in Jamaica. No one's gonna, cause no one knew we were, knew. No one knew we were in Jamaica. And I said, yeah. people, people were gonna be like, mm -hmm. oh my god, they're just missing. And we'd have been what dead in Jamaica, bottles? and they would took us forever to find us. What alcohol bottles? Yeah. What alcohol bottles? But it's okay. What <laughs> bottles? <laughs> Why y'all got them alcohol <laughs> bottles in there, man? Who's got alcohol bottles Not in there? Mine. Behind you. <laughs> you. You ain't gonna tell me those are not alcohol They're bottles. Not mine. Okay, what are those bottles behind you? Harley, I'm don't play me. You better not be burn. drinking and drinking alcohol. Whose bottles are those in? <laughs> Oh, this is no. your house. Whose bottles I'm not are they? Either. Okay, well, who else lives there? Ugh. This is bad. Charlotte Wine is bottles? bringing alcohol over. I'm not laughing. Ugh. This is not a joke. I'm not, I'm not laughing. You, you, I just saw you laughing. Ugh, and and there's bad. like both there's like four or five of them. Charlotte did not bring four or five bottles. <laughs> Mom, what do you want me to say? So whatever they are, they're bottles. Don't ignore the question because I was in the ninjas there. Harley, you're not avoiding my question. Why do you have alcohol bottles in your in your house? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. You're only 18. It she kills your brain cells before change. you're 21. Actually, before you're 25. And it's dangerous. And it's also uh, illegal. Yeah, Chip kind of bring blueberry wine. <laughs> so there ain't Brenda's. That's who they are. They ain't Brenda's. They're not mine. Yeah, she had lots of them too, apparently. Well, whoever buys them, you. they know. I hope they know that they can get in trouble for contributing to the delinquency of a minor. We still have 22 seconds. I know. I'm telling you, but well, ain't Brenda, her bottles. She could get in trouble for them. Just saying. <sighs> anyway, it was supposed to go to the trash. Go. Love you too. Okay, love you, bye. bye. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hello. Uh, uh, just, you know, trying to... <laughs> Can you hear me? Out. I'm good. How are you doing? You may... Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm here. Did safely. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What are you doing there? I'm in the... Yeah, we made it last night about... 15 minutes after the ice on here, you went to nowhere. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. That was your night. They're, they're really, they're like family friends of ours. They're from here. They're, they couldn't drive their vehicle with the U-Haul, so we brought them their car. We're going to be here for a oh. couple days back home for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Is it your family? Friends? Okay, hon. Uh... Do you see Wi-Fi? This might be better. Get on the better. Is that? 
I'll try. <laughs> Let me it's try. Okay, I shut my Wi-Fi off. Is that any better? It's just on data now. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'll just leave I my know Wi-Fi you're in the middle of the boonies. But, uh, how was your night last night? Well. <laughs> okay, now I'll say like something. What? Yeah, yeah, I've had a couple of instances like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy, huh? Yes, yeah, that's way better. Yeah. Well, I've, I've had instances like that too. They I've say been, like a lot of out of body experiences like, like that okay. are um, I've been having like induced by stress. Experiences where a like, lot of them, my body's like <laughs> thing, but then I don't, I see it. You know what I mean? But like I'm not there. Kind of, kind of like out of body. You know what I mean? It's just really weird, and mm -hmm. then I just feel like like the impulse is bad. Like impulse, I don't have any impulse control with it, and I just feel like, what am I doing over there? And I can see myself doing it, but then I'm like, okay, but I can't go get back in my body to like take control to come back. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Well, Definitely what's going on. And then, well, I've been trying to get together all this stuff because, like, um, I had to make a list of all the times I've had, like, a, like, I got some of them, but I need to get the most recent times that I had, like, head injuries. And so I can, so I can get those, um, those medical reports and, like, um, that's why I called you yesterday because I was, like, freaking yeah. out. I was, like, okay. I was like, one of the dates, like I walked through the timeline and I was like, okay, I was like, well, one of them was when I got, um, I think it was May 7th, but I'm not really sure it was the, I just know it was a day there was a school shooting in Colorado and yeah. I was going to Denver and, um, going to the airport or whatever. I was like, I know it was that day because I ended up going to the hospital because I'm not the hospital, the urgent care. Yeah. Like, I had to start going to urgent care. Because, like, remember I told you how he would check, like, uh, TRICARE records and, like, the phone records and uh, the alarm records. And I had to put socks over the alarm. <laughs> I was getting, like, par I was, like paranoid, like, okay, hide out, hide out, hide out, you know. But I saw, I was like, I can't remember the day. I had to freak out. But then I found, I had somebody else find it. But, yeah, it was on that day. And I just remember by the school shooting because the day that it happened, I was, like, there was these cops there were and I was freaking out like what's oh, going no. on I was trying to get urgent <laughs> care but um anyway so I knew it was then and I knew it was you know when um I the bookshelf thing oh fell my on the <laughs> when it fell on my head I knew yeah. I, I knew but let me tell you <laughs> I was looking at some of that because I had that one already I was reading through that and I was freaked out because I was like oh my god I didn't even know let me tell you this now when it fell on my head I got a concussion I was out of I drove then they made me go to their doctor, but I didn't want to go to their doctor. It was like this little urgent care building, but I was just like, I'm fine. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. I'm not trying to make a unemployment. I mean, a workers comp claim. Let me just go home. He cleared me right away. You know what I did? I went home, laid down for for a few minutes and then ended up on a plane to Orlando with the concussion. <laughs> yes. Yes, I ended up going to go see. I ended up going to go meet meet Ty and him. They drove yeah. to Orlando. I literally drove there. I mean, literally got on the plane at Colorado Springs, and I'm sitting there like, "Oh my God, I had a concussion." That's the worst thing to do is get on a complaint a plane with a concussion. Yeah. I was like, "Holy smokes!" No wonder I don't remember any of this. Um, and so like I was like reading through that, and I was like, "Oh gosh!" And so then I had to go to the next, and I was like, "Man, I've I've injured my head a lot here." And so then I had to look at the next one. One was on January 26, because when I was running down to the fire, I like down the steps and boom, hit my head on the staircase. That's, and I knew, and I was like, because there was like blood all on the stair, like on the bottom of the stairs, on the inside of the you know the little stairwell thing. Because I boom, hit my head, and I like made a mark like down my head. 
<laughs> and so I was like, I didn't even remember that until I was like, oh yeah, it's like it's like you kind of remember parts of it. You know how to scan done? Like, your brain scans can determine if you have like, down, like, um, like so then a I brain injury from I um, um like any kind of like uh, castle, you had to your brain because I I had several of them done somewhere that way. I looked for certain things like in the CAT scan so I can get all these. So you might if you haven't had made all this stuff to Caitlin so we can get the rest of the stuff that needed. I was like, oh my god! Then I didn't even count the ones from the jail. Whenever I like was sleepwalking that one time and hit the wall, and then boom, there's blood everywhere. And then the one time I was in the visit, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start walking around. Oh yeah, I had helmets on my head. I had a concussion when I was, I think I was 12 or 13. I was riding a mountain bike with my like, sister. We were doing like follow the leader. So she's going like this on the handlebars. So I'm doing it with her, but I'm like this big on a mountain bike that's like this big. So I hit the curb over the handlebars and landed on the curb, like, on to on my head. I had a concussion for, like, 13 hours, and they told my mom, like, I would either be, like, mentally yeah, retarded or um, just have, like, a lot of mental issues afterwards. It's been a little bit since i done one, but... Luckily, I neither think, of those uh, things... I, I think it's just happen. a lot I mean, of, I might have some mental issues. Like, even though not like something... <laughs> Uh, I didn't know that like, that's having like, a lot more like, 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 like anger just, problems. You know, like, like I was never sports, you a person that dealt with anger up until that you know, point. Like, so I'm like, something yeah, must have happened saying, because nothing ever made me angry. Now it's like certain things will just make me like, but yeah. Well, you probably didn't know. I mean, at the time, you might have known what you were doing, but like looking back, you probably don't remember doing it because you weren't yeah. really, you know, you weren't in the yeah. state of mind yeah. to remember kind of thing. That's crazy, though. Like, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. And you think that was three I had in twenty. Yeah, from 2019 to 2020. You know, one of them very, very serious because the one that the bookshelf yeah, was, thing fell on me, that was serious. The and then situation? I get on a plane, which is so stupid. I can't even believe I did that. You know. <laughs> yeah. We've done that Our feet are carpeted right. and then came down on the landing. It's like carpeted too. So I went in my butt a few times and went down the stairs. When I fell down the steps going to the fire and my head started bleeding, that's what um, I hit the stairwell thing. I'm like, in your mind, you don't stop to be like, oh, hold on, my head. You might knock out for a second or two, but you're going to go check on, you know what I'm saying? So the adrenaline takes yeah. over and all those things take over. And then afterwards, you're like, whoa, I don't feel too good, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I ran down the stairs and had socks on, and like socks and carpet, and my feet felt. That's scary. Like how scary is like one oh, of my absolute biggest fears? Like <laughs> I don't, I don't do fire. But I mean, uh, well, you've been through a lot in general. Know, like. like I know, I mean, the system's going off. Going fire, fire, fire. You got a lot of stuff. To and at first, like, I'm looking around what? like. Yeah. What's wrong with this machine? You'll, you'll have an awesome book to write because you've been through <laughs> I can see quite anything, a bit. Like, you know, didn't know, just like, it's a good story to tell. You know, like upstairs, like, something's wrong with this thing, man. It keeps yelling to fire and won't shut up. <laughs> you know, and then, of course, when you round the, when I rounded the first set of steps, that's when I saw a fire. And I, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you um, have you heard any more from E lately or just, just that one time recently? I tell you, I've had too much trauma with it. Too much trauma with fires, man. Oh yeah, I was writing this stuff down. Oh yeah. My parents has never like you know they never did drugs or anything like that. So I don't have that piece Aww. that most people have, you know, like, but then when you look at it, like, everything kills, it's just like, oh, God, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? I see uh, some more pictures back in the day. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like a collage. No, we didn't get like, we didn't get to limit how many well, pictures you I've can see on the email thing. So I beat their system and I put like 10 pictures on one collage. <laughs> I was like, I tried to put uh -huh. all these people around in there. But. Well, because. 
I wanted to make sure I had people with yeah, me in the room. Uh, yeah, so I've been like trying to pull all the pictures up and two weeks ago? Can't hang nothing on yeah, the so wall. This year, but sometimes if I'm playing a game or something, I like move everybody around and make y'all come to life. So you and the girls come to life sometimes. And then Harley and then Harley comes to life and then um the yeah, dogs I was like, come to I life and I just have moving them, like, behind me and I feel it and I'm like, what the the is going on? <laughs> sometimes it's hard. But yeah. what did you cool? Nice. nice. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's Where did I put the balloons in there? Yeah. 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 Definitely. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't see. No, I can't see the people. I just see like all these things, and I'm like, oh my god, what is going on? So. The <laughs> The balloons, uh, the balloons changed to zombies, and I started freaking out. And so I asked a girl, yeah. I was like, oh, my God, okay, now I know these are zombies out there. And she's like, my mom went and got a zombie balloon. So I was like, oh, because <sighs> she changed them again. I was like, okay, okay. I was like, good. A lot of people smart, come, like, these are, so there's like this. Because um, these are a lot of things I would not have uh, thought of. Like, you're, like, you're telling me, and I'm like, wow, it's like really clever. And, like, and it's not, it's not awesome. the Jill's property, I guess, is like the park's property or i don't know it might be public property but um people just go out there and stand with their flashlights and they you know do little uh if signals three flashes <laughs> mean i love you and they have all these little codes and then the people well, talk in the window gets a load and they'll put letters up in the window and, make my way out the there, I'll ride with them. So I told them I and wanted to. Like, so like, I'm going to come out there and I'm going to take a few days. That way I can actually come in. Trees and, and, and so they just hang out in the woods and I'll hold up signs. You know, they just do some crazy stuff. No. Oh, they be doing some stuff. There's no telling what I might look out and see going on. That's why sometimes, well, when the paparazzis are out there, that's what freaks me out because they be out there with cameras everywhere and they be trying to call my name and I'd be like, ho, 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 uh, uh, like, no, that's not, that's not, that's not my name. Don't even play me. So, anyway. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I know, right? That's how Harley was like. Harley's like, Mom, I can't go put balloons up. I was like, well, you're not flying here. <laughs> of all places, you're not flying here. <laughs> all right, well, it's going to hang up. All right, you guys have a good day. Oh, my gosh, this is so much nicer. <laughs> Wait, this is so much nicer. <laughs> I can't English today. <laughs> thing is like messed up um i was laughing so hard i was choking and the people were looking at me I'm like i'm sorry these people are too much around here <laughs> what, what what were they doing i was laughing at what you were reading and i'm just sitting there like oh yeah <laughs> i was sitting there like okay wait a minute now they failed to say the real reason and put it as medical problems i, ain't, I did not tell him about any medical problems <laughs> Yeah, like, and that's what confused me, too, because, like, I mean, I know the whole story because yeah. you told me, but <laughs> the way that the news has, like, twisted it is just, like, I don't really know what they're trying to make it sound like than other what, the, like, you know, what you told me it is, you know, does that make sense? Like, uh, like what, what does it matter whether or not I go or not? That's, I mean, <laughs> are they going to write one if I decide to take my meds or not? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, but, like, the way they try to make the article sound is like you've been on your medication for a long time. But you know, they can't go into detail because of HIPAA. They try to make it sound like you've been on your medicine for a long time and that was hindering you from going to the law library and that you refused to work with the hours that they gave you. Like that you refused to work with the two AM to four PM thing. Four and that yeah. whoever it was that came in to talk to you he wrote some letter, and he was like, I asked uh, Miss Stalk, like, three or four times, you know, if she'd be interested in the program. She just kept saying, nope, nope, take me off the list. I don't want to be on the list, like. 
Well, okay, I said that after you told me, A, you're not going to give me another time because you're doing that on purpose. And then, yeah. and then B, after I tried to have a conversation with mental health about the meds and the problems that were going on, like as far as the, uh, what are they? The nightmare meds was, you know, they make you dizzy and you like you when you get up the walk, you can't because it, what it does is it lowers your blood pressure. It's mini press. You have to look yeah. at it. It's like a blood pressure thing and like lowers your uh, your blood pressure. So it has you like basically stoned out in because like, your blood pressure is so low. So I'm just let's go walk around being at a computer like, hey, but then they want to change it. You know, like I told you to they're not going to come in here, and give it to me at 4 a.m. when I get back. They ain't going the other day I was on a meeting and they didn't give me my stomach meds. I called, they called, called, called. They still never brought them, didn't ever bring them, nothing. Then called back and told the deputy, well, it's just stomach meds. She don't really need them. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know who's going to the crap. What's any difference if you were going to bring me a hydroxyzine or a mini press? Like, either, that's why I don't do psych meds because it's so inconsistent. You, they have, I'm telling you, that these people is jacked up, zoned out zombie mode, and I'm not doing that stuff. I'm not walking yeah. around like I'm high. I don't do drugs. I'm not going to be high. <laughs> yeah, they have like, um, oh, what's the old saying? Like, you know, pharmaceuticals were originally invented to, like, help people. Yeah. But now it's kind of like a money-making profit. Like, they don't care how it affects people. They just care about what kind of money it puts in the pockets of the pharmacists. Yeah, you know what I mean? Them, the mental health people, if you don't take meds, the psych meds, they don't want to help you. Uh -huh. Because that's what keeps them in a job. As long as they're popping pills to people, giving them psych meds, that keeps them going. You know, yep. so if you don't want to do that and you want to say, hey, are there any other coping skills or any other or is there any mild psych meds I can take that don't come with all this craziness? They don't want to hear it because that is not part of their agenda. You know, that doesn't keep them in a job, you know, so I wish I wish I could send you. I use the sleep aid. It's all natural. It's just like an all natural like herbal, herbal supplement. Yeah. I never used to believe in that kind of stuff. And then my friend got me hooked on it. I love it. It helps me sleep so good at night, and then I wake up feeling, like, alive. That's good. But, like, there's no, like, narcotics. There's no controlled yeah. substances. It's just all natural stuff. Like, that stuff works wonders. I don't know if they would, you know, be willing to give you something like that or... No. And, see, our times change, you know. Like, okay, we came out at 5 a.m. this morning. If you look around, there's one, two... Out of my 20 people, there's about three or four of us out. Because you know why? So many people get to take those meds. They can't get up to come out. So then you don't come out to call your family. You already don't get to come out at 8 o'clock time because that's meds and all that other stuff. So you might go three days without coming out if you don't come out today. Yeah. You know? Did you um, – have you gotten the email I sent you yet? I sent you the email. There's a – Oh, I got – with your collage – yeah, did you get it? I got it. I got to see. Uh, I got to see Taylor. <laughs> oh yeah, so now I know he looks like he was the one. By the way, that was fucking around with the mattress in the in the background the other day. <laughs> oh, I figured that might be him. I was like, I was like, he's probably trying to ease in his seat. <laughs> like, I asked him. I was like, what are you doing? And um, him and his buddy were going out to the shooting range, so he was trying to get to the gun safe, oh. but like do it quietly so he wouldn't like interrupt our conversation. Yeah, or I was walk like, by our oh, computer yeah. screen, guns. Oh god. <laughs> You know, like, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured you would appreciate that little collage. That way it kind of, yeah. it buys the whole, you know, you can't send X amount of pictures, but they never they never specified you couldn't send that many in one collage, so. <laughs> yeah, I saw the, um, the girls at the, I guess they were at the beach, and I was like, oh. <laughs> they were at Myrtle Beach. I know, it looked like Myrtle Beach. I was going to say that, because I could look at the grass and tell it like Myrtle Beach. We actually the day we went, we I made sure I took a lot of pictures because I told uh, I told Taylor I was like I'm gonna send these to T so she can see it and enjoy it. <laughs> oh, thank you, I appreciate it so much. I'm still over here. I am laughing, but like these people had to put a point about that. Like, just document it, right? You had witnesses. Yeah. You had witnesses. Document it. Hey, this is what happened. You don't need to make it in this formal request. If I'm the one saying, it'd be different if. I was saying I wanted to go, and they were like, we don't have any availability. You know what I'm saying? Then they might want to do something. Like, Come on. It's just funny. It's just, you know, just it's that's the commander, the one. That's who Gillespie is, the commander. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was like, dude, I'm good. But you know what time he came in? It was late, what? and I was asleep. 
You know, I think it actually mentions what time you came out on the article. Hold on. Because on the way back from Ohio, I looked up uh, your court docs just to see if there was anything new going on. Uh, let's see. There should be in the next day or so. Oh, I'm excited. Can you hint about what it is? No. Dang. <laughs> I'll let it be a surprise. Does it involve Al? No, no. no. Damn, okay. No. But no, we, we, we got something for that later. I cannot believe That's so funny, man. I was laughing so hard. I was, like, thinking. I had just said the other day, like, you know, like, oh, God. You know, I said something. I was walking. Oh, because I was walking around here checking for bombs. Because, you know, these people be planting bombs and stuff, right? And I was walking around checking for bombs and stuff. And the deputy goes, girl, you know they ain't no bombs in here. And I was, like, no, and I was, like, out of it. I was dead out of it. Like, like I had convinced they had put bombs over there. And then she was like, you better quit saying that. She's like, it's going to be on the news. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. I was like, but I'm still, <laughs> I was like, I'm still going to look for them. <laughs> yeah, like, I was telling my husband, because, like, this morning, no, wait, yesterday morning, we watched, well, I got up, and he got up because he got out, he got out of the truck for training, mm -hmm. so we went, to, we went to Ohio yeah. to bring our friends in the car, and then, what's today, Tuesday? So, Wednesday, we have to do something, and then Wednesday night, we're leaving out for Florida, because, you know, the 29th is yeah. coming up, so we shall bring my big city, but, uh. Yeah, we were watching Core TV today, and they had this, like, commercial, and they show, like, all these people's fa this faces. He's watching the TV, just kind of, like, nonchalant, and he's like, was that Tisha? And I was like, it <laughs> was. <laughs> oh, God, man. These it's not funny, like, I don't mean to be, like, you know, facetious when I, like, laugh, but, you know, it's just, like, I think it's funny, because I'm, like, I know her, and, like, none of, like, not funny. wait until... Until, I mean, I hate it's going to happen, but I cannot wait until this video gets to be showed to the world. I cannot wait. Because then I'm just going to sit there and be like, well, you know what I mean? Like, I tried to ask you not to let this happen, but you still let it happen. You know what I mean? But I've been kind of reading all the letters we've gotten. Um, you, did, you, saw, you got the pictures. You got my letter, too, yeah. that came with it. Okay. Yeah. I've been reading all the letters that we've written back and forth, and then like the phone calls we've had, and I think I have everything pieced together about what happened that day. Yeah. I may be wrong, but I guess when trial rolls around, I'll find out. Yeah. Well, but I mean, not necessarily, because you know, uh, I'm going to protect. You know, I'm going to protect Ty. So it might not be fully, but I'm definitely going to protect Ty. Well, that's what I was wondering was uh. They told you told me about him if he was like um I don't know how to word this because it's recorded. Just, just you know what just I mean. No, like you know, I'm gonna do whatever to protect Ty, and that's just at the end of the day, that's that's all that's gonna matter with that. I mean, who I don't care who listening and says whatever, who they want to play it to. There's no parent that really loves their children that would not protect them. And when there's you're in a situation between two children, you love them both care from both but it doesn't matter like if you can only help one right now you're gonna help one if you can help both you can help both you know what i'm saying if you can help five you can help five but i'm just i'm, I'm just, sorry real quick is it gonna bother you if i use this it's like it's supposed to help my no i don't have asthma but i have a hard time breathing uh -oh. it's just like a little okay so i'm gonna make sure like i don't smoke cigarettes i don't do drugs i just like i try not to use this in word video chatting because i don't want you to think like yeah, oh she's like, so sweet oh, like <laughs> No, no, it's just to help open my lungs. It's got like um, it's got some kind of menthol in it. It's not like a cigarette or anything. It's got menthol to open up oh, your uh, nice. capillaries in your lungs. Nice. But um, yeah, go ahead. No, the dream I told you about that I had, where you know I saw that figure in the corner. It looked like a you know, yeah, taller, like as tall as Taylor. Yeah. You know, it should like things shouldn't have happened this way or something like that. It kind of got me thinking, like. If that was Ty that I saw, because it was hard to make out, but, like, from what you've told me, like, it sounded like it could have been Ty. Mm -hmm. but they kind of put some things. is shortened for something. Is it Tyler? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I mean, I know, but... <laughs> is it... Like, is it an English name or, like, Hispanic? It's English. English? Yeah, definitely American. <laughs> is it Tyrone? Oh, God. 
Uh, it could be Tyson. It could be Tyler. It could be Taekwon. I'm just kidding. It's not Taekwon. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, I, said, I said Tyler, I was going to say Tyson, that's my next one. It could be, let's see what else. Um, typhoon. <laughs> <laughs> typhoon. <laughs> that's awesome. Typhoon. Or, so I keep trying to find something on the it. internet. I got it. It could be Tyga. I like that. That's like a rap artist name. A rapper, Tyga. <laughs> Ty yeah. <laughs> Um, does I meant to ask you before because like I follow I follow Harley on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Does she know that you and I talk? No, I don't think so. Okay, I, I haven't said anything to her, I so know. I just wanted to make sure that before I like said anything to her or said anything on like Instagram that might lead her to believe that we talk. I haven't said anything to her just to be on the safe side. Yeah. But uh, and what what's Ty's what's his last name to start with? So there's. It's Ty has shortened, <laughs> and then it's G, or you know, and then it's T. So Ty space G splash T. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna find him. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> so Ty space G space T. I mean that's not how you find it, but that's that's how oh, yeah. that's how his initials are. Yeah. Give me a give me a. <laughs> well, you know how I am. I look stuff up all the time. Oh, by the way, I look I looked at that Travis guy. By the way, you what? That you? Travis guy. I looked him up. By the way, did you? Ooh. He has mutual friends with me. Oh my god, I've been freaking Hi. out. <laughs> hey, oh, I was like, oh my god. Where is she at? I was oh, I'm at dinner and then I looked at my phone. I was like, oh my gosh. And I started freaking out. And then I went. Well, I figured you were at dinner, but I was like, where are you at? It's called Fire and Smoke. Oh, where's that? Like, where's it's it located? It's, it it's like a, this steak place or something. Oh, who are you with? From my friends. Oh, you always say my friends, and you never give me any names. You never tell me who sends flowers. <laughs> you never tell me this. You never tell me that. You just be like, hey, 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 my friend. <laughs> can uh, you see? Can you see uh, me? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. yeah, I can see you. What do you got on? You better not have on a hoochie mama stuff. I'm wearing a dress. Oh, I'm what kind? Dress. I don't get yeah, a see. See, look. Oh my goodness. Cute, cute, cute. And wearing my oh, little sneakers. Wait, you're wearing yeah, sneakers? Yeah, you're cute with a dress. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, well, don't be doing anything to get in any trouble. Remember, you know, Jesus has a very respectable lady in your heart. He's in your heart, and anything you do wrong, you're committed against the Holy I Spirit. Were you, are, were you in Ain't a right. wheelchair? Wheelchair? No. <laughs> Somebody else might have went by in one, not no, me. No, they there was just like this thing and it said that you're in a wheelchair. <laughs> they said that you were spotted in a wheelchair. <laughs> no. Oh, oh wait, who said that? Yeah, the like a news broadcast. Said I was yeah, in a wheelchair. They spotted in a wheelchair. I mean, not that I'm aware of, but then again, it could have been one of the other personalities. Yeah. You know, who knows? It could have been Janelle, because you know she'd be coming out and doing crazy Janelle. stuff. Because she was crazy for three. She was crazy for three days. Yeah. You know, but no, I'm not in a wheelchair. You want to see? I'm look. glad. <laughs> I, I was scared. You're like, oh my god. Yeah, was... No, you know what? You know what? I bet you I know Ew. who it is. There's this girl. There's this girl named Danielle, and we got like same long hair, same everything, and um, she's from Texas, and I and she talks country too. And I bet you money, uh, that's who that's who they oh. saw because she's in a wheelchair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Somebody must have been somebody was somebody like on a video visit and saw somebody in the background. 
<laughs> Why would it matter if I was in a wheelchair or not? Oh my god, there's some crazy people there. I was like, re I was no reading the thing because Miss Didi had texted me and was like, Did your mom say that she's in a wheelchair? And I was like, What? What do you mean? <laughs> and then you had yeah, to and then from I me. read it and I was like, Yeah, she was spotted in a wheelchair. And I was just envisioning you rolling around in a wheelchair. <laughs> Wait, but that's all it said is I was spotted yeah. in a wheelchair. <laughs> that's it. Like that's it. Doing nothing. It was just it's just like reporting yeah, live. No, there's she was there's spotted like in a whole, wheelchair. I mean there's a whole um what's it called? News article. About the wheelchair? <laughs> oh, I was about to no. say God. I was about to say, man, these people, man, this is what drives me crazy. You think this is why I be seeing paparazzi's out the windows? Because they be out back, you know what I'm saying, along the creek. And I just be like, hey, <laughs> oh. And I'm just like, this is why I be losing my line because we're always stuck in there. And then everybody's going wild right now because nobody's showered in three days, almost four days. Oh and they wonder why I lose my mind and go ape shit crazy. This is why. <laughs> and then on top of that, on top of that, I'm in a wheelchair. I mean, unless it happened and I didn't know anything about it, which happens a lot because I freak out and disassociate and go into another world and have no idea what's oh. going on. I don't even know if I'm going. I don't know if I'm coming. I don't know my name. I don't know nothing. I, I was in there the other day. The, the lady came and got me. and She was like, put your clothes on. Why are you running around naked? I was like, I was just looking at her, you know, like, what is she talking about? It took me, like, her talking to me, like, two or three checks to be like, oh, crap, why am I, I didn't, not like, not, like, butt naked, but I was just freaked out, stir crazy, my hair was all in mats. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, it was the craziest thing, you know. But anyway, I know it's going to cut off any minute, but I just wanted to see your face. I was freaking out, and that girl, I had to give her, I, well, I didn't have to, but I gave her coffee, and I gave her noodles for let me borrow her tablet because you have to sign up for mm -hmm. times you know to like use mm -hmm. the machines and uh and uh she uh she was like i was just freaked out crying and she was like you know i got you back she was like you know i know you're you're under a lot of scrutiny but i got you back she was like and when you get out you better not forget me <laughs> i was like i'm not i was like i'm not girl i said i wrote down everybody's name on my book uh -huh. Of the people that I'm going to, uh, people I'm going to give back to and help. I was like, have a noodle and some coffee. <laughs> and so I can't eat dinner tonight because I gave her that um, noodle, but it's okay. What? I'll be fine. What? Well, I'm so jacked up and wired up because, like I said, I've been crazy, ape shit crazy for three days. Like, I mean, I was biting my arms. I got bite marks all on them. And then I had, look, I even drew a keyboard on here. And I had to talk to the people in my head on the oh keyboard. Oh my gosh. And then I tell them to stop, and then there's dark forces right here, and then I tell them to stop, and then no. And then these suckers, why do they have my, look, you gotta see this. They have my name as Lee Ann. Yeah, Who the heck is Lee Ann? I, I wrote the people and told them, hey, I said, that's not my name, can you take it off? You know what they told me? That's your name. I said, no, it's not. They was like, yes, it is. They told me they had they had verified that was my name. I was like, that's not my I name. I've seen but, that. you know, I changed my name. I tried to explain them. I said, yeah, I changed my name to Taylor because, you know, Saul went to Paul. I said, now I went from Tisha to Taylor because Saul went from Paul to Paul. Anyway, you know, be careful. Okay. Get home safe. I love, I love you so you. much. Don't be doing bad things. Drive safe. Watch out for crazy drivers. Okay. okay? Love you. Good morning. I said it's early, but maybe she'll be up because the girls will be up. Yeah, I had to get up early because, you know, school. And then in about 30 minutes, I have to leave to get my windows tinted at the car dealership. They're tinting it for free. So I'm like, oh, yeah. nice. What did, uh, what did um, Taylor say about that? Well, he wasn't too upset, mostly because the price I got it for. He didn't think it was going to work out the way it did, especially for what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's a. I got a fully loaded 2021 Chrysler 300S. Like it's fully loaded. <laughs> okay, so you ha I know you have to tell me your business, but who's paying for this? So okay, so technically I am hired through Taylor's company, so I'm his secretary. So oh. he legally has to give me a check. Oh. 
Yeah, he has to appropriate money out to me every month. So the way it works out is like what I get paid is going to cover my car note. And then I have my rental house up north. So that's going to cover like the cost of my insurance. And then I'll still have money left over to pay my credit cards from that too. <laughs> so it worked out really well. But So y- y'all owned the house up north and that's what you're renting? Yeah, well, yeah. technically my ex and I own it together, but he has nothing to do with it. His name's just on the mortgage, but he kind of just, like, abandoned ship a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. So I cleaned it up real good and rented it out. So, like, my mortgage on that house is, I think it's, like, seven eighty two a month, but my renters pay, like, twelve fifty a month, so I profit all the rest. Uh, okay. <laughs> I pay, like, all the rest. I mean, yeah. I was wondering, I was like, well, unless she gets, like, so security for her, you know non like craziness <laughs> <laughs> yeah i wish my um my unbiological mom she gets social security for having um agoraphobia oh like she yeah i was like that must be nice <laughs> like she's afraid to leave her house and gets paid for it <laughs> dang so she doesn't leave at all no i mean like she'll go out to like town like to the store like walmart but that's like as far as she'll go like she won't go to like indianapolis and she won't go to like any like big events, she won't go to any of that stuff. And she makes like I think she makes like three eighty three a month. So mm-hmm. what am I doing wrong? <laughs> yeah, this one girl in here, I helped her write the social security office one time because she had to renew it and wanted to put her son on there as some kind of like spokesperson or something. And I looked at it and it was like nine hundred some dollars. I said, Girl, ain't nothing wrong with you. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> she says she gets it for bipolar because her bipolar is so bad that like she can't even work. Like if she works, she'll freak out on people and hurt them. Really? I was like, dang. (laughs) Yeah. I told her, I said, I believe you're pushing it a little bit there now. You just don't want to work. (laughs) All right. I feel like I kind of feel the same way about my, like, unbiological mom. Because, like, I've seen her in, like, large social gatherings. She's fine. And, like, she was talking about going to California, like, one of the busiest states in the world to meet with some dude. And I'm like, yeah. But I thought you were afraid to leave your house. Like, how does that work? (laughs) Well, what this girl does is she, like, freaks out. Cause she comes to jail like every year so she like freaks out on the deputies and like she writes them all these dirty letters and like you know she like come she makes like sexual jokes to her judge and like stuff like that so that like they think she's <laughs> off the wall <laughs> i mean she is she is bipolar now i'm not i'm not denying that but like <laughs> she she, she, definitely, she definitely be like i have to she's like i have to have them write a report so when i turn it turn it into social security they have all the reports <laughs> Some people don't have the system to like they learn what they can do or can't do and get away with it. I kind of feel like that's how like my mom is like she's learned how to kind of work the system. And this yeah. girl, let me tell you what she done now. Okay, so this other girl, they got into it when I was in the other ward. I mean, they got into it in, like an all-out brawl. And I was like, oh god. So that other girl had her boyfriend and in the picture they had, and they had a picture of this girl at the bus stop holding a li- <laughs> holding a liquor bottle with one shoe on. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, she's not, she don't need social security. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, man, I'm glad I don't know nobody like that to be like, I mean, I already got enough. <laughs> I don't need yeah. There must be some like crazy stories you've heard since you've been there. <laughs> well, the lady with dementia, she had a breakdown. So she cussed everybody out last night. So we were up to like 2 a.m. in the morning. We hadn't been to bed. So they finally took her out of here. They took her to SD. Then they, I think they housed her somewhere else. But, you know, she was the one beside me. I yeah. like her. I always pr- took care of, protected her. You know, I say protected her like if they forgot to give her a timeout. I'm like, hey, she forgot, you know, whatever. But um, she lost it last night. Like she was, F you ho, F you ho. Y'all F and Emma first. And she's racist as heck. But she's she's a black lady. She's racist as heck. <laughs> she be yelling. And she say, you're white, crusty women up in here. She said, quit trying to take my husband. I don't know why you're trying to take my husband. I'm going to beat your ass, ho. <laughs> oh my God. I'll, I'll be like, I'll call her name. I'll say, you want you want some coffee? Or I'll be like, you want some Kool-Aid? What can I do to get you to calm down over there? She'll say, shut up, you skinny ho. <laughs> <laughs> then the next the next minute she'll be like, You got some candy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor lady. She probably doesn't even know like she probably doesn't know what she's saying. <laughs> I think she's like on that, you know how like people start getting it? Because I remember yeah. like, when I used to date this guy and his grandma started to get it and she would freak out on me and tell me I was burning her house down. I was like, No, grandma, I got too much trauma with burning down houses. Don't ever say that. She takes <laughs> a broom handle and starts swinging at me. I'd be like, Ah But that's what oh. it was. She thought I was her daughter. And I wasn't listening to her, and she was 
Yeah. And so that's a crazy thing when it happens. I said, sometimes I feel like, you know, I forget stuff. Like I just have like disassociation or something like that sometime. I said, so I couldn't imagine what, I mean, you think when you get old like that and it goes to your brain like that? I mean, that's, yeah, that's terrifying. It kind of reminds me of what happened yesterday. I went to Walmart because I had to buy a coffee pot because mine just decided to quit working. So I got a coffee pot and I'm like coming back around grocery side to go check out. And like there's this old dude and he's like talking, but I thought he was on the phone. And then he like gets in front of my cart and then just stops and like looks me dead in the eyes and starts like having a full blown conversation with me. So I'm standing there completely confused and not saying a word. And he keeps going on, finishes his sentence and he goes, Oh, I thought you were my wife. <laughs> I was like, it took you that long to notice? <laughs> <laughs> was he an older guy, younger guy? He, he was probably like in his like maybe like late forties, early fifties. So I just looked at him and I'm like, no. And he's like, oh, she must have came this way. And I'm like looking around. And I was like, I don't see anybody around here. And Aww. he's like, oh, she looks like you. And I'm like, I don't see anyone around here that looks like me. And she's like, he's like, oh crap, I must have lost her. And like <laughs> bolts off back to the back of Walmart. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> Yeah, that was either that was either a drug induced psychosis or he truly was confused, you know. Like, yeah, I was like, well, oranted. I'm gonna let slide, but I'm gonna get out of here now because I was kind of like taking my time. I was like, yep, now I'm gonna go. <laughs> you should have been like, wait, what do you drive, sir? Do you got some? Uh, do you got some money to make? Hey, what's <laughs> up? It's me. <laughs> I miss you. Yeah, I miss yeah, you. You you just bought me this car and you're actually gonna pay it off. Remember we had this yeah. whole conversation. <laughs> I know. I missed you, honey. I didn't even. I didn't, if I had to, I didn't even peck on the cheek. <laughs> and like the best part was like I was by myself. Like the girls were at home because Taylor's here, so the girls were at home. It was just me by myself, and I can only imagine like the look on my face because he had like a full blown conversation yeah. with me. And I just let him talk, and then he's like, "Oh, you're not my wife." <laughs> like, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> Oh man! I mean, because um, he couldn't have been like almost legally blind, because he'd have been, you know, acting a little more differently. So yeah, it's good. yeah. He pulled his phone out and like started texting. So like, I don't, oh. I don't know. There's well, you know, there's a lot of strange stuff in this area, like a lot of uh, human trafficking type stuff. Oh yeah, that was like, last year, like last summer. There was like this huge thing going on about people at Walmart. They were like going into groups of like twos or threes. And then they would, like, target somebody and have, you know, their friends, like, all throughout the store. And they would kind of, like, text to communicate with each other yeah. and, you know, be outside of the store. I tell you, so one like, thing they do, too, is they lay in the middle of the road. Oh, really? Mm hmm They get you to stop. So I if I see Trust somebody, me, I know. If I see someone laying in the middle of the road, should I stop? Or should I, like, go around and then call 911? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, go around to them. But, like, what they'll do is they'll keep, they'll even try to move or roll or... You know, because they know they don't want you to, they know most people won't just run you over. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless yeah. they get up that shit, schizophrenia person that's like full blown, ah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, or something like that, or some psychopath. But yeah, no, most people will stop. Trust me, I've been in that situation and people just will later and you'll be like, what the heck? So it gets your car to stop and then someone can run out the woods or. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I. I've yet to see that happen yet, but I'm. I won't be surprised if I see it and watch today will be the day because I got I got my car in Lumberton, so I'll be in Lumberton today. So yeah. I'll probably be like, yeah. <laughs> I know. Right? Yeah, watch out when you get off at this exit. Make sure you go eat it. You better go eat some Papa Bills. I mean, some well, you don't know Papa Bills. That's in Pittsburgh. Go eat some Smithfield. Yeah, I want to. Cause every time I'm in Lumberton, the exit I get off of, like I go off and I like, kind of take a left as a Smithfield over here to the right. Yeah, with the Starbucks and Chick Fil A. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the Walmart. Yeah, you um I got my I don't know if you know where this is at, but I got my car from it's called Peterson Toyota Chrysler. So I got it. check this out. <laughs> well my stepdad, you know, the one I don't like and did bad things to me, let's leave it that. When he got out of the Air Force, he worked at DSS, right? So when he got done working at DSS, because he became like violent to us and um, done bad things to us, he lost his job at DSS because you know he's working at Department of Social Services. They hired yeah. they hired him at Peterson Toyota, <laughs> and he was working at Peterson Toyota when he got killed. When he got hit, no, no, no got way, hit really. the, When he got hit by the car, he was working at Peterson Toyota, and then the people at Peterson Toyota came and did a. Um, because it was my little brother's birthday the day that it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, they came and did like a bike run with my brother because it was on my brother's birthday. So they did like a birthday party bike run with him like a couple days later. So he could like redo his birthday. 
Oh, they seem like a really nice people over there. Like they have a lot of sales. People drive there from all around North Carolina because they they have a lot of sales and they do really good deals and stuff. Yeah, they um, like my car came with the manufacturer's warranty, which is like um, it's like everything is like three years, thirty six thousand, and the powertrain's like six years, sixty thousand. But I know Peterson, they offer if you buy a car through them, they offer like a lifetime powertrain warranty. So that's like you know your transmission, all yeah. that other stuff. The only stipulation is like it has to be in like the person's name who bought the car. So like I couldn't sell the car to somebody right. else, yeah, and they could earn it. Yeah, I was like, Shoot, that's awesome because you know Chrysler's are not known for longevity after like two hundred thousand miles and that yeah. kind of stuff. So that, that's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah, I was I was in and out of there like real fast. They usually I spend like eight hours plus at a car dealership. I would think I was there for maybe like four and a half five. They're really nice. So like. Yeah. That's crazy, though, that your uh, stepdad worked there of all places. <laughs> yeah, a guy I went to school with named Aaron, he was a manager there, like, before I came to jail, so I don't know if he's still there, but they would always put everything, even in South Carolina, they'd have all kinds of ads, and I'd be like, man, they'd be like, come on down to Lumberton, I'd be like, you're going to miss it, there's not much there. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I was like... When I went there, they had the car I went to go look at. They only had one of them, but they were smoking crack. They were saying it was going to be like $1,970 a month for like, a, I was looking at a truck and it wasn't even like a full size pickup truck. Yeah. No. I was like, not happening. By the time it was paid off, it would have been like $140,000 starting off like 53. And I'm like, no, not happening. Yeah. So the girl talked to me and they had some Chrysler 300s out front. And I used to have one a long time ago, like one of the older ones. Yeah. And I love that thing. So she was like, well, this might be more in your price range. And then I test drove it and I liked it. And then yeah, I was like, I'm not getting my hopes up. My credit was a lot higher than I thought it was. I have like a, it was like 701 when they ran yeah. it. So I was able to like get the whole thing in my own they name. Much and get, yeah. Yeah. Super low APR. So I was like, all right, we'll do this. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's so how I said, mine was a 720 something when I got my Tiguan lease. And they were like, you could have anything you want. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, okay. That was funny. That's a good store. That's where I want to be is well, I-7. I mean, obviously it ain't there now, but it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That could be fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when when all this is said and done, I'm sure yeah. that you can go and have things fixed. Where, um, did you see where the kid and I think 11, 12-year-old kid carried a gun to school and shot people in Idaho? No, you know what? I hadn't seen the whole thing, but my friend sent me an article about that yesterday. I didn't know what had happened, though, but no, that's... I didn't know it was a kid. kid yeah, kids are getting wilder and wilder at those ages. I can never imagine that stuff at this age, but now kids do drugs at that age. They carry guns. They take guns when they shouldn't take them. Like, all kinds of stuff. I, was, I, said, I said a prayer for him. I was like, well, anyway, all right, it's going to hang up. I hope you guys have a good day. Tell the girls hello. I didn't ever get that thing yet, so I don't know if you want to check to see if they credited you back or maybe... Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna go down there just when I get to the dealership and be like, "Hey, you know, I bought this. It said it, it said it should have been mailed out already. So, like, what's yeah. going on?" <laughs> okay, cool. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. All right, you too. I'll talk Bye. tomorrow. All right. Bye. Hello. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? <sighs> it's going. How are you today? I'm good. How about I talk to Harley a minute ago and guess where she was at yesterday? Where? Overton. No way. <laughs> if I'd have known that, I said, you could have met up with my friend. And she was like, I said, because she was talking, I was telling her about going to Smithfield Chicken and Barbecue. And she's like, yeah, and Starbucks. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Well, dang, if I would have known, I would have I stayed out there and heard I could have met up. <laughs> she had to go get her car inspected because uh, the car is registered in North Carolina. So, you know, they have to get yeah. an inspection sticker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because she put, my aunt put her on her insurance. So that way, you know. Because I don't need insurance, you know, obviously. And so, because of that, they made her get a North Carolina inspection sticker and all that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, darn. I wish I would have known because, I mean, I was out in Lumberton for a good amount of time yesterday. <laughs> she said she went to my mom's, rode the four-wheeler. She said she went to Starbucks. She rode around, got home last night. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, so she had a fun day at least. That's good. Yeah, my brother has a newborn baby and my sister does too. They're, like, literally the same age. So, by now, oh, wow. they're, like... 10, 11 months. And so uh, I say newborn, but you know what I mean? And so um, yeah, she's like, I rode him on the four-wheeler. I was like, wait a minute, you driving a four-wheeler? I was like, girl, 
She was like, I didn't drive the one with the clutch. She said, I just drove the one that was automatic. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, with little kids on it. <laughs> and I was sitting there like, she didn't grow up like I did riding four-wheelers. Like, I can ride the heck out of it. I can walk a four-wheeler. I can do all that. And then, so I'm like, Harley, you're riding a four-wheeler? <laughs> <laughs> one time okay check this out one time my brother took her for a ride and she has you know her hair is crazy right so the yeah. hair blew in my brother's eye and so they my my brother's great at driving a four-wheeler but the hair blew in his eye and they lost control of it and he couldn't see and he broke his leg and she got thrown off <gasps> oh my <laughs> yeah and he's, to this day he blames it on her hair he's like you better put your hair up if you get on that four-wheeler <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. Oh my gosh, yeah, because she's she's got a lot of hair like I do. Uh -huh. She's got more hair than I do, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's funny though. And I can't be like, How's your mm, that's the story. Sure, her hair went in your eyes, and he was like, it did. Right. That's just his excuse because he didn't know how to drive. And I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, he better know how to. Uh, I'm alright. Um, I'm just anxious for going Monday, so I can go ahead and get this out of the way and get this started. You know. Yeah. Is it? Is it Monday or Wednesday? Because your friend texted me. I guess it would have been, was it Thursday? She texted me and said that it was Wednesday. Oh. Not Friday or not Monday. But I, I everything I've said said Monday, so. That's what he said, too. Now, unless it could have got moved because whoever they're going to appoint could already be in court on Monday. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because she. So. The day that you had court, she messaged me, yeah. and we were talking. That's how I found out. Yeah. And then she said, you know, don't say anything until Monday when it's official. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I won't. Yeah, because we already then, knew, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's so what she said. She's like, she she might know, she may not. She's like, you know, just because everything's on a recorded line, like, don't say anything yeah. until it's officially official. I was like, okay. And then she texted me the following day and was like, oh, hey, it's not Monday. It's going to be Wednesday. And that, I was like, oh, hey. That had to be what happened because whoever they selected – I mean, um, I don't know. I can't, you know, really say who they did. Yeah. But whoever they did, like, might have had court, like I said, on Monday. It could have had, like, trial or something, and that could be what it is. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Yeah, because that's all she all she texted me was just like, hey, it's not it's not Monday. It'll be Wednesday. And I was like, okay, well. So I, like, corrected it on my calendar. I X'd out Monday and put it on Wednesday. But it's not so. updated online yet for Wednesday? But I saw because I looked it up. Let me go look and see real quick. Hold on. I looked it up the other day to see if it has anything new, but I didn't. It was an, an older article. It was one that was written on uh, whatever day you had your hearing. Yeah. So let me see what this one says. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, that makes my anxiety be worse because I'd be like, all right, I'm ready to get this started the right way now. <laughs> yeah. I was, I, was super, I was super excited when I got all those texts. So I was like, yes. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, let me see. I don't because I knew I did everything right. I was just like, Jesus, where are you? But he was there. It was just, it was just me not seeing him. Yeah, I had a let me look up this. Let me look up this way. Had so had you not said anything about the conflict, would they have just left you? With you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I would have had no. to have. I would have had to have a true conflict. Like you can't just be like, you know, hey, I don't like them. Yeah. You know, or, like, sometimes people try in here, they try to be, like, they threaten them, and they try to be, like, oh, I'm going to beat them up. But, like, but they don't they don't buy into that because they know that's just you being, like, it's stupid, like a premeditated thing or something, you know. So you have to have true conflicts that are against case law. Yeah. And you have to have case, yeah. case law to back it up. The Supreme Court has to have already ruled on those issues. And I had, like, four that were already ruled on. That's, so it wasn't even, like... It is so Wednesday, it so it's updated it? on the court records. Wednesday at three. Okay. Now on this, yeah, three. Oh God. Now on three. this, this is the actual like the actual court document. Um, it actually has your counsel's name on it, so it's like already made. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. On the court document, it says that what is it? What is it's it? Just, what is the it's court just document for? The, for? Saying that you know you have that hearing on Wednesday, so it just says who they've appointed to you, and then the appearance of counsel and what day it is. So it's just oh, yeah. So it's, so it's already <laughs> public anyway. Oh, uh, so is it who I think it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. 
I was gonna say I didn't know if they had changed it and be like you know yeah, Jesus no, you know like they yeah, no, it's know. got his name on it it says that's who they've appointed and then it just says appearance of council is set for Wednesday at three that's awesome and then when I was on the WebEx and I saw okay. those other two ladies pop in I was like oh no <laughs> no <laughs> not again <laughs> So you see Holmberg um, and who else? Oh lordy! Um, did you, oh my gosh! What was, crazy have you crap. have you heard anything from that Palmberg lady lately at all? By the way, <laughs> um, she sends me like cards and stuff, and it's just the only thing I've said to her. I have checked on her about her dad because yeah. I knew she found out her dad had cancer, so I I kept it minimum like that. I was just like, "How's your dad doing? He has." You know, she told me he was getting chemo, that type of thing. And then, and then I just like, like oh, well, I gotta like, go. I've, been, I've like checked out her YouTube page a couple times, and there's not really anything new on there. There was like, there was a letter she posted on there. It was from you, but I don't know who it was written to, because she didn't put that part in. So I don't know if it was to her or somebody else. This was a couple months ago. Um, but I don't remember even what the letter was about. But it didn't look like it was. Yeah, it was. It was. I'll have to go find it, and then I'll like tell you what it was about but it didn't seem like it was to her so i don't know who it could have been to and how she had got a hold of it to put it on her youtube page but then she was yeah, Were you yeah sure? no, it, was, it was your writing it was oh lord let me see i don't know if i can find it hold on it took me a while to find it last time but uh it was like three or two or three months ago three or four months ago something like that Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Mean, like, it was a while ago, but like, like I haven't seen it, her post anything on her page except for like a bunch of videos where she's like, haters are gonna hate, I'm gonna let them hate, and she's like got a Snapchat filter on and she's like, listening to music and like spinning around in circles, like playing music that's really high pitched and like lip syncing, and I'm like, what am I watching? <laughs> it was weird. Oh, man. She's uh, she has Does a she? severe <laughs> mental illness too, so yeah. So I mean, or or so she says. So I'm just like, yeah, oh, that's probably what's going on. She's then. living her best life, but she's all about she you know telling them haters like she don't care. She's gonna show them by dancing with snatch Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I'll be glad to just finally get like started right. You know what I'm saying, and on the right path and. That's what had to happen then. Whoever they picked was yeah, had to be in court, and then that wouldn't work. You can't appear for me if they are in a court yeah, that's what I would hearing with and, someone else. Um, your friend, when she was texting me the other night, she was like, I mean, she was super excited about how like everything went. Like, she was telling me about it, and she's like, you know, we'll, we'll be you know, in contact more often now. And she's like, I got some traveling I got to do. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad because I know she will go hard for me and I didn't want to lose her because I was like, she's already started this much yeah. and already has the base foundation, you know, like don't take, don't take her from me. You know what I mean? That was my thought process. Like don't make it into someone else and I have to go through the whole thing again. Then I have to expose another person to evidence. And oh yeah. Like, yeah. No, Cause it would just it would take longer to get somebody like, else caught up to speed all the way. And, and it's a lot. It's a lot because, I mean, there's so much 90% bullcrap that don't even make sense. So yeah. it's like you still got to go through it, you know, just so you can prove it. it's nonsense, you know. And then the FBI, they, you know, they think their job, you know what they should call them? They're just the social yeah. media stalkers because that's <laughs> all they really do. No wonder, and this is why I remember the lady on the drive. She was pissed. She don't like the FBI. I remember she was like, they always think that they're in control and they can do everything. She was telling her partner that, and I was thinking to myself, like, well, yeah, they're social media. Yeah. Police. That's <laughs> really what they do. They did. Like, when you give me 5,000 pages of social media, I already know what was on my social media. So it's like, and you didn't even get 5, all my social media accounts. Social media. So. <laughs> you didn't even get my social media, all of them. You didn't even get my first Facebook <laughs> that I had for 15 years. <laughs> You know, you didn't even get any of that. Not that any of that mattered, but you you had all that. Yeah. You're just thinking you're doing something, you know. People can be on anybody's Facebook all around. Like, I mean, people were logging in, and I might yeah. call out my friends. So I'm not going to rat them out. But we were sitting together inside the living room, and one of my very good friends was logged on to my Facebook. 
it wasn't even me. And when she like hinted to it yeah. the on the phone, I was like, yeah. damn, because I didn't want her to say it. Cause I wasn't gonna, I wasn't going to call her out for her being the one who done it because I didn't want yeah you know her to be you know drug into it. I mean, we were, they were all, they, people were sitting, I was so out of it that people were on my phone, that people were typing on my phone. And yeah, like, it's, it's super out easy if, you know, you sat like, your phone down or something and somebody else grabbed it. You're already logged in. Right. And then I knew, right, and then I knew I had, I guess I was coming to terms then that I had actually had had the miscarriage. And because I had been bleeding, 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 bleeding when I fell down the stairs. And so at that point, I was like, yeah. I'm still in denial of it. You know what I mean? Like, I can like, oh, no, I'm still pregnant, you know, whatever. And I know that really, like, you know, that can so. really mentally wear on somebody. Because, like, I've, I've had one, too, but mine was back in 2013, so it was a while ago. But, I mean, that messed with my head, like, yeah. real bad. <laughs> yeah. And not to mention, you know, like, what Mario had did and all that. And it was just, like, I was out of it, like, in just another world. And so, like, people had my phone talking to people and doing things. And there was four individuals who were very close to me. But, uh, I mean, I would never be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like you know what I mean? Because this is not. Well, it'll be, out, you know? it'll be good when everything starts to come yeah. out. And, you know, like I said, like you said, Caitlin's very, uh, she's good at what she does. And she's very adamant about getting the right thing done. Yeah. So, and I'm sure uh, the whoever they appointed as yeah, my attorney. Yeah, yeah. No, I, so. I was so glad when I heard that, like, just because of, you know. Who this person is. I told Harley a minute ago, I said, can you please tell everybody now, my friends, my aunt, that <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> I, I, do have, I do have crazy bouts, but I wasn't crazy going per se. I, you had to get the evidence you needed to prove a conflict. I mean, you I'm, just can't go in there and say I, there's a conflict. I would have done the same thing. Honestly, I would have done the same thing. If I wasn't I getting what I needed to see, like evidence-wise, I would have done the same thing. And then... Yeah, and like, when they came on, I was able to get the advisory council to say, to tell me, like, hey, how do I get a copy of this evidence to prove that I have a conflict? Yeah. Like, okay, sure. Because that's what they were there for, to help me get what I needed. And once, you know, I was able to get all the evidence of clear conflict, then I could be like, here, I got it. Because, like I said, I couldn't go in front of Judge <laughs> Bain and be like, I don't like them. Yeah. We don't believe in the same thing. Right. That's, just not, that's not due process. Yeah, I, I heard them say that too, like the other day. They're like, oh, you know, you can't just get rid of them because you don't like them or you don't trust them or whatever. Like, there has to be a reason. Yeah. Yeah. And when I went, I wanted to make sure I had all of it, not just one reason. I right. had four concrete things. You know, it's going to be a happy Mother's Day. Hi. Who, who are you looking for? Oh yeah, um, yeah. Uh, she's been going through some stuff, so she's feeling a little crazy right now. She's up in her room. I gotta go get her, okay? Okay. T is is Letitia there? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, she's been going through some stuff, so she's 
Okay. Okay. Hello. Hey. Hey. How are you? Okay. How are you? I'm good. I haven't heard from you in a while. Girls, if you're gonna be down here, you gotta be quiet. Who is this? You, you don't. You don't know me. No. Jane. Jane. Okay. Hi. Hi, Jane. Hey. <laughs> you don't remember me? No. Did people tell people where I am? Did they find me? Hey, you're playing. Hey, lady. Oh, uh -uh. You're playing. Yo, nobody found you. I just haven't. I haven't heard from you. You used to call hey. me. Hey. Well, hey, how are you? I used to call you. Okay, how are you? Yes. I'm good. I haven't heard from you in a while. Where do I know you from? Because I'm here because you, the you plane know, went down. Is Jane. Uh, Jane. Online, online group. We met an online group. Amy. Oh. Maybe hey. I just can't put it together right now. You don't remember me? I I got the plane went down, and they're trying to know where the two hundred and fifty keys are. No, uh -huh. keys no at. nobody's found so you. So they I just paddle like, prod I me. Heard from you. They used to call me. And then well, I'm not going to tell now, them so where I'm they're at. So they were putting my head in the oh, toilet. Yes. You used to call me a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm just not going to let them know where it's at because I you set up all the offshore cows uh, in like all the businesses Wait, no, in other countries. Uh, and online, they be wanting me to tell. Group. We met an online group. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. maybe I just I can't put it together right now. Uh, uh, let me see. I, uh, I got the plane went down and they're trying to know where the daughter is. That. Oh, I just got here because I'm going to be working with Russia, so they have me here at this place, but I have, do you know, like, um, my, uh, I'm trying to find one of my kids, I found my other kid, I, I need to find, um, where like they the took my kid Ariana, do you know how I could find her, because she, they were in the dirt, and she put them in the dirt. And well, people, like, if they're in the I dirt, don't know if you remember grow. or not, but you used to, but they didn't used to write to me a lot and you used to call me a couple times during the week. We used to talk about stuff like uh, back up, my daughters and stuff were, like, go to sleep, and way back up, and things like that. And we could get her back out of the hole. Oh, I just got here, they would never give her back to me. Then the people started coming over here so they had and they'd be trying to look at me. Place. And it was but 10 cents you know, like, um, for them to take things out of your brain. And that's what they'd be doing. One of my kids, I found my other kid. Yeah, I just need to find her because it was like, in a ditch, so like in the room over here, there was a ditch on the back and sh they put her in the ditch so she could grow. I didn't talk to you. I didn't talk to you. <gasps> well, I can look. I can help look for you if you want. I don't. I'd have to look around, but I don't really know a whole whole lot about that. I can ask one of these. This girl, she works for. I can I can um, see what I can find out about team. that for you, but I don't so I, can I don't know a whole lot about that. Um, she can the help last me time that I talked to me. you, she I think you told me a little me. bit about that, but that was like and she I think said two weeks ago. For you, but I was like, whoa. You don't I remember? Be, I said be going back. Do you have any where you're where you're at? Do you have any um? And like, I didn't understand Do you have any papers or any kind of letters where you're at? Like boxes of letters or anything like that? Give me. And then they sent somebody here. Uh, and then I was like, I'm not stupid because they came out of the TV. Ask, ask somebody. Ask somebody there that knows, that knows you well enough. You Maybe you'll see that we've talked before and you might, you might remember who I am that way.
I don't know anything about the keys, like, because it was in a suitcase, and it was hidden in the apartment, in, uh, in the compartment underneath, like a hidden compartment, and, like, when the plane went down, ask, we were on the wrong um, part ask somebody there of the territory. That knows you, bless you. And ask somebody I, there that knows, them that knows you well enough that you trust, see if you can find any letters or any papers that you might have but in I your don't, room. Um, because my information so should be in there somewhere. These police that maybe you can look through there and see. And you'll know maybe you can. Uh, maybe you'll see that we've talked before, and you might you might remember who I am that way. But I don't know how to tell them to get into I it because it's just it a, a difficult process, and like I'm not gonna snitch on them, you know. And, uh, and like I and can't tell where those accounts are, and so like I and, like, don't know why they want those accounts. The they're set up in different countries, of off of gold and stuff like that. Like they're different um, and, like, I can't tell the like, entities and stuff. The but the money is offshore. But they're who's, like where? Who's that? where? Where is that money? Where is this money offshore? Where did they send the money offshore? But I didn't, I didn't say anything. So if you would just tell everybody, I didn't say anything about where the money's at or nothing. These people be standing at your door and stalking you and like looking in, like trying to figure it out, and then they plant stuff here uh, because like they, we know a lot about cyber intelligence and they just want to get our experience and stuff and like take it all out. So if you, if you know of a way that I can get in contact with the people and tell them that I'm not telling them anything about those cases because the Apartments, you have to have certain fingerprints yeah. to open them. I am not she, and she is not in me. So if you, if okay. you know of a way that I can get in contact well, with the people and tell them that what can I, is not there anything I can help you? I can look about up. I can do it. I can those cases because the apartments you have to have certain fingerprints to open them. Right. My skin is turning pink. I mean, nobody, nobody has asked me anything about like you or anything like that. Um, so I don't think anybody knows where you are. Your face is okay, at least as far as I know. I am not. But I see you. not seeing. I'll remember. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Just, just know that I'm a friend. Well, uh, what can I? Is there anything I can do to help you? I can look up. I can do what I can to look up that information you asked me about. I went down, the plane went down. My skin is turning pink. My skin is very broken out today. Oh, my, <laughs> Don't mind my, my face today, it's very down. bad. That's where I've been. <laughs> um, just know that I am, I'm a friend of yours. It went down and we were on the wrong territory. Just, just know that I'm a friend of yours, and uh, I, I've been all, worried about you. So I, I just want to make sure that you're doing that okay. They gave uh, me someone yeah, just like I said, I am. I haven't heard like, anything about you for a while, now, so this? I just want to make sure you were doing okay. And I told them, no, you can't borrow it. But then they got mad, and they were just like, Wait, what, not what nice. They broke up. But I'm not going to give them my stuff because I have all the stuff for the accounts in there and oh, okay. tell them where the account's at Do you how much money is there and what company and business Do you have like a book or anything with like phone numbers in it, it anywhere? Do you so know? then I had to keep it separate. So I put all the stuff separate so they can't come in and take it because that's what they've been trying to do. Like you have to like shoot them with their eyes, like take a dart and pull it out. Pew, 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 like that. And so, like, and I've been taking, like, all my eyes and just, but I ran out of the darts. And it's just a lot because I don't understand that I don't know what they're talking about sometimes. And, like, I just sit 
with the people and they just start telling me stuff and I don't know them and I just be like I don't know y'all I don't know what you're talking about I don't know why you've decided to put me as a candidate for this position and like I told them this but they're nice to me about it because they just be like okay well you're nice and you're but pretty, I but I'm bar. like, I wasn't pretty when you were putting my head okay. in the water and told no. me no. trying to like slam me down and drown me no. to get information. I don't know what they're talking about. But now that I like, I, I have a daughter named Harley, right? With the people. She and doesn't even want to talk to me stuff. anymore. I don't know them. And I just be like, I don't know. Yeah. Y'all. I don't really. She doesn't y'all. want to talk to me because she said that I these people here that are holding me are and like doing I told them, uh, but they're um, nice bad things to me. And she said it makes me like, go crazy. Okay, well, nice and, and she doesn't pretty, like me go I'm crazy. Like, I wasn't pretty but I told her I'm not. The they body. really are trying to get this information from me. And I got to figure out how to keep them from doing that to get information from me. Um, but now that I'm like, I have a daughter named Harley. She doesn't even want to talk to me anymore. Really? I, I know Harley. I know who Harley is. And I don't talk to her in a long time because she wants to know how I don't just help them get the information they need because they are keeping me here and not letting me go. But I can't explain to her like that, like, this is not I'm how her, this not. should be going they on. Really you've you've to done this wrong to me. I'm not going to let you know where those accounts are. I'm not going to tell you where, why that stuff is. Well, well I'm, I'm here to help they you. They cattle prod um, me. Do you know what that is? I don't know that you or not, but I've been trying to help you now. Yeah. For yeah. Years. That happened when our plane went down. Oh, so, it went down, our plane went down in Mexico. And we were on the wrong part, and they were like, oh, it was on a little, not a big fire, but a little fire, and so they were like, why did you cross in our territory? But we were supposed to come back another section. This should be going on. I don't know. Me. I'm not going to let you know where this is a tricky thing, but they be like, go go take a shower, go brush your hair. I'm not going in there because there is like crazy you know stuff in there. Yeah, I, I do, yeah. When did that happen? Yeah. No, I'm not. That happened when our plane went down. Okay, it went down, it went down to Mexico. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, your hair has gotten long. <laughs> Did it just work? Did it just work? Yeah, I I logged in like ten minutes early and it said it was I was waiting for an officer to check me in, so I've been sitting here like <laughs> waiting. <laughs> That's weird, That's because, weird because I was sitting there was looking sitting at the screen, waiting, 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 and I was like, why is it, like, why like is not, it on not on there? I don't understand why people have to check you. Yeah, I don't either, because I was sitting here waiting, and it's like, uh, what it says, it's like, you're in queue for an officer to check you in, please stand by. So I, like, logged in ten minutes early, and then the timer started ticking down, and I was like, alright, five minutes have gone by, but I'll sit here and wait just in case. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's but crazy. your hair's gotten really long since I've last seen you. <laughs> I cut some off. I cut some off. Did you? I'm echoing. Like, I hear everything I say over and over and over. I'm the same way. I keep hearing myself, too. I keep hearing myself, too. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they'll reset it. Sometimes they'll reset it. Like, yesterday this happened to somebody and they called visitation and they reset them another one. So I don't know. They were like, it took them forever and everything. They took them forever and they were like, what the heck? What the heck? Yeah, their visitation system is not the best. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. So you gotta you gotta fill me in about what you called me about last night. I've been dying to oh, hear. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> my hair looks crazy. Anyway, so this girl went to 
This sounds weird here, my sister. <laughs> this girl went to laundry, and another girl told her, was like, hey, they were talking or something. She's like, you know, she's so nice. She, I know there's no way she's a murderer. I was like, well, no shit, Sherlock. Woohoo, Sherlock Holmes, you know, whatever. Anyway, she was like, yeah, she said, but, you know, I heard her on the phone the other day talking about some van, and, like, I know she's part of the CIA. And so the other girl with the, the eyebrows girl with was the eyebrows like, like, like talking to her or whatever. Talking to her and whatever. I'm sitting there like, I know she ain't talking she ain't because talking. this chick, she this picked chick, up your she phone. Up your I didn't even know about it. She never told me about it. She never said nothing. She, she picked it up and was like, didn't say nothing to me, nothing. And then I asked her about it when you told me about perfect eyebrows. And she was like, oh yeah. She's like, I was seeing if it was somebody from TV or something. And I was like, why would you be seeing if it's somebody from TV? Like she's like the biggest snitch there is, making up all these crazy stories. I'm sitting there like, are you? Anyway, so then she said, the other girl was like, my hair looks crap. She said, the other girl was like, no, I looked it up online and I found out that T was already married before she got married to asshole. Yeah, and so I was like, I had to listen in on this. I'm like, oh, okay, well, who was it, you know? And she was like, yeah, you were married before you got married to asshole. And she was like, oh, she didn't say asshole, but I said asshole. And how was that? She said it. She said, and you. Only got only married got to him, married but it was a fake marriage because game. you wanted to get wanted access to, access to military, military base to get weapons. What? So, sorry, they're making me put my mask on. Anyway, so they said that, and then she was like, the other girl was like, yeah, well, you know that lady, Caitlin, she goes by another name online. And I'm sitting there like, what name? She's like, yeah, there's two names online for her. And I'm thinking to myself, drugs are killing y'all. She's ma She was married or either got married. Two names, whatever. Anyway, apparently she's undercover pushing drugs everywhere. She's my plug. How do they come up with this stuff? I know, I just I know, sit there and was like, drugs are drugs killing y'all's brain, brain. Like, like, no shit. No like, shit. Like, I think, I think I'm, like, I'm, I'm over here struggling for struggling mental, for mental sanity, sanity, and drugs and are killing y'all's brain. Kill <laughs> yeah, like, you know, it would be common crazy. sense. Crazy. Crazy. Your, Caitlin was probably, you said she's probably married before, or she was single, yeah. and her yeah. main name comes up, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, now Caitlin's yeah, now a big-time supplier. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I bet I bet she's gonna laugh when she hears that. I know, yeah, <laughs> I, know, yeah, I, know. Yeah, yeah, I know. But it's always these fake always snitches. Fake they be thinking they're the ones that's the CIA or snitches, or snitches, and they just make up these stories. They do it to everybody though. Anybody that has like big time stuff, they like make up stuff. They already made up stuff from some dude that's in medical that's getting housed here. I mean, you should hear the shit he's been involved in. Supposedly. <laughs> Sit there and be like, y'all be like, bored. Y'all ain't got nothing else to do but just meddle in people's business. And you why are they looking you up online? online? That's so weird. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like the one girl was like, your name is Leanne. I guarantee you, my middle name is not Leanne. I said, why do they have it listed as Leanne? Because that's what it pops up like when I go to set up the video chats. That, like your middle name comes up as Leanne. <laughs> I told them this and wrote this, this and they wrote me back and told me it was Leanne. So why haven't they fixed it? I have no idea. And how are they these people going to tell you what your middle name is? You would know well, better they were than like, <laughs> They were like, well, your ID, if we, if you could show us your ID, I was like, well, y'all have my ID, so why don't you just look at it? <laughs> oh, and you're cutting in and out. Hold on. Hold on. Say something again. It's cutting in and out. Uh, they were like, um, um, well, if we had a copy of your ID, then we could change it. And I said, y'all have my ID. <laughs> Did somebody type it in wrong or something? I don't know how they, I honestly don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, wow, you got a you got a lot going on. This would make a hell of a book. <laughs> yeah, these people yeah, that these go people in the that laundry, laundry they be getting all these messages just from the dudes. So one dude had get wanted him to send me a message. Well, I was gonna tell you. They, I know for real, these people are like holding hostage for no reason. Because the one girl she knew about Ariana, and I was like, the one girl from Buenos Aires, New York. She knew about she Ariana, knew about and as soon as she told me about Ariana, I went, I, went. I know exactly I know who this is, or who, who had her come, or whatever. And I'm like, I know they're trying to set me up on this. This is part of this, you know, situation where they're bringing out cameras, because not many people know who Ariana is. And I was like, hmm. I don't even think I know who that is. 
Ariana, Ariana was a kid. Was I had a baby, baby, and she died at twenty. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, so I carried her all the way to twenty-two you weeks. You know, you have to actually have a funeral. Have a funeral. Like no, I didn't know that. Little, like, like you have to put them in like a little tiny casket, in a box and stuff like that. And like, he knows about it. Harley's dad knows about it, and he's not alive. So I was sitting there like, this is somebody who's really been looking into my business, like really stalking me because, in order to find that out, like you had to be digging real deep. Yeah, because I didn't even know about that one until now. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So I'm just sitting there like, that's what makes me think that these cameras are going to pop out it's somewhere because they got to be trying to, i got to tell you about the ocean. I'll have to call you. I don't know. Unless they'll let you sit it. Unless you could call. You could call and ask them and tell them it didn't work until like a few minutes in. They might redo it, but I don't know. Yeah, I tried to see if I could do one like back to back, but they only let me set up one, like one 15 minute one. So if you want, you can call me after this. Cause I'm not doing anything today. I'm just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I gotta go. Um, Look down for shift change. So I'll come back out and I'll tell you about the rest of the thing. How crazy okay. it is about somebody find out about Ariana. That means somebody really dug deep. Yeah, that's, that's scary. scary. <laughs> Makes you wonder. These people are the ones CIA, not me. You know what I mean? Yeah, because how would they have known about that? Because that's not stuff you'd find online. And it's not and something it's not that something I just, that I you know, because I've already had to live through that, you know what I'm saying? And it's just one of those things where, like, I try to keep it buried in my subconscious somewhere, or, like, way deep, because it's it's a horrifying thing, and I hate it. I was really crazy after that, you know. And But I'm going to call you and tell you about it, because they might be trying to, like, you know, catch up and figure out.
Can you hear me any better? here or not there just I don't know I just be forgetting stuff you know like I just wake up and then I just don't even know what's going on for a while then I just come back to it I came out of my room today and I knew like a little bit going on I just kind of was trying to get my mind back together because I was crazy for a while everybody said I was crazy yeah, some yeah, some other ladies answered the. Uh, yeah, the uh, oh, connection went away. <laughs> but yeah, whoever answered for you said that you weren't having a very good day. But have you been getting any sleep lately? The screen keeps the screen going out. Going out. Yeah, yeah, I know it's yeah, on my end too. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, no, because there's like 70 people in here and people are sleeping on the outside and stuff like that. Dang. <laughs> well, you ought to you ought to give me a call sometime, that way we can kind of catch up a little bit and maybe that'll help you kind of get your mind off some things. I will. I'll call you today. Yeah, give me a call, um, because the girls have been asking about you. They're like, how is Miss T doing? And I was like, I haven't heard from her in a while, so I'll try to reach out and see how she's doing. <laughs> the girls are wanting to know about you. Yeah, I today said I had to call people because people were probably worried because I guess I was out of it for a while and I didn't call people. Yeah, that's what you told me. Uh, what's today, Friday? So that would have been Wednesday. You told me that on Wednesday. You haven't really talked to anybody in a while. 
I don't know, it's like, I just be snapping out of it, and I don't be knowing, like, completely, like, I'm going through the motions, but, like, I don't remember a lot about the last few days, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just worried, because I was like, I at least get from her at least once or twice a week, but it had been almost two weeks, and I was like, I haven't heard anything from her, anything so I wanted to so make sure you were still doing okay. Yeah. So I figured I'd try to, try to take a shot in the dark to see if I could figure out when your out time was on Wednesday. <laughs> I got lucky. Um, yeah, what time did you set the visit for? So on Wednesday, Wednesday I set it for... No, today. today. Oh, today I set it for 4.40. What time? 4, 4.40. See, it didn't show you up till just I walked down. That's so weird, yeah, because I set it up on uh, Wednesday night. I set it up for 4:55. Because I'm out every other day at this time. Okay, so like uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. No, it's if it's three o'clock today, it's eight o'clock tomorrow that we come out, and three o'clock, and eight o'clock, and three o'clock, and eight o'clock. Oh, okay, okay. I was trying to figure it so out. So eight to two and three to nine. Okay, so tomorrow we be out at three to two. Yeah, I'll call you. We have to um go in our room for a while because they just got COVID here again. Oh, and the no. kitchen got yeah, and the kitchen got fired again. Oh wow. Yeah. And so they got people quarantined. Give me a call and you'll have to fill me in on all that stuff. Okay, I'll call you.